Hello, welcome to another episode of SDS. It is Monday. Usually we upload a Premier Roundup on Tuesday, but when there's no Monday Night Football, we'll try and get it out as soon as possible. So this time, the video is out on Monday. Um, as you guys know, if you guys are regulars of the show, Premier League Roundup every single week where we talk about every game, all 10 games of the weekend, they do usually take a while. You know, the videos usually are long videos. We'll see how fast we can get it done whilst also covering everything today. Um... Alongside me on the table, we have Mr. L. Faiz. Faisal's here. Let's go. Welcome. Back. Vice captain. Love it. The Madrid Today. shirt Let's on the Premier on. League roundup. Flawless. Good one. Good Proper one. Man. Maverick, you are. <laughs> Opposite him, it is Mr. Fu Yeah, 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 yeah. What's going on? Cool. No. Voice. Why is the voice gone deep now? No, no. Voice no. noting. Who are you voice noting? It's not a very well Fu but this is my real voice. Oh, wow. Why is this for more, more like sexy? It's cra- I don't know. Yeah, it's, no you, you haven't been on for a while, so it's like. I know, I know. Well, I'm just working on my sex appeal. <laughs> oh, I hear it. I hear it sounds good still. It sounds yeah, good. I got voted the least sexist and locked in. So oh, yeah, now nah, I'm just working on my sex appeal. So yeah, step by step. I it like sounds it. different though. I it's sound it. more. They say it's more attractive. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. Move on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Faisal, my vice captain, can you uh, announce the last guest? Moving on to uh, Aspel Skates. Yes, sir. Hello, mate. Here How again. Are you you nice are gonna get cooked today, but it's can I right. finish the intro before yeah, you think about it? I'm just letting you know. Why? Why did your voice change again? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 happy to be here. Happy to be back as always, man. Cheers for having me, guys. See you, man. Um, last time you were on was pretty recent, and um, you were spitting about, was it Paul oh, Scholes? Paul Scholes. Yeah, yeah, good yeah, yeah, the England one. Yeah, man, that was good, man. That was man. a fun video. I wasn't here, I wasn't here, but... Did you enjoy it? Uh, you spoke well. I just didn't agree with most of what you said. It's crazy, but at least you <laughs> thought I spoke well. We'll take the positives. <laughs> um, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, to be fair, obviously, I, I haven't been here for the last few episodes as well, but... Um, Hasib was here in my place, did a great job as usual. So, thank you to Hasib. Um, but CBK. I am back now, and it was a great weekend of football. We're gonna start off with a game that happened today, as yep. the time of filming, it just finished. It was the late kickoff today. It was Man City versus Spurs. Now, Spurs are Man City's bogey team, they yep. have been for a few years now. Yep. You know, uh, we've seen Harry Kane score a hat trick recently there, and um, but this time we thought things would be different. You know, no Spurs sentiments. have injuries. Mm-hmm. You know, Emerson Royale's playing at centre of a half. You know, mm-hmm. and Celso is starting, which we're going to talk about him in a second. He's mm-hmm. finally done really well. Brian Hill is starting. It's like a whole shifted team. Mm-hmm. But Ange Postecoglou we went there. <laughs> you know. He did it, man. City now. Three draws on the bounce in the Premier League. Three points from nine. Is it panic stations in Manchester? <laughs> Absolutely is it panic not. stations? What is going on? Absolutely no. I don't think it is panic stations. I think um, we've uh, seen the city look like they're stumbling many seasons. We look like they're struggling. Oh, their teething period. They'll sort things out. Obviously, the, the the game against Spurs is like you say. It's a team. It's a team that they struggle against usually. They don't have the best record against them. Mm-hmm. But from the perspective of Man City, I don't think they look at it and start saying the title's gone. I think it's too. Ooh. It's way too soon for that. Way too I think soon. there's. I think there's way other teams soon. that are obviously involved in the title race. Obviously, mm-hmm. certain guys, the teams around the table, are involved yeah, yeah, in the title race. Sure. They will obviously be looking at this saying, drop points, like you say, three draws in a row, drop points for them. Mm. But from the city perspective, I'm a city fan. I'm not. I'm not nervous. Although, like, I feel like city fans are they're so divided. Like sometimes you see city fans that are like, everything's going wrong. It's all bad. I'm worried all the time. You have the best squad in the league by quite a margin. You're backed by the mm. most money. Mm. You just want to treble. You've reinvested again. City will be fine. Though? By quite a margin, do they? Do they what? Squad, best squad. Best squad in the league by a margin. I don't think they have as in much terms depth of as they've had in a couple... Uh, I think it's, in, it's in, scary in to pump. be a City fan. Do you reckon? Yeah. Go on, speak on just it. Just because like, you just don't know if you're going to be in League One. <laughs> no, no, it's the truth. It's the truth though. You don't know. You don't know how long. Yeah, yeah. You don't know how long it's going to last for. Like, you're, in a, right. you're in cloud nine, but how long are you going to be there for? You're running He's out, right. bro. Right. Like They don't know what's going on. So I think it's scary to be... paranoid right now. With what they're going through right now... Yeah. But they're still like what third? Mm. Yeah, it's, it's they're still scared. Yeah. yeah, right now because they and don't my, know. What I mean by that is, you know, the amount of clear world class players that you can say that they have. Yep. I don't think we can say that about many other teams in the league. Mm-hmm. Clear what like they have about yeah, five, yeah. six, seven of them that are clearly world class. 
if you're a City fan, you're acting like the the sky is falling. I think that is. is yeah, but this season, no, feels, but this it season feels different. It's different. Yeah, yeah. Ah, because we go. When's their court case? <laughs> no, no, no. The why, why is why it got, When's their court case? It's a couple of months time. It's, it's coming. It's, it's coming, coming, bro. It's like Yoma you Kiyama for them, bro. <laughs> you're gonna it's be there. You're long. Gonna, you're gonna, gonna be there. I will be there. <laughs> you're gonna be there. Of course, uh, I'll be there to collect my trophies back. I want to. We get trophies off. Yeah, we get our trophies. We get one for last season. I get two. That's dead, though. I get two friends. That's dead. Finish the second time. You want to finish second time? They want got fingerprints and that. What the fuck? Only and Jose. So you are Gibson and the man are gonna have. I have 15 Premier League titles. We get one, I'll take it, guess what? So you're telling me- How <sighs> you get is I'm cheap, my man. You're telling me- Last <laughs> season. <laughs> you, you're telling me Paul Abel Park was going to have two trophies? Oh my God. Okay, here How we go. Let's you? talk about this game two now. Two How did you make Let's that talk about, about this game, yeah? Crazy. Let's talk about this game. Game starts, game starts straight away, Sonny. The young man's son, six minutes in. What a finisher, man. What, what a sh- number nine this season. Buddy, yeah. Buddy, uh, Doku. Could that go? Buddy, but I can I credit to Brian, uh, Brian Joe for that, uh, for starting that attack in the first place. Mm. The turn uh, for for Ferdinand and to pass. Uh, he, I think he passed it to Lacelso or Kulusevski, yeah. yeah. one of them. And then of course uh, the over the top pass. But son, great finish. Yeah, As so usual, right? some, finish someone someone tweeted, is he top fifteen uh, uh, finishes in Premier League history? He's always the thing is he's always been a great finisher. For me, he's one of the best finishers in the Premier League uh, ever. He, well, as in right, as ever, yeah, right, right now, right absolutely. now, absolutely. there's no one. Yeah. Right now, absolutely. And of course, it's a second. Of tune. No, 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 no. Because second, it's a very change of tune. That's a different face we have here. Mm, that's a number nine. That's a number nine. Actually, that was he cooking son last the season. What the hell? That's a number he nine. Said, wow. He said he's done this as a player. Yeah, yeah. As, as a winger, Spurs should get rid of him. Different face we have here. It's a very corporate face we have. Changed, changed. Very corporate. It's changed. It's changed. Wow. As Same. a winger, as a winger, he's finished, bro. But then again, listen, second slayer, he's got own goal, fam. <laughs> <laughs> so I won. I won. I won that one. I won. Uh, but he's a big game player. He's now obviously son. he scored away uh, to the ra- against the reigning champions, Man City. Mm. He's the first player in Premier League history to score away at four different reigning champions. He scored away at Liverpool when they won the league. Leicester the season after won the league. Chelsea and now City. Are he in done four. Arsenal? Oh, they're not reigning champions. I mean, they were oh, yeah, they ain't been reigning champions. haven't been champions while it's been like 20 years. Yeah. For 20 years, actually. Wow. <laughs> you don't That's let crazy. me say my fun stack. No, no, no. No, the little fun fact, the little one I don't want to say. No, no, send a good uh, But yeah, he did score uh, an own goal. Pretty unfortunate straight after. Yeah. But what a game, man. Six goals. I mean, obviously, we know what happened in the game, but some good talking points we can have is um, the first one, I think you want to say something about a certain man City centre back? Oh, oh, l- l- yeah. Let's talk about it, because because the last goal, I think Lewandowski scored. No, sorry, sorry. Apologies, apologies. That was that was Aki as well. <laughs> that got body as well. His uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, his yeah, replacement. Yeah, yeah, his, re- yeah, yeah. his replacement. But in terms of Guardiol, I think this season, that's no way in hell you can you can justify hundred million on that brother. Mm. Uh, they bought him, uh, and 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 everyone said, oh, they bought a twenty one. Th- but he's how is he twenty three in the first place? That, that, well, like, that, that, I don't know. He looks like twenty one. Well, like, he's twenty one. Twenty one, uh, brother. He's he's younger than you. Uh, he is yeah. younger than me. He's, he's younger, younger than you, than which is by quite a bit. Younger which is than mad. Yeah. He people kept saying the World Cup performance was great, which which we were there. We watched it. He did well. Beside the Messi, of course, Messi can make everyone look like it's a Messi. Yeah. But last, no one watched him in Leipzig, and everyone said, "Oh, he had a great performance in Leipzig." And X one. So it's like it's like the whole Enzo Enzo Fernandez situation. But I can't oh, like Upper Meccano, isn't it? <laughs> He was but highly touted there. Real, but Champions League, we saw what, how he did in Champions League. But mm-hmm. so far, Guardiola in the Premier League so far, what we've seen him from a, from, a, from a City shirt, he's been underwhelming, bro. That's no way in hell you can tell me he's worth 100 mil. I and think I think the most damning thing as well, I don't, I don't know if you remember when Pep was talking about him and he was talking about the difference between John Stones and, and his process and how long it took for him to be playing in midfield. Mm. He was asked, can Gavardio do the same kind of job, dropping into midfield? Mm. He said, no chance. He does, he, he, right now the way he is nowhere exactly on top of that he also said he came out a couple of weeks after uh, later before and said that uh, is he the same player that you expected when you signed him he's like nah he, that, that's a lot of things he can improve on of course but you know it's first season syndrome with Man City when you come to Man City and you're, you're miles behind doesn't matter how highly touted you are you come to Man City all the players are like robots they already understand Pep's system you come to the training you must be overwhelmed absolutely you know, and it takes a while to get into that you know mm. it takes a while to, to, to fit in and build really the habits understand exactly it's a lot and it's his first season I mean, it's a lot but, but then the, the money bro like I'm surely City must have looked at it I've got five six defenders already seven defenders already yes, Laporte went but I, I, didn't, I never wanted him in the first place You've, you're struggling on the wing you don't have any wingers surely use that money wisely and invest it on a winger the only one you bought was Doku Mm. The game against, uh, I mean, the last three games, you could clearly see they need some whiff in that team. Even, even to be fair, like, to be fair, I think it all came, comes down like, the whole city's problem this season. This, which is why I said they're not the same as last mm-hmm. season. I think KDB, man, 
KDB is missed in that team. Mm. He's going to come back, back in time for the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's going to be back out for the playoffs. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. When it matters, when it he'll matters. Be back. <laughs> he's ready. No, play, no playoff season. Uh, playoff season. We're getting Timber back. Yeah. They're getting KDB back. Uh, yeah, yeah, We're going to see. Playoff season. Who you the back? big boys are it. <laughs> but is it going to be this? It's true. You guys have everyone full strength now. But it's calm though. We're already here. We're there. We're already there. Man, let's see, let's see. We're already we'll there. We'll find out. We'll, we'll, find, we'll find out. We'll find out. Um, but when it comes oh. to Gavardo, quickly, if I don't, oh. if, um, but when it comes to market price, especially, I think that uh, uh, City can come out and say that they weren't extremely happy with their marketing, marketing. Uh, sorry, their market, the window. Yep. Because obviously, Mares leaves. Yep. Cole Palmer leaves. Yeah. They, but they bring in Doku, but then they also want him playing on the left hand side of yeah. Grealish. Yeah. Do you want Bernardo there? Is you want Bernardo in midfield? So they didn't solve all their problems in the window, like we almost always usually see them do. But when it comes to the price tag, I feel like City are just one of those clubs that they've said no to players in the past, where mm-hmm. they said, this is the price that we're willing to pay, mm-hmm. take it or leave it. Mm-hmm. They must have really wanted this guy. He's 21 years old, that's what Sharky's saying, it's his first season in the Premier League. He's got so much to learn about the game of football. Mm-hmm. And we know how players talk about when they when they experience playing under Pep Guardiola, the whole football change is for them. It's different, so yeah. It's, I, think, I think, although you're right to, to point out the weaknesses he's shown so far, it's a long way to go for him. But yeah, moving on from Guardio, what do we think about the the, the performances uh, from uh, our mate, Ange? Mate. You know, mate. Right. Exceptional, man. Uh, I'll just, uh, played, played his way, obviously heavily rotated team. Emma Sorrell and Ben Davies are centre-back partners yeah. uh, going away. A whole uh, back four or full-backs? Yeah, back four or full-backs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for <laughs> it's the opposite. Pep, Pep plays back four. Back. <laughs> All the centre-backs, these guys do full-backs. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's mad. Uh, for you to come to City, yeah. Mm-hmm. What was your prediction? You, you started a new prediction series on, yeah, on your channel. I did, yeah. What was your prediction for this game? 6-0, bro. 6-0 City. Yeah, Excuse me? 6-0 City. 6-0 City. Hit me out, though. Hit me out. Now, let's talk about that, brother, because what the hell is 6-0? Clickbait, clickbait. No, no. Hit me out. Listen, I looked at it, yeah. Emerson Royale and Ben Davis centre-backs. Yeah, I guess Haaland. And Doki on one side. Yeah. Mm. Long day. Etsy had as well. And just coming from three defeats. Yep. It's not a good sign, fam. I was I was thinking, bro, I triple Captain Haaland as well. I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> you thought, well, so out of six, no, how many goals he's for Haaland's going to score? A hat trick at least, bro. <laughs> a hat trick at least. You're not getting nothing. <laughs> he, he gave me you two, immediate one. He gave me two misses. Yeah. He, yeah. Yeah. he gave me, he got an assist for the Sun on it. And, and Grealish as well. And Grealish as well. And the Grealish one as well, yeah. He missed yeah, yeah, two, yeah. he missed two cities in the first half. Like, the cities that we we don't expect Haaland to miss. But to be fair, this season, I'm seeing a bit more misses uh, compared to what I saw last season. Last year was more, more clinical. But Angia, to come to, to Etihad with two. Bro, no centre backs, no Madison. You're playing Brian Jill. You're playing Emerson Royale and Ben Davis as, as a thing. You can see the thing is what I like about him as well is he scored the first goal. He didn't defend, bro. He went mm. straight. I was, you know what? I want a second. I want a third. And it, I, I respect that, man. I, I respect it. Do you think that's how teams should play when they go away to, like City, for example? You know, you could argue no. You should. Some people could go there and just mm. be like, Do you know what? It's the Etihad. I'm just gonna just try and survive here. But listen, I, I tweeted a couple, uh, maybe a couple weeks ago. I was like. This guy, Andrew's getting a bit annoying, man. Mm. He's quotes in the media. That's low-key at him, my manager. Like, I was just like, I just hope this guy fails. Every time I watch his team play, I'm just, I'm just like, wow, again. Like, like, you, like, like you guys have said, a rotated lineup. They haven't got Van der Ven or Romero playing. Mm. These are like such important players for mm. them. Like, if that happens to any other team, surely they just, they just stop playing with it. Mm. Nope, they're sticking by it. La Celso Basuma there in midfield. Kulisevsky in the 10, by the way. Mm. He looks like he's, fr- he's a different man. He's a different level of beast in the 10. Because I, I remember last season, even beginning of this year, on the right wing, he's not really impacting games as much as he could. And as much as we've seen from him, especially under Conte. And it's like him moving into the 10 now seems like a new lease of life for him. And him moving into 10 has allowed Brennan Johnson to, pl- to play a lot exactly. more. Right. He's, he's doing really right. well. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. He's creating, he's doing really well. He's getting them crosses in. Obviously, had the assist for the, for the, the dagger, the yeah. equaliser at the end. I mean, and, it's, uh, and it's allowing him to do well. And the fact that you're playing a 10... Who's, who, who's naturally a 10 as a double pivot with Basuma and Lo Celso. Yeah, Celso. That's brave, bro. Because mm-hmm. Lo Celso has n- never in his life has he playing, has been playing double pivot. And the fact mm-hmm. is, his last two games, bro, another player. Like, La Liga I mean, you've so seen him in Spain. What, in like, Real, like, he, he was, was good. He, was he good? Real, like, and I heard good. good things about him, but still not like anything. V- yeah. Very good. And, and Argentina as well, during, during that stretch where they won the Copa America and this and that, he was, he was, he was, Quite integral in that in that part, mm, yeah. But I was. can't lie, yeah. I've never ever seen him act like that before, fam. Because <laughs> that, that, <laughs> I, I ain't never, never ever seen him act like that before. Because that finish, 
I can't Beautiful. lie. Great finish. There's been a lot of good goals this game week, and I can't wait to keep talking about it. It's been yeah. a great finish. I think I think the Premier League, what, Gardacher scored that? Yeah, nah, let's try and compete. Yeah, let's try. Let's Gardacher basically said, yeah, I've got goal of the season already. So, Bro, he said, they literally said that after the interview. Saying, Long but season, but that's goal of the season. You know what I'm saying? Know, Let me see what I can do. Nah, let's see. Hold my Zamza more. We'll get to your game, don't worry. Hold my Zamza But you see the Ange stuff, yeah? Yeah. I'm not going to lie, I don't really, I don't see it. Talk to me. I don't, I generally don't see it. Like you lot are talking like he's gonna be a great, a no, great I'm just manager. How he's doing right now? I don't see it. You don't see I him play good know. football? No, no, they play good football. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, with the rubbish like, team. The credit he's getting, I think, is is over. He's over. It's, you know, it's about credit, that I think a lot. A little bit. I, I, yeah, no, for I, me personally, I think he's a good leader. Like you know, when people talk about Alex Ferguson, they talk about management. They don't talk about coaching because yeah. he had, you know, Queros and all these mm-hmm. kind of guys. Really actually, yeah, yeah, doing the, yeah. the, 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 the coaching. On, yeah. But Ferguson was a great manager. All mm-hmm. the stories you hear about him is he knew the cafeteria lady's mum name and mm-hmm. yeah, you knew mm-hmm. uh, Rio Ferdinand's, you knew Rio Ferdinand's granddad's choice of alcohol. You knew this academy <laughs> players, like everything, you know? I'm not saying anywhere near that, but I'm saying he's more that realm where he looks like someone who's a leader of men. You know, the way he talks mm-hmm. can get you to play for him, want to play for him. I don't know how... Great, he's tactically because we've seen nine men. He's still playing with a high line, and we've seen all that kind of stuff. But I think he's the kind of manager that players want to run through walls for. Absolutely. And especially when Spurs, when they just come from Conte and the way they played with Conte, mm-hmm. and then obviously Nuno, Nuno and yeah. and Mourinho, who just you know just didn't work. Mm-hmm. I think the Spurs fans were just tired, and now they have someone who's an elite motivator, an elite mm-hmm. leader. Mm-hmm. I think just that is in, is why they're doing so well, even with the injuries and specials of all the best players. But just that won't last you forever. Their coaching stuff, I just realized that today they had Yedinak. They have Yedinak as one of their Yedinak is one of their assistant managers. I was so confused. That's that one Christopher Allen's guy. That was very recent. It's mad. mad. But yeah, I think it's more like that for Andrew. I don't know how long it's going to last, but he's one of their managers where he is a great leader because with Australia, it was the same thing. You know, he won them an Asia Cup. Yeah, Australia in twenty twenty. Celtic as well. See, I mean, back yourself. to back leagues. Yeah, but it's Celtic, isn't it? You know. I mean, true. Listen, like you say, we're not quite. We don't. We're not privy to what's going on in the in, in the training sessions. But he definitely has a style of play. Oh like yeah, there is a way. They, 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 play, the, they play good football. They I've definitely do. I think what you're talking about, obviously, with, yeah, definitely brave. And like you say, with the nine men against Chelsea, still playing a high line. There are obviously some some criticisms that are still there. Maybe a bit of naivety. But stubbornness. The wi- stubbornness, which to be fair, top managers are stubborn. Yeah. The best yeah, managers yeah. of all time have all been stubborn. Yeah. But mm. his football is there. I don't know what you mean. You don't see it. Like I, I see I, it almost I every don't see single, it. No, every I think, single I think game. This is a hype that everyone's thinking. You know what I mean? Bro, I, want, I, I looked at it. I was hate watching. You, yeah, but I hear I it. I hear it from you. Yeah. You, you, mm. like, like as a Man United fan, I hear it. Because any manager, yeah, 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 like, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah, yeah. But, like, not, but not you guys. You guys are just far ahead, man. I don't want to talk about us now. We're not. We're not there. Yeah, we're not a massive Yeah, yeah. You do realize. There's another team above you in the league. You're talking like you're God. Oh, no, that's just that's <laughs> for fashion. Like first, yeah, right. that's, that's for fashion. <laughs> Their thing's fashion. That's a fashion thing. Like, just, well, well, oh, no. yeah, let's just put the numbers. You'll look good. Like, you know well, well, little bro. Talk. Little bro. Yeah, little bro. <laughs> little bro, come play with us. After AFCON. But yeah, also another another uh, note is Jack Greenish got on the score sheet today, which was, looked like a nice moment for him. Yeah. Obviously, he's kind of lost his place. To Doku this season, but Doku. he he's, he's gets he scores in big games. Grealish, you know, he scores in a, a, yeah. a lot. Yeah, he's now scored goals against Man United, Arsenal, Liverpool, and Spurs since the start of last season. Yeah, you know, so a lot of big games he scores in. I, I always look at the Doku versus Grealish thing, and I feel like it's been a bit of a divide in this. We see it on Twitter yeah, sometimes with the City 50, fan base. Are we team Doku? Are we yeah. team Grealish? I think it's just so brilliant to have the, both of those options. Mm. Such different options, different profiles. And I actually so. want to shout out Pedro Porro. Actually, I think Pedro Porro did a very good job good against job. Doku. Doku this very game. Good job. But Doku has the beating of most fullbacks. <coughs> Martin obviously didn't didn't recently, but he has the beating of most most fullbacks, My and he's Doku. that threat. But Grealish is something completely different. You know? I would hate uh, to be a right back. Yeah. I've seen him play, bro. Yeah. I've seen him play. Yeah, he goes. Go, yeah. You know where he goes? Yeah. He he wants chalks on his boots. Yeah, right. To the <laughs> he wants the chalk on his boots. For real. Yeah. You know how scary it is for That's a right back. <laughs> he's telling you come here. All the way. He's telling you come here. If he goes, if you if you come follow him, space. Bah, bah, bah. Yeah. <laughs> it's long. Yeah. Some people are saying, you know what? I'm never gonna follow my man. But if you don't follow him, it's long either way. For real, for real. It's trying to say they play with two left. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. Yeah, it's long literally. But he's too. But he's too direct. Sometimes no. being direct is good enough, but too too direct is not good enough. Because bro, there were certain moments yeah, he sh- he shot rather than crossing it to Hannah. Do you know? Do you know what? was being man marked by by Ben Davis, bro. Mm. That one is just IQ now. Yeah. You're clear. Your your number nine striker is being mm. man marked by what? By someone who's 
my like my height, fam. Compared, <laughs> compared, compared to yeah, someone yeah. taller than me. Yeah. At least cross the ball to him rather than trying to shoot because uh, Poro, as you mentioned, mm. Poro had him. Like, yeah. yes, they both beat each obviously, other, obviously, too, yeah. but, but mm. I think Poro. Did, uh, you know what? Where do you sit on the Grealish and the Doku thing? You just, well, you're just saying, just, just be happy they have I th- the both. I th- listen, both so I think it depends on the matchup. So, yeah, exactly. Depends so it depends on the, game, on the opposition. Yeah. If there's times when you need someone who's going to just be kind of engaging a fullback, but also being able to drive inside, pass the ball with midfielders, something that Grealish did so well against us. I remember I spoke about it last time I was on yes. after the, the derby. Is them yeah. underlaps of Bernardo Silva? The link up that he has is similar to what you guys have with Saka and Odegaard. Mm. Those ones where they'll make that run inside there, they'll find each other and they'll just one to each other. All of a sudden they're in. So it depends on the kind of game that you have. If you're going to be controlling more of the ball, and you, there's not going to be a lot of space in behind. You're going to need a Grealish. Exactly. Make good decisions. Exactly. Space in behind. <laughs> Jeremy yeah, Doku. On top of that. <laughs> <laughs> on top of that. Doku doesn't need a fullback. Mm. He is literally two positions once. Mm. Grealish needs someone to overlap. And having Guardiola at the back, fam, it's not helping you. Because yeah. my man is not overlapping at all. Yeah. So that's what Grealish, that's why this season, Grealish hasn't been the Grealish last season. At least last season, you had Aki at least mm. doing, doing that job more consistently. Guardiola, bro, I watched him act. No overlapping <laughs> at all. It's like it's like FM fam. It's like yeah. FM telling <laughs> telling my no, you know what, that no nonsense fullback. Yeah. yeah. Well, I just no not that. <laughs> stay <laughs> just, stay all the way back. Just stay, fam. Facts. Don't do anything. Yes. That's that's Guardiola at the moment. But well, Alvarez well, as well, fam. Let's talk about Alvarez. Top assist, another assist today, which makes him the top assist to make up for uh, Man City this season. So. But I don't know, man. That, well, that, speak that, that ten that ten position is not his. It's too heavy for him. I feel like I feel mm. like City. I feel like uh, Pep's trying to force it a bit too much. Is he holding mm. it for Kevin? One one hundred percent holding it. Holding it one, Kevin. Once, once Kevin comes, that's his position. Long, yeah, yeah, yeah going that's back to the bench. But yeah. the question is, if Kevin comes, yeah, yeah. that means that's one position has to be done now. Someone's At the moment, it's go. Bernardo, mm-hmm. uh, no Foden, Bernardo, uh, Alvarez, and Doku. Yeah? yeah. For argument's sake, let's say KDB comes back. Yeah. Who's then for? It's Julian. Julian. No, but, he, but but he but he found like he made a position for Julian, bro. That's the thing, man. It's sad, but because he, because uh, the thing yeah. about De Bruyne, because obviously, like I said, there's four. They play four behind the striker, yeah. Yeah. and um, right now it's Foden on the furthest right, yeah. Doku on the left, and like you said, it's uh, uh, Bernardo and mm. Bernardo's not losing this place. Bernardo's 100 best player in the Premier League right now. Right? Yeah, absolutely, yeah? Foden on the right. I think De Bruyne will come in where Alvarez is playing, which is like the right attacking mid, because. Because De Bruyne naturally always goes to the right side. That's where he crosses come in. He does, he does. So him and he Foden does. on that right side keep switching in between. Okay. Foden can tuck in. Yeah. De Bruyne goes right wing. Mm-hmm. De Bruyne, mm-hmm. nah, that's why I can see that happening. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Doku, him and Grealish keep swapping. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I was not losing a spot. And I see the Foden and De Bruyne on the right side working. It that's works. why I think it's going to be Alvarez, I think, sense. unfortunately. Like, it makes sense. What well, he I could do is drop Foden, put Bernardo out wide, right? Him and him and Kevin. That's, 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 that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. On a pep. It's, yeah. it's, it's a good saying. headache. It's a good yeah. headache. Very good headache to have, bro. Like how many rotations that he does? Doku, for me, he's like. He's a monster, isn't he? You remember Belassi? Yeah, yeah, black yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, like he's picking yeah, up the ball. Yeah, with his hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's just yeah. a street ball. Yeah. He's a street uh, ball. But what's interesting is right. They got Villa next tough game. Very tough game. Yeah, Villa yeah, are fourth, yeah. and I think what, no, Villa, Villa are a point yeah. behind City. I know. I know. Big game. No yeah. Rodri. No Grealish as well. Got booked yeah, against Grealish the old team. And uh, Doku looked like he was going down the tunnel with an injury. With an injury. Yeah. So, and there's one point between them. And Aston Villa, mm. wait, wait, it's, it's, it's away, away to Aston Villa, right? Uh, away to Villa. Yeah, Villa. Park. Villa at home. We, we got Villa away on Saturday. Vi- City, hey. Villa have two home games against Big. City and Arsenal. And by Villa at home, back. Villa home it's is unbeaten beat. as well. Like they're, they're tough. The last game they lost at home was against us. Oh, Jorginho. If I'm correct, if I'm correct, that's the last game they lost at home. So they're strong at home. And But this week they got, it's a double game week and they got... City and Arsenal. Y- but you mentioned as well earlier City last three games, they all drew. But straight draws. Uh, also yeah. on top of that, we have to also add eight goals conceded in the last three games, mm. which is a concern, fam. Mm. Like defensively, they're not as solid as last season. And I feel yeah. like I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what the problem is. Mm. Me personally, maybe it's the lack of Gondogan because at the moment I feel like it's only Rodri as a protection. Yeah, I feel like that's it's too attacking. Mm-hmm. Yep. Gondo at least was providing that little defensive de- defensive capabilities. Yeah. at the moment Walker's the Akanji. Pep came out and said he's he's one of the best players I've ever had. Fam, he always does that one. Like, yeah, he's yeah, yeah, every yeah. single player <laughs> is one of the best players I've ever had. Fam. Surely they're gonna. Clap I don't know. Some I feel like yeah. Stone, I like Kanji, man. It's Stones. Yeah. Do you guys yeah. think he's like he reminds me like a Tommy Asu, just like a good use steady agent yeah. everywhere. Steady. You need that. You need that yeah. player, man. Oh, you do. Nothing special, yeah. but very strong. Does his job very well. Big, strong. Does his job. Mm. That's it. And I think I, I like Kanji. He's growing to me. You guys think Stones' absence is is is, is key? For I think me? they're feeling it, man. I do think they're feeling it, but I, absolutely, because of a player of the course. level of Stones, of course they're going to feel it. But I, I think City in the short term, like you're saying, they might have some tough fixtures they're going to play. Without Rodri, we know how they struggle. It's, it's a whole different I game. I mean, we, we, 
we played them. Right. We were fortunate enough to play with them. Right, Rodri. We beat Facts. them. Well, and, we and needed Rodri to be out. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And and in the short term, it might be problems for City. But these are the kind of moments that Pep kind of. Of course, he festers, March, he festers the ideas of, of look, it's all struggling. Right, the whole league is against us. Arsenal are here. It's different. The World Cup this month. Yeah, yeah, they're going away, they're going yeah. away for club yeah. World Cup, and, yeah, and they're going to Pep wants to win that. Like, that's yeah. another thing you want to win. Does, you want to be the world champions, and get so, badge. Uh, so in December, they're gonna have two games, and it's like you're going to another continent. Like, mm. it's not something easy. In December, is usually packed, anyways. And you so don't have the team, this is and where the they need to gain that. the points. They yeah. got three points yeah, out of yeah, man, yeah, and they got Villa. You don't have the best depth in the world, yeah. Obviously, it's City till they could be fourth, yeah. Until March, this is what I'm saying. I'm still nervous, yeah, right? We hold it hold. Surviving City last season. Yeah. But before we move on to the next game, obviously, um, with the City Villa game coming up, I actually did want to do a quick prediction. We don't usually do this because Emery and Pep have faced each other 13 times. Emery's never gotten the better of Pep. Mm. And th- what, that includes La Liga as well? Yeah, just whenever they face each other. Okay. Mm. What do you think is going to happen at Villa Park? I'll be real, man. I'm back in my Unai. Why oh, are yeah. My Unai, man. Like, Unai this season is done well, man. Mm-hmm. Um, I like the way you pronounce it as so. well. Huh? You know, you know, yeah, it's Spanish, isn't it? <laughs> it's Spanish. Probably, you're probably wrong as well. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely <laughs> wrong. I but no, I feel like Aston Villa this season. I mean, I mean, we'll talk about them later. Yeah, we'll but I feel like Aston Villa this season has been incredible, and I feel like they they've got a lot of pieces that can tr- that can trouble City, especially with the the one up front. So you think Villa will do the job and win? Uh, I feel Villa will win. Wow, what do you think? Um, I don't count out City. I've, I've counted out City enough, bro. To win. It's tough. It's, it's not going to be easy. Definitely won't be easy. I remember the last time. Wait, did they? Did didn't City beat Villa? Uh, Villa Park when Bernardo played left back. Yeah, they would have. Was that more recent than you guys? Or was that that was before? Wasn't that it? was last. That was, that was, was it yeah. before, before you guys before beat them? It's probably before. Before, before. We beat them yeah. towards the end of the season. That's why. Yeah, I, well, I, February, March. Uh, uh, I won't count Pep out. I'll go City. Yeah. So yeah, same City. Yeah, I, I mean, I think maybe that's the. F- I think another draw, fourth draw. Uh, yeah, the draw's a good option. One as well. more thing, actually, before we move on. Did you see right at the end, the referee, Simon Hooper? Oh, yeah, early. He did it, blew the whistle early. What was he doing there? That's, yeah. that's horror. I don't think there's ever going to be an SDS episode in the Premier League in the whole of the where we don't referee. talk about referee because I don't know horror. what he's thinking. Is is there a voice in his ear? Is someone saying there might be a potential officer? What's he hearing that makes him say, I'm stopping? You played advantage. You've so done the right he thing. He blew it for the foul, right? He but did. he played advantage. I, d- I don't understand. I think he just tweaked. I think he right. Did he think that the ball was not going to go to a C player? Maybe no, no he, but it clearly did. I, I, I so I he did. was through. He was through. He was through. I think. I think he thought it was offside. That's what yeah, I think it was. Yeah, so you don't blow for no, offside. You, know, I'm saying you exactly. delay, delay. You That's delay, what we see all the time, delay. bro. We he, hear it, and whenever well, there's he's VAR, probably just wanted to go yard as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 like you get it's a what? It's a job. It's probably a job he didn't like. He just said, you know what? I want to go yard. This is. Let's wrap this one up. He's got a headache. I'm running. I'm running too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boys, 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 wrap up. I need to watch. I'm a celebrity. Yeah, I need to watch. I'm a celebrity. Surely he's got to be suspended for this. Yeah, yeah, you will do. I think he's been suspended before as well. For what? It's not his first suspension, I think. This is what I'm saying. The refs here, they're bit. They're not. They don't think properly. I mean, we keep saying it, bro. It, the referees yeah, the referee, round it's, up, here, it's here. It's here. It's here. Every roundup is something, man. Like, Who's like referees? Every every roundup that there must be a, a referee. There's an issue, fam, man. and it starts from Howard Webb. Mm. Yeah, I think there was he issues with English Premier Leagues before Howard Webb, Webb started started on, all of this. Of course, your agenda. Guy. Like he just started it with this old Old Trafford stuff. Huh? Yeah. Oh, you guys don't know about? Oh, okay, cool. Maybe I'm speaking too much then. Well, he's yeah. leaking. You, that, you're that leaking Coombs sir. brother as well. Coombs? Yeah. Coombs. Was his name David Coombs? Pretty one come out with? I thought Coombs was the singer. Pretty one come out No, no, what's his name? David Sutton. David Coote. David Coote. <laughs> okay. He said Coombs. <laughs> Mike Dean. He said Coombs. He's a mess as well. And he said Balassi earlier as well. If you're a ref and you're on Facebook and LinkedIn, you got you, you're, it's not serious, right? Yeah, it's long for you. Yeah, he's at Old Trafford in that picture. But yeah, what a game. Free, free. Jam packed action. But. There's another game with even more goals we're about to talk about next. And that game is <laughs> Liverpool <laughs> versus Fulham mm. at Anfield. Wow. Now, we're going to talk about this game. Yeah. And I'll let you cook. Thank you. Because um, I don't think I, it's been a while since I've seen a game from one team as well, specifically. Mm. Scored this many bangers. Nothing. Elite goals. Nothing. And it always seems to be Liverpool. Mm. A team scores three. Okay, we'll score four. Yeah, yes, that, was, that was you guys for yeah, a while. Yeah. Even like before you had Van Dijk and yeah, that, you yeah. came a bit more defensively yeah. solid. Now, obviously, we've had a lot of Liverpool fans over the um, last few weeks be very upset mm. um, about this podcast. Mm-hmm. 
because we've got like people like Lee Ban or you know mm. I don't where, blame where, them. Where, where they don't talk very nice about Liverpool. Don't blame you know? them. So yeah. we're losing the Liverpool supporters. Yeah, yeah. And and, and I love the Liverpool supporters. Yeah, yeah, and I want yeah. them to stick Liverpool around. Well, and you are. Yeah, our only Never representation and I, and I was right off, now. I was off a few weeks, and you yeah. were off, you know. Yeah. So right now you're here. Yeah. You've won. Yep. Talk to your Liverpool supporters, and and you know. I just want to say, guys, you're very positive right now. It's it's a it's another victory. Uh, the last time we lost at Anfield was uh, last year October, and that was against Leeds. So we are not losing. Anfield is scary, bro. It's a fortress. You have fortress. to outscore us at Anfield. You have to outscore us. What do you think? That's I mean, a good I think thing? I think that in every game you got to win, you got out. <laughs> 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 Especially Anfield. Like, like, <laughs> how many people were us up? Cheers, when, 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 <laughs> you got to outscore us to win the game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when we lost, when we were losing three two, a lot of people thought it's done. Yeah. Now the Liverpool's was never done enough. Isn't it? But yeah, yeah, before the game was done. With 10 minutes to go, but you were 3-2 down. How yeah. are you feeling? Uh, that could do really put the Do you want me to be serious? Yeah, please. Confident. Fair, yeah, nice, fair. Regardless. For real. Yeah, well, no, like. it is, yeah. It's like, but what, for me, it's, and, and we'll talk about the, the goals were incredible. Like, I can't keep getting over the goals that were scored to this. The quality of goals, right? The goals are incredible. We'll talk about that in a second. How big of a miss is Alisson? We've seen that today. Oh, massive. Massively. Your quality massively. difference. That's how, that's how this, you want Timber? I want Alisson and Thiago. And the season is yeah. Rodri. I want yeah. Alisson yeah. and, and, and yeah. Thiago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but I thought yeah. about Alisson is a much bigger Man. miss than oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of yeah, yeah. course yeah. it is, bro. Yeah. What the difference in quality? Let's go keep it. No, the difference in yeah. quality is insane. It was insane. I could see it. Yeah. Two goals. I could see, well, I, well, I could yeah, see you it could as well. You could see it. Like Certain goals, goals that like, went in, like we, it would have never gone in. We know nothing about football. Generally, we know nothing. We're just guys are talking whatever. Absolutely. And we could see... The, yeah. Like th- those goals going into there, and like, I was like, the first yeah. goal, yeah. Alisson Alisson will never the allow second it goal as well. Yeah, when Alisson will never. Like you'd only ever get to beat Alisson by a Waldy if, like, if he can yeah, really well, put well, your hands. I rate though. Yeah. I think he's sick. He's alright. Honestly, I, mean, I think he's a very good keeper. He's the best goalkeeper in the world. But that's the gap. Yeah, yeah. If you're gonna compare him with Alisson, yeah, bro. It's a bit, yeah, it's different. Well, he you know ruined I mean? his chances as well for for promoted team if they want to try to get him. Let's say, let's say someone want to promote, like, get promoted. Get they they ruined their chance because that performance today it, it doesn't yeah it doesn't he ruins his chances so I then and oh now you have to retire you can't say that I'm on your side I'm on second I don't think Keller is bad performance I feel like his two you can't judge him from this game the first two goals you could clearly see yeah the second goal specifically that is can't concede that goal even the third goal that could overreach I think Keller was way too far yeah 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 the position wasn't his best but you know how it is once you have one, one, one or two goals go in. Your whole, your head's gone. Mentally, it's yeah. a lot. So like, you can't come back from that. As but a keeper, is right. As a I keeper, speaking as a keeper's experience, yeah. a former yeah. goalkeeper. Yeah, but, yeah. but, but we'll, we'll, we'll talk, I don't think you should for, judge yeah. him. Forget about all that. But first of all, can we talk about that man behind you? Yeah, the, you know what? The, the predators. I think we should give yeah. Sharky credit because you put him in a Ballon d'Or list. I did on wow. Sky Sports. Me and Fuad as well. Shout out for By the way, shout out Shucky. that stinky performance that both of you guys had as a. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just can't say this now. But you two aren't on the same. But you're on the same wavelength about Trent, no? Yeah, yeah. On the same yeah, wavelength yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. But the new predators, you know, everything, everything just re- just rebranded. Scored the equaliser against City. It's not normal Today, goals, bro. That free kick that that, that counts as own goal in it. That should be his goal. Russia went like this. Have the lead what? Or on on Fortmore, it's a Leno own goal. The free kick. It was yeah, 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 they said, they, really? yeah, yeah. They what? took it away from him. Yeah, took it away. What? From him. He's still oh. got a winner though. But that's to me, yeah, that's that's still his yeah, goal. Us, yeah. Trent Scott, bro. That's still his he's goal. Gone. Like gone. that free kick. Wow. He's a match winner, bro. But we talk about how is this guy not. England, this is exactly for in, in there Thank straight so away. Oh, right. Thank you so he much. should be in there straight Thank away. You so much. They'll argue with the rest. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He should just be in there straight away. In, in, in the friendlies, he's playing in midfield or the qualifiers, but when the tournament comes, no, do we think some people start in that midfield? He, sh- he should be he one will. of the. F- he should be one of the f- first people in the team sheet. I can't. Like, if we're talking about quality man. of he player in, in England, England has he's I, right up there, bro. He's right up there. I think he's one of the one of those players where it's. So I think Southgate has got to find a system that works. For people like Trent to start, absolutely, you know, where mm. England, like for example, people, people talk about obviously Kyle Walker plays in the back three in England, mm. that should allow Trent to have that free role and to play as like a wing back to mm. come in or something. Mm. Yeah. Like, why is he not building a system that works for Trent? Because if you build a system that works for Trent, then I think England will be at their best. Mm. All top managers I of think all time Harry have done Kane that. Will benefit off that, absolutely, yeah. bro. You know? With the deliveries and everything, bro, you can, bro, you from can Trent. Ch- yeah. The thing is, you can change the formation to so five at the back, four at the back, three at the back, have him in midfield, right wing back, right back, he has to start. 
you, you've got a match winner in your squad, bro. You have to use well, him. He's a match winner. Whether he's scoring the goal or providing the goal, he's no, a match winner. Whether, whether that is in-game or that's set-pieces. People yeah. keep saying, I'll oh, bring Joel Pro, uh, uh, War Pros for, for set-pieces. Set or Trippier. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. He's got a new player. Just a new player. Just a new player. Just a player unlocked. Joel Use his name. Joel War War. Bring War Pros and Trippier. That's the new player. Yeah, that's the new. Is he even English, that guy? What country is he? What country? What country is he? What bro? JWP. No, but what I'm saying is, yeah. Yeah, Trent, and there's another guy we'll talk about as we get on. That I think if anyone in the Euros, they got call him up. We'll talk about him later because he's not in this game. He has but Trent to, that's got to be. He has yeah, to yeah, be. Yeah, yeah. On he, has that. To be. he has to be. And not only not only just just going there. He has yeah, to yeah, start. Start. Bro. Yeah. He's, yeah, oh, he's definitely going. He there, has to start. He has yeah, to start. I, I, in that I, team. I think sometimes he's, it's a stick that's used to beat him about his how like how he can play midfield. He can play right. Oh, this is this is a positive. Yeah. Someone yeah. that can give you and impact the game on so many different positions and can hurt opposition from it. Bro, we've seen it on the top level at every like we don't need to see it anymore. We've mm. seen it in the Champions League, mm. we've seen it in the Premier League at the top mm. at the highest level of club football we have seen it from this guy. What more does he need to prove for Gareth Southgate to realise, wake mm. up and realise this is one of the best players I have in my squad available to me? And they always like to over overshadow <laughs> like, they always like to highlight his defensive mistakes, bro. Brother, every fullback's got defensive mistakes in them. Mm. He might not be the best defender. Mm. But brother, what he brings you up front, mm. I think justifies him and makes for, forgets about anything that he does at the back. Because he is, brother, that's not, it's rare to find a match winner as a fullback. Yeah. In my opinion, in the history, in the last 20, 30 years, that's only been three match winners fullbacks. Mm. That's Danny Alves, mm. Marcelo, and, and I think Trent. Yeah. You can't find a, someone that can influence a game mm. from a fullback position. Mm. I, I, I watched it day in and day out with Marcelo. Mm. Took that left-hand side. Trent literally is that for you, for you, bro. Mm. He's, a, he's a literally a match winner on that mm. right-hand side. When Salah has a bad game, when no one in the midfield is creative, give it, give it, give it to Trent. Mm. Ruble, anything, he does it, bro. I like, I like how it's working. Because obviously, actually, with England, they're playing in midfield. And I think... I, I don't think you should start in that midfield for England because mm, no. there's, I think there's a lot of good quality. Yeah, other options, yeah. But I like what has happened with Liverpool. He's starting in the back four as a right back. Yeah. But as the game moves, as the game gets on, he, he ended up at lone six. He, ends, he, he ended, ended up, up in that midfield. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. You know, and that's what I think should happen for England. He starts in that right back position. Mm. And I think as the game goes on, he comes for, tactically. Depending on the game state. Depending yeah, on yeah. the game state. Yeah, yeah. He becomes a midfielder. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. becomes maybe yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe becomes a right winger, yeah. and Saka yeah. comes in or something. Absolutely, you know, like that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. it could That's be what like Declan a, will be crucial because Declan is yeah cover the ground. He cover cover the ground. can cover yeah, that easily. Yeah, so easily. But I, I, I think it should work. But obviously Trent then goes on. It scores that free kick. He also then scores the the, the late winner. Yeah, which is again like another big moment for him. Obviously, after the City game getting a late equaliser, those Predators, man. There's something they in there. They look beautiful, don't they? There's something they in there. They look sensational. McAllister? There's something in there. I mean, we'll, I'll just get to McAllister, but that for me was the goal of the game by far. Easily. The, the free kick of the game week. The second. Far. Goal of the game week, I think. Absolutely. The winner. Oh, no, McAllister. Oh, McAllister. 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 Not because there's Endo. There's just so many. Yeah, I don't know what no, one to think about. Up. You can keep up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Four goals were unbelievable. I mm. cannot wait. Oh, no, no. He's going to have a shocker. Summer slide. <laughs> when you guys playing them? Yeah. Endo. 17th yeah. of December. Salah. 17th. It's just December. Rockets. December. Oh, ooh. At Anfield. Yeah. You think it's I long, could, long, you long I could not long forget long day. that day? Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, so I'm you're not going to Anfield back to back weeks then? I'm going back to back. United yeah. and Arsenal back to yeah. back weeks. But I just want to say about Liverpool as well. You, the, got, you, got, you got Anfield three times. Was, in between you got West Ham at home. You may as well. You might as well just get a hotel for the week. Stay in Liverpool. We've got Palace next. Away, innit? You got Palace. No, you got you got Sheffield away, Palace away. Yeah. Then you got Europa. Then you got Sunday, Wednesday, Saturday. You got uh, all Anfield games. United, yeah. West Ham, Arsenal. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say about Liverpool, and I don't obviously put a damper on the, obviously the positivity. Yeah, yeah I was it. gonna get to that yeah. as well because there's you got come on. Because if you score three crazy goals out of the four that you end up winning the game with, then we have to talk about the well, fact that that's not gonna happen. Yeah, every you week. needed f four individual moments of brilliance oh, to really yeah, 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 them yeah, at yeah, home, yeah, which yeah, is yeah. obviously a talking point. Like obviously, yeah. right now we're celebrating Liverpool because yeah. that was amazing, as they deserve but, to be. You know, the game just happened. We can yeah. celebrate, yeah. but. When you wake up tomorrow, Liverpool fans need to actually think yeah. you needed four individual moments of brilliance yeah. Yeah. to beat a Fulham at home, which is yeah. obviously we never had. We never had the best keeper in the world. No, true, but this is not, it's not, it's not just from as this you game. Said, when you take Allison away, anyone trying to fill his boots is it's not because you're not close to he's par, right, bro. He's right because some are, I, I, you're part right to be fair. Well, Once you take away the best some keeper, of, some it's saves, long. Some of the goals that was conceded, Alisson would have saved that. Absolutely. Yeah. But I'm saying that the issue of sustain sustainability wasn't of just not. quoted of now. Not. It's not yeah. just happened just because Alisson's gone down. Exactly. That's been an issue that we've we've obviously put at Liverpool's door for the whole season. 
But what they've done brilliantly and they deserve credit for is continuously getting results no matter the circumstance. Even if they don't have a natural six, even if they have different issues they have in their squad. Mm. Even if uh, Luis Diaz, is, is, is something happens, there's so many different things that have happened that Liverpool have gone through. And I tweeted it as soon as I said, because I saw the 3-3 th- the, the three, three, then the 4-3 straight away. Their mentality is insuppressible. It's insane. It's like insane. there's something yeah. in this squad that just means that never ever say die. And that's always been Liverpool, whether that's in Europe, whether that's obviously in the Premier League, especially in Klopp's era. Yeah. Um, and, and, and one moment that, that epitomised that was Endo's goal. You know, you're losing 3-2. Yeah. 87th minute, the pressure of the time running down for a new signing as well. Wow. Cultured finish. Wow, 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 someone, wow, has, wow, wow. Someone, someone has been criticised recently. That's a real number He's six. not good. Yeah. Why is he there? Why did Liverpool sign him? Waste the money kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Bro, that's what... That's uh, why. Smart. Do you see it? Uh, that's, that's why. <laughs> no, unbelievable that's finish. Great, unbelievable great finish. finish. Couldn't believe it. Great finish. When I saw that, I said, yeah. I know, it happened straight after. A minute, a minute, uh, 60 seconds after. Then Trent. Then, 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 I say, so yeah. everyone will remember Trent for that winner. Yeah. And yeah. deservedly so. To get a winner, an 80th minute, unbelievable through a body, it's like sea of body. But... Endo's goal yeah. made that happen because Absolutely. 87th minute, there's so much pressure, you're losing at home. Yeah. You're competing for the league at this yeah. point. And also wow. Salah, to be you fair, came to lay on. it off as well. Yeah, and he came and on you for came on. Uh, and, and, and I'm Salah, not going to I question that as well. He came on three minutes earlier. When he came on, I questioned that. I said, what's Klopp doing? What's he thinking? Mm. Like, like Ravenbitch went up We're as well. trying to attack. Yeah. 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 Like we're losing 3-2. Why are you bringing on six? Are you trying to defend? But then... That's why I said we've done nothing, man. We shouldn't question Jurgen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what are we doing? So How dare well. I? Yeah. Yeah. Cause I've, I'm very disrespectful for doing that. No, you are. You should. You You're should. absolutely it's disrespectful. True. I shouldn't question my you. manager. No way. That's disgusting. Don't, don't he does. Do that. I'm watch. If I'm at yard and he goes like that to the You TV, do it back. I'm doing it back. Yeah, yeah. but you're questioning him. That's rude. It's disgusting for me. I can't lie, but that glazing is mad though, still. Because you ain't got a manager. Just because he's that Your manager does this on a permanent team. <laughs> I can't like you're right still. Yeah. You're right. What still. are you gonna say about Salah? You're gonna say about Salah. Laid, the, I think I think the fact that he laid it off and whilst he's trying to chase that Shivers and Tedious on Reed's record of scoring the most games at Anfield, yep. is that, that just shows team player. Uh, so, yep, team player. Team player. This season player. he's shown that for sure. Team player. Whether 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 it's my records, your records, it's all about the team, team player. And, and the fact mm. that they've managed now their second one point is a one point two two points behind you, man. Uh, two. They are two 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 two, 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 two points two. behind you, man. The fact that they're now they're sent by a half. Not, not halfway through, it was the beginning of December, one month away from Jan. They've mm-hmm. managed to two, be two points away from Arsenal without having a defensive midfielder. Bro, they've done everything what they wanted. Because they tried getting Casado, they tried getting Lavia, it never worked out. They got Endo because of, yeah. you know what? Just we have we need something, for the, a stopgap. Stop stop and they've, the fact they've managed to take it all this way now without a six, mm. that's a win-win situation. The fact mm. they're only two points behind Arsenal. And last now, 16 of Europa League as well. Last 16 of Europa League, you men are through in the cup as well, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, yep, Carabao, yep, and yep. FA Cup, we got, we got uh, Arsenal. We got Arsenal. So we're like, we're in every trophy that we're, we're and in. And now right. the Jan is crucial for yeah. you guys. So the Jan, quad's still on. January. Mm. Uh, we know what happened last time. Jürgen quad's back. <laughs> and you ended up with a double with the two Timpo trophies. I can't but wait. Man. On penalties as well. On penalties as well. What does that mean? Crazy. Penalties as well. Nah, but the, and like, one of the guy, and that's why I said we cannot discredit um, Kaleha because he won us one of the trophies. Yeah, he did up. actually. So yeah, he did. He did. He did. Respect him. But but what do you guys? Ah, but if you didn't win today, you'll be very upset with Kaleha. Oh, you? if I yeah, of course. So the, but it's, it's part of the game. It's part of the game. This is football. Do you do you think Darwin Nunes misses is gonna is gonna hurt you guys? Yeah, it's, what's Le- your thoughts on what Levan was talking about? Um, Lay on, because um, bro, it's, it's, it's now becoming. It, it's now becoming. I think he's a good player, but it's now becoming <laughs> consistent every week now, bro. Yeah. Like, do you think it will hurt you and it will damage your season? I know. Oh, you know what? I like. You, let me tell you why I like Nunes. Yeah. Go on. Like, even when he misses, like when you miss as a footballer, when you miss, because I used to kick ball. I don't know about you, yeah, man. No, yeah, 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 yeah. When yeah. you miss, well, what twenty years ago? Your your mind is like, raw man's dead. I shouldn't be playing anymore. He still goes against the fans. Support us, yeah, keep yeah, on yeah. No, even after he misses. And the fans listen to him, yeah. he's a leader, bro. He's actually mm-hmm. quite a testament to how the Liverpool squad is as well. Actually, like it might not be fully but functioning, he's got it might to not start work scoring. all the time, but he's got to start scoring. I'm going to be honest, he's got to start Thank scoring. You. Thank you for that honesty. He's got to start scoring, mm. of course, because it's, it's not, I can it's see not, it. We get it, all right, chaos, okay, yeah, it's enough now. Let's put the ball when in goals now, bro. bro. When, when, okay, there. okay, uh, let me ask you this when to, to when are you are you gonna be like, you know what, I've had enough? He's saying now, certain, man, goals certain, now, bro? Certain, certain man's team signed the striker, the striker's still on zero goals. <laughs> no, 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 that's what makes me feel better. That's true, it's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. what makes me feel better. Yeah, certain right, man's team, right. their strikers on zero goals. I'm not thinking about Man United, please. Right, but with me, it's like Nunes, bro. I see it in you. Yeah, yeah. I but see, I see the fight in you, bro. I swear to God, I see it. But please, just show it to the world now. 
the I see it. You've been backing it for so long. All right, long yeah, goals, you're, yeah. You're missing this, you're missing that. All right, yeah. cool. School goals that you did against Newcastle and the past is forgotten about. Mm, that's yeah. the, that's how football runs. Mm-hmm. For sure, for sure. And 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 and, and obviously we have got some correspondence for a couple of Liverpool fans where well, Femi uh said, Well, yeah, what win that was. I can't say we completely deserved it with how we play uh for a lot of the game. Uh but the quality we have in attack again just shone through. And that seems to be a common theme mm. uh for Liverpool. Uh Alex Tech said, um, looked like we didn't respect Fulham at all at times, which I don't like to see. I think it's uh, yeah. not close enough to their not close enough to their man off the ball, affording yeah. them a lot more time and space, and we were punished. That is the Premier League. It doesn't matter who you play and where and where any team can hurt you if you let them. And obviously you guys almost let them. But yeah, we said about uh, Liverpool's resilience. You have yeah. to most points Alex gained from losing positions in the Premier League in twenty twenty three. So mm. from January to now, twenty one yeah, points. Yeah. I'm not surprised about that. Yeah, I always used to see us from losing. It's a we used to always concede goals like in the first five minutes. Yep. But it got to the point when we could see the goal in the first five minutes. I used to say to myself, well, it's fine. Cup, well, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You already won Because it just kept it. on happening. <laughs> Obviously, you don't like it. <laughs> kept on happening. Yeah. yeah but I, I feel it. like now, this season, it's compared to last, I'm very happy with uh, with Liverpool, to be fair. Yeah, I, st- I, st- I still think we can't we can't forget about the um, like we say like we talk about this game. It's not going to happen every week, and it is there is going to have to be a change in terms. Of, obviously, Allison will eventually come back, mm-hmm. um, so obviously they'll be waiting on that. But until then, they have to find a way to stop conceding goals. And these end to end games are not going to win you a title. That's not how you win titles. And I, I, I saw you tweeted that's a championship kind of win. Yeah, if it was at May. Like if this was May and it was the end, just getting the title, I would hear it. But these yeah, kind but, of wins but, won't get you to you, a you're championship. You're right, you're right. But, but, I ignore him, ignore no, him. No, no, no. Ignore no, no, no. Him. Mm. These, these are the games that wins you trophies. Yeah. Because <laughs> now, let's say in May, let's How say often? you win. How <laughs> huh? often? Not often. These, no. I'm saying these, but, but, these but, but extra two points. But that's the problem with... But, that's yeah, the problem of course. This is how I felt when we beat Brentford 1-0 late the other day. That's yeah. the problem. That's the problem with people that think, let's say, oh, because they won the final. People People always forget the the low key the performances so the the, the like road they take the, the road the, yeah. the path exactly yeah. these are the uh, it adds on bro yeah it's literally right. it adds, but when it, we've it seen on. Liverpool be at the top and winning at the top they haven't been like this they've been a team that is like we were saying when Van Dijk came in first half it was so hard to play they weren't conceding goals they weren't shipping goals the way they, the way they're shipping goals right now understandably they had Fabinho who is obviously in his prime it's two different yeah. teams though. it is two different teams, two different teams but I'm saying they need to find solutions for this current squad that they have they need to find solutions and not be this hectic as it has been but that's but why but that's why in my opinion you, we keep talking about City not being in, in first second gear we, talk, we keep talking about Arsenal absolutely. being nowhere Liverpool bro. in my opinion it's not even in first second absolutely. gear as well absolutely. and they, they are missing pieces but the fact they're only that's two why, points man. behind that's why I'm yeah. saying man playoff time this is going to get playoff time bro. is mad but, but three but, teams but they, interesting. You know how player times? They need trades though. Liverpool needs mm. trades. Yeah. <laughs> well, January is uh, time. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. January L- the trades. It is SDS after all. It's sports. January, you get the one. Liverpool needs trades because they need to. They need to. They need players. We will. We will. We'll I wish there was trades in football, man. I'm like, yeah, give us someone. We'll give you someone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll be lit. <laughs> they need I'm like, yeah, I'm we'll like, give us Saka. We'll give you party. You need a DM. Give us Saka. Give us Nunes. We need a striker. Give us Saka. Nunes. Our will make him good. Yeah, crazy. I don't think we can change water to wine for these guys. <laughs> um, yeah, can I have his one? But, 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 but another team that maybe even need to get into first gear are Man United. Mm. And that's the next game we're going to talk about mm-hmm. as they travelled to St. James's Park. And <laughs> they, all I mean, so it's one, your one turn. One now yeah. it's your turn to speak. Yeah. Um, but wow, man. Like, it's, it's weird because it's like, it's like we, everyone expected Newcastle to win. Yeah, like it yeah, wasn't yeah, even yeah, like yeah. yeah. It, was, yeah. it wasn't a surprise. Like everyone knows St James is hard to go to. We lost there, you know. We, that's our only loss this season. Mm. Obviously, could be unrightfully so. Yeah, not you, of course. Um, yeah, you guys won. Yeah, yeah. Nunes, Nunes was unbelievable. Exactly. Again. Twice but you won, but twice back to back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last year, and then even that one was luck. Like, that was at Anfield or when Fabio Cavallo was late goal. Anfield, Anfield, Anfield. But Anfield. then you beat them at Newcastle as well. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. Magitek had that good performance there. But Gakpo, yeah, Gakpo, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, obviously United travelled there. Kieran Trippier is unbelievable again, but on the other side, this is the player I was talking about earlier. Yeah. Tino Livramento, England need to call him up ASAP. Yeah. ASAP. Yeah. Because, you know what? Is that currently the best fullback pairing in the Premier League? Trippier and Livramento. Chill, chill. Okay, go on then, name me. Oh. Go on then, think about it. Think about it. Because City don't have one. I'm Liverpool don't have a strong one right now because... Yeah. Rob- it was not the days of trying to Robbo bit. anymore. Yeah. Um, Definitely not. We us. keep tra- obviously we had Tommy Asmus Zinchenko, but I think 
keeps changing. Pedro, Pedro Boro Adogi. Oh, there you go. Boro Adogi. I don't think that's better trip in Livermore. Yeah, it's not, but it's a good shot. That's a good shot. I'm saying, can you think of one? No, I don't think I can. Oh, no. Come on, man. Who? Nati Cash and Dinier. Hey, hey, hey. Mm. Oh, I'm yeah. Newcastle. Matt yeah. Cash has been scored. I like Liverpool. Do you think about Liverpool and think them two can both lock up the opposition? Like you thought you'd done something. No, that's not it for me. You Matt. thought you did. Yeah, yeah. Cash yeah. You thought you cooked. Cash didn't even start today. It was console right back. Yeah, exactly. Because he was out. I think because I think, that, I think they have everything. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah arguably. Um, but yeah, I mean, we'll talk about Newcastle as well. Uh, We'll let you spit about United in a second, but another good shout is uh, Miley Lewis Miley. Very good starts again. How he's, he? the, he's, he's played against um, Chelsea and won PSG, PSG, and literally seconds away from winning that as well. Yeah, mm. my United. These are big games, huge games, mm. big games, huge, huge. And, huge. and, and he's, he's there, and he looks comfortable. <laughs> and obviously, he's fortunate enough to come in because there's been a lot of injuries of Newcastle and a lot of, of suspensions with Tonali, etc. And wow, man, and it's like. It's always the best thing I think to see when a youngster like that comes in Absolutely. And, and, and just looks comfortable, man. Yeah. So he's seventeen, bro, and then and, and he's making he's making the pitch his, his bro. Like the Chelsea assisted. P- man goes to Park the Prance. <laughs> That's insane. And makes his own bro. Like, I can't believe guard it. And them, man. I can't believe and then, it. And then against you, man. Copy Mayno. Mm. Copy Mayno. Mm. All this comparison, all oh, copy, you know what I mean? <laughs> this and that. <laughs> yeah, yeah Miley did well. Copy Mino and this yeah. and that, man. Yeah. Everton up there. <laughs> Everton well, well, was, Hey, I can't lie. Listen. Are you laughing or talking? At the no, same no, time? no, I want to. <laughs> yeah. I'm letting you know now. This is, is going to be a, a cookery. I this can't lie. Listen, here. I want to. Uh, let me. Let, let's, let's say what we want to say. Miley also had the most tackles in the match as well. Ooh. No, Let's he's say got long legs, bro. You guys, I'll, I'll be real, yeah. I watch that game, yeah. Very important, important, bro. Phase, yeah. Long, long legs are very right, important in midfield. Yeah, that's true, of course. Tag very team, important. Yeah, tag yeah, team, yeah, yeah, tag team. I'm ready. Yeah, I'll yeah. go fast. You go next. Yeah, yeah. Right. You guys, I watch the game, yeah. yeah. Ninety minutes. You guys, oh, I was a joy. Like a relegation side, fam. Yeah, not the first time. You guys, time. it was it was bad. It was. Now add to that, none of Martial, Rashford, or Bruno Fernandes had a single touch in opposition box in the first half. So what, Faisal? Mm. It's a it was only Garnacho. It was only Garnacho who got a touch. Faisal, it's a freeway. Is it a freeway? That's a freeway. That's crazy. That's a why. Money the back. Say something. Please no. Let's let's just hear that one more time. Don't say it again. Uh, none of Anthony Martial, Marcus Rashford, or Bruno Fernandes had a single touch in the opposition box in the first half versus Newcastle. So the question is, what did you do in the first half? Because if, if your three best players, so-called best players, went in the final third, where were you? You know the XG was what? Three? Four? Hmm. For who? For, for Newcastle. Yeah, yeah, In just the first half? It, or the whole game? The whole game. But, but, but first I'll half... Give, first three half, first half, bro. First half wasn't three, but listen, mm. you guys, I think let's just have a conversation about you guys. I don't think you guys are nowhere near as I predicted early on, and you you try to cook me as well. Mm-hmm. You and, mm-hmm. and and your other little two buddies, mm-hmm. Leas and Liban, mm-hmm. try to cook me. I said you guys are not top four mm-hmm. tied. I mm-hmm. told you from the get go. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're gonna bring Onana. Mm-hmm. The Gea is not, not nowhere there. We're mm-hmm. gonna bring that. Mm-hmm. Where's Onana? Is it a rhetorical question? Ooh, no, no. Look what you done started. Ooh, no, no. You said Rashford is are a world class player. I never ever said that. By the way. <laughs> Never ever first said that anybody. Half? <laughs> I just slammed that. No, no, no. It's just slammed that. No, no, because no, 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 Disgraceful. Yeah. Second half wasn't even any better. You can't say nothing back. And I'm sorry, fact, I don't disagree with anything so far. You, the game before, yeah. you, you guys went to Gala. Mm-hmm. You guys spotted it once yet, yet again. 2 0 mm. up again, back to back Champions League games, 2 0 up and didn't get a win. Mm. And then two weeks after that was Copenhagen. Mm hmm. You guys went to Everton. I don't know how you managed to keep a clean sheet. Wallah. Only God knows. Yeah, they created a couple of good chances, but we were, we were better than Everton. Our last opponent, I don't know how you managed to keep a clean sheet. Mm. But we were better than Everton. Please now, now speak about your squad. Just please. Wait. Oh, well, I text yeah, you. Text, 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 text. Wait a minute. Because it's, before you go, because speaking about the squad, uh, Leas also tweeted, we've actually built a squad formed of players and profiles suited to football seven years ago. The more I watch other sides, the more infuriatingly obvious it becomes. Leas hates United more. I swear, but I can tell him those still open Leas. But I swear that's the same guy that, that had United finishing fourth. Of course he did. But to be fair, very early on he changed very early on the season he changed his mind. Go on. I just heard memes. They were like <laughs> Everything said I just heard memes. Can you agree with me now? Mm-hmm. What I said about Ten Hag? 
You said the pitch is too big for him. Yeah, yeah, but that was like for too you big. for people to understand. That yeah. was layman's terms. That was yeah. layman's. <laughs> that was layman's. The term. job is too big for him. Yeah, him, basically. No, I don't think so. So you think he's the right man? I think. I think he's you not. Failed. As think, a Man United fan, you failed. If you still think this guy's the right man, the guy that uses V, you failed. <laughs> You yeah. failed. Uh, uh, There's no way this guy can well, be the manager uh, for my club. said before, uh, it's been uh, for like five minutes, by the way. Okay. Put yourself in abs uh, uh, position. Okay. okay yeah. Put yourself in, in abs I'm, position. I've been there. We've, we've had tough he times. He was there. So yeah. Put yourself in the less handsome this and that. Just put yourself <laughs> in this position, yeah? <laughs> okay. Uh, wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> put Crazy. yourself in that position, yeah? Yeah, yeah. If you are United fan and yeah. you saw this week Thank in, God week I'm not, out, but yeah, God. Week in, week out. Yep. I live in London, I'm not, you know, if I can't live Ten Hag bought X by his head, yeah. <laughs> God, Ten Hag, I'm joking, man. Ten Most of us are from London. Week in, week out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's asking this. Well. Would you still be, you know what, I'm happy to keep him as our manager? Um, <laughs> it, it, It's tough because it's like... Sharky. They, I don't, think, I don't think there's anyone out there right now for them that is like, very good just point. get rid like, of him. Very good point. I, get, I, I think there's more problems than just Ten Hag at a club. You know? I and listen. It's like, if you get Logic. T- like, I, okay, you know, I was similar to Arsenal in the sense of we're both long-term manager clubs. Yeah, right? absolutely. Ferguson, Wenger. So I'm, I stuck with Arteta. With Emery, I had a little bit less patience with him. But with Arteta, you could see it from early. We even mm. were finishing eighth. With Ten Hag, I'm not a United fan, so I, I watch from like yeah. hate watching. I yeah, love watching guys lose. That's, that's what I have Growing to Growing up, of course, yeah. like United were the team that I hated the most because mm. you were very successful. Absolutely. But I don't know from the United side, mm. you might see something. Yeah. I just don't see it and I'm, yeah. I, I don't want to see it. I'm happy I'm not seeing it. With Arteta, I saw it mm-hmm. and you guys didn't see it. You guys, obviously, a lot of you guys were like, I'll tell shit, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. So now the question goes to you that Fed yeah. just asked me. I'm deflecting yeah. it to you. Yeah, yeah. I got a little mirror and just bounced over <laughs> to you. Tennis. Tell us about United uh, concerns. Obviously, Newcastle are a very strong, tough place to go anyways. Yeah. Um, but concerns, anything you want to say, the floor is yours. And The, I, the irony is, if you'd asked me before this game at St. James's Park, I probably would have been a bit more positive because although it was Galatasaray, Everton and Luton, for example, even the Copenhagen game before the Russia Red Card, there were signs in those games. There were signs of beginning to see, I wouldn't say style of play, I'd say patterns of play. You'd see an underlap that works and a cutback. You'd see certain things that like we saw in the Galatasaray game. You can see yeah. that in League Two, though. Man. It's true. An it's underlap true. and a cutback. It, it's true, but, but I'm saying that we haven't seen that in Man United. No, that's <laughs> a problem. United, that's that's a a problem. United, the same happy. gala that left you I'd like to speak. So I'd like to speak. space to expose. Like to speak. I'd like to so speak. Much space. You, yeah, gave, you gave me the floor. I'd like to <laughs> dance. Like I said, before this St. James's Park one, I would have been a bit more positive because I had seen, like, like United was so devoid of any signs of patterns of play. I was a big Oli guy. There wasn't much patterns of play that you're seeing. There. It was more soak up the pressure and be individual brilliance that gets you wins of games, right? Under Ten Hag in his first season, and we go back to that season because that's really what he's is hurting him because of how good he did in the first year. After the first two games, he throws away his principles and he goes into results mode. And there are similarities in terms of what we do in this season and last season in terms of, like, for example, the press. At times during this season, sorry, at times during last season, we would be pressing and we would commit our fullbacks to the press. Mm-hmm. And what that would mean is that it wouldn't be so easy for a goalkeeper when the front free press for them to just find a fullback. So you see in the Premier League every single game, mm-hmm. a press is happening and if it's a rubbish press, there's a free man and the keeper finds him with ease. Mm-hmm. That's always been the case, right? At times last season, we would have seen that commitment to the press but for whatever reason this year and it might be due to personnel and the people who are not fit. When you play a back line of Juan Bissaka, Maguire, Luke Shaw and Dalo, and they also don't commit to the press, there's a huge gap in between the first press that we do and the build-up play. Because mm-hmm. we try to build up the ball unsuccessfully Onana would go long, we'd lose the ball, we're under the cosh again. Like, we look at that 90 minutes against Newcastle. We had a good first, maybe five minutes at the beginning where Garnacho got the chance, where Bruno played him in. And then we had the end flurry where we got the offside goal. Other than that, throughout the whole of that game, completely and utterly controlled and dominated by Newcastle. I asked the question on my Twitter. I said, are Newcastle the most physical team, uh, the, the, the best team physically in the league? Mm-hmm. And I think Arsenal come close. They are, but I feel Ar- I think Arsenal, are. Arsenal come close, but I think Newcastle is number one. Uh, you reckon Liverpool as well? Uh, no, no, I didn't reckon Liverpool. What? Facebook asks Sharky a question. Sharky deflected it to you. Yeah. Have you are now not responding to Sharky's question. Remind me of the question, but I, right. I was just yeah, getting yeah, the floor. You are, you are absolutely correct. No, no, no. I, I, want, I want to hear. I, I was just cooking, bro. I didn't, what was your question that you asked? No, no. no. Just, it was about Ten Hag, but I don't want to talk about Ten Hag. I want to talk about United. Listen, the patterns of play right now is interesting because I feel like a lot of players have been exposed because we are trying to play more expansive football. We want to play a press, like we want to do a press, but the press is disjointed. Mm-hmm. There's too much of a big gap between the defence and the attack. We haven't got mid- the midfield right. 
Mm-hmm. I like Kobe Mano. I think he's the only person who looks like he can trap a ball and, and really be playing like and him. dictating like tempo. But you can't play McTominay next to him. That's a crime. McTominay got 90 minutes. In the last Did th- McTominay play? In the last three games, yeah. But, no, but especially in that I, game. I saw a stat. This is the kind of game that you say, McTominay, that you come into your own. You're playing against Newcastle, Joe Linton. These, like, these what are the Joe kind Linton of done to him in the corner flag? Joe Linton was bullying everyone. He bullied I, Bruno um, for a bit there. You mentioned McTominay. I saw a stat yesterday saying that in the last three touches. or four games, he only had three, 30 touches in, in four games, man. As a midfielder. <laughs> this is a crime. As a midfielder. It's a crime. And and I have to, I'd like, obviously some blame has to be on Ten Hag. But genuinely, like Sharky was saying, there's obviously, so I don't even want to talk about the main structural issue because that could be changing in this in, in, in the future. There could be Ratcliffe coming. Like we spoke stuff. about Forget that. that we spoke We're talking about, about it so much. That's tired. I'm tired of talking about, about, yeah. about that. Coaching on the football pitch. We see, um, I remember Elias actually said this and I disagreed with him earlier in the season. We were talking about Ange is the biggest detriment to, to Ten Hag. I still think there's differences between the two things, but they play their style of football no matter what happens. Mm-hmm. United, I'm starting to like, are we a pressing team? Do we play high up the pitch? Do we try and play the ball out or are we a long ball team? Like, and those questions are so testament to how the squad has been assembled. It's mm-hmm. in a squad that has Lissandra Martinez, Onana, Rafael Varane. In just those three, you have two fighting philosophies. In a centre-back partnership, you have two philosophies that don't make sense. Lissandro, brilliant press resistance, ball playing. Varane, inverted knees. Unfortunately, he can't do much. And he, he just struggles to play the ball. You have, he wants to play, he wants to play Luke Shaw or, or Dalo or Wan-Bissaka. Luke Shaw, we've seen him there. He, he can play in, um, in the first phase. He's got technical security. Wan-Bissaka, a lockdown defender, one-on-one. And then you have two, your two six are different profiles as well. I, I, Casemiro, like, or you've got Kobe Mayner. It's, it's so, like, and, and, and this is why, like, although, although I've been, like, I've been said, the guy, this guy's too positive, that you've got to be more, like, the, I understand the reality of the situation at the club, but I genuinely believe that Ten Hag is trying to build a system where he weeds out these kind of plays that are not his, Casemiro, I don't think will come back into the lineup. I think he needs another three years though. To do no, that. absolutely, and, and I don't I, think we're in a title challenge. And can Man United have that I level mean, of patience? I don't think so. I don't think you, you can't do that, Man United. You can't go without a title challenge. For three. But me, as a fan, I'm willing to wait for that. I'm drunk on success. Yeah, I'm, the sa- I was I'm the drunk same. on oh, yeah, success, I brother. I, was, I didn't get success. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I've seen my team win the Champions League, and I understand now that the level, the way that football is going now, we have to have money, money spent wisely, an idea from a manager. And then we see it on the pitch. That's the way for success. Yeah, but bro, but uh, you got bro. money, man. Y- y- Everyone's got money now. No, so money spent wisely. That's, that's why key. I said the second point. The second point is money spent wisely. We don't spend yeah. it smart, bro. I, I see mm-hmm. what you're saying about players, his players, different identity, different identity. I hear that, yeah. Yeah. But you mentioned three players: Varane, Martinez, and Thing, and uh, and Onana. He bought two of them. The first season, he said, "I had to play this way because I'm forced to." This season is your second season. At least play the way you want to see it. Bro, I can't lie. It's two years now. I'm not. I'm not trying to hate watching. No, 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 I've been no, watching no. you, man. No. I don't it's see any pattern of play, fam. I don't yeah, see any right. and, 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 and like to you guys. Ange, Ange came into a, a messed up Spurs side. Yeah, just lost Harry Kane as well, yeah. and. You're seeing whether they're winning or losing. You're seeing some philosophy, absolutely. And I'm seeing, I'm seen the and and, was, and he, they made a lot of signings, yeah. Which was question might have been a bit questionable, yeah. might have been a bit. They didn't Harry replace, Kane didn't replace Harry Kane. Yeah. Yeah. They got Madison, who United have been chasing for how long? Mm. You know, they got other players. You know, as a positive all, place already. Mm. Already, everything that. looks great there. Yeah. Add it with United as well. Add it, add it with the Zerbi. When I watch those teams, I see something. I see a pattern. I see something. We're united, bro. You told you, you tell me overlap. I see certain things. Again, but that's, overlap, that's any, any that's brother can do overlap. Yeah. Any no, dude can do and, and, and oppress. Mm-hmm. Any, any team can do that. No, but, but we don't do it well. Like I'm, My point that I'm saying is the difference between last year and this year is that this is the year where we are attempting to do things that we haven't been able to do. Therefore, we're not going to see it. Like, like when we've gone from last year, where we're playing that low block and we're... We might be doing the press, but we have Casemiro there, who was so good last year in terms of covering ground and winning the ball out the pitch. With the way that we, like we've seen it in the Tottenham game earlier this season, the reason why these guys look so worse this year is because we're taking so many more risks. We're doing the press that goes there and we're keeping that press up and we're attempting to play the ball for as long as we can until Onana boots it. Those two things are a recipe for disaster. Mm. Those two concepts are fighting each other because if the press is so far away from the build-up and then you go long... It doesn't make sense. The second ball is not being won by anyone in midfield. I remember seeing a uh, uh, average position against Newcastle. I promise you, I swear bad. to God, it was keeper yep. back four yep. attack. Was There's bad. nothing Huge in midfield. Gap. Huge gap. Ga- like, 
And you guys I, ask fair questions when you ask about the style of play. But my point is that with the personnel issue that we have, I, I, I need to see more from Ten Hag. And even though I might be clutching at straws when I'm talking about the slightest of things, brother, I'm looking at a, 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 a mine of coal and I'm finding one speck of a diamond, bro. And the thing is, I, 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 I will add to that as well. That's not our identity. We both know you, man, don't have a style of play. I don't think the players notice it. Because now, let's say Kobe Minor gets the ball. He receives it, looks up, but he, does, he doesn't know what to do. When the players, if I can see it and the players can feel it, but the manager has lost control of the dressing room. You That's might not see speculation. it. I don't think I, he has. I, don't, I, I definitely I, think he has a loss. Don't, cause, cause the fact okay, that he, go on, okay, go on. Let me ask you this. Do you think, I think he's already lost all, he has lost all the big egos, Ronaldo, Varane, Thank God. and Sancho. Big egos are necessary. All right, cool. We need people, especially if it's a long-term process, big egos are only going to hold you back. But Arteta had to do that with big egos in the club as well, brother. That's fine. Big egos do need to leave. That's cool. But I don't think, and again, I'm an outsider. I'm, I don't know, boo. No. I've got no idea. We don't know. Someone clip that. Yeah, listen. Yeah, yeah love yeah. it. Love I don't it. know, boo. We, we can't see X, Y, and Z, yeah? But I'm looking at your team. I'll be real. I don't think the players are playing for him. Rashford goes out. What makes you say that? Rashford goes out. and He plays Rashford through bad form. What does it mean Rashford doesn't play for him? Rashford goes out and starts and starts complaining and saying a random thing. Yeah, what am I doing here? What am I, X, Y, and Z? Yeah, the play, I don't feel like the players are fighting for him. I don't think him, there's bro. enough evidence for you to make that statement. I don't think there's enough. No, no, I, no, I saw that. I'm, yeah. I'm saying that there's not enough evidence that we've seen that he's lost the dressing room or the players don't play for him. I think he has had disagreements with players. The likes of Ronaldo, that was public. Sancho, Varane, apparently recently that he's had that he's public disagreements with. I mean, we just saw one on the pitch with Martial this game. Yeah, and I think that was wrongfully at Martial because I feel like he was being killed by the fact that Rashford wasn't working. Rashford, like, Rashford's been poor this year. He, I mean, what's worse with him is that when he's poor, he's shown two seasons ago, when he's poor, he's just not there. He's mentally just che checked out. It's just done. He's not, oh, I'm having bad form, but I'm still trying my hardest. It's good enough, though. Everything bad happens when he's having bad times. And that's absolutely right. It's not good enough. So he should be dropped. After the Galatasaray performance, can't believe I'm saying it, Anthony should have started. After his Galatasaray performance, he warranted a start. And when he came on the pitch, ended up getting the offside goal at the end. There's so much wrong at Man United. You're absolutely, every, all your questions are warranted and I, I, I don't have answers for them, if I'm being honest. But my point is... That's a problem, though. No, of course it's a problem. If you don't, if you don't have answers about your own team, like I, I can ask Fuad right, about problems and he can answer it. I can ask Fuad. I can ask anyone, yeah? The fact that you... And, and it just shows how bad you guys are that you can't even answer. And I'm not saying you specifically. Yeah, it's, of course, it's, it's about, about Man United. Yeah, course, it's about yeah. your team. The yeah. fact that you can't answer why this is going on, why Rashford is playing like this, yeah, why I, Ten Hag... excuses. The, I'm tired of excuses. Obviously, I could turn around and say, oh, no, Lissandra's not back. But that's not the reality. But the, but that's not the reality because even when we had Lissandra earlier this season, these issues were still there. But it, things could be better for him. It could be better. But I'm not saying... For me, I look at it and I see, and I see Sofiane and Kobe should be playing together in midfield. You know I, don't know do. you know like, I don't know, Bull. I don't know, Bull, but I don't know why Scott McTominay is playing football. Okay. Yeah, like, I can He's see that with scorers. my own eyes. He's a top scorer. And, and yes, and then that's an argument. Ten Hag wants to keep his job, so yeah. he wants to keep goals. There you go. I'll provide me something else. You know what I think you should do? I think you Give should, me something. I think you should do what Spurs did last season. And, and, he, and Shark said it earlier, if you sack Ten Hag, what are you going to do? Facts calm, that's calm. Spurs did the same thing. What, what, what are we going to do? You know what? Scott Mason, or what was his name? Mason. Ryan Mason. Ryan Mason. Oh, whatever. Ryan Mason. Ryan Mason. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, Ryan no, Mason. Season's uh, written off. Yeah. Right, yeah. Season's written off. Season's we, 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 you guys written no, no, off. But well, you're absolutely dreaming if you think that happens at Manchester United. Ryan United is different. <laughs> what? You, you, How the you, hell are you comparing? You said, you said Emory at Villa. You said the Zerbi at Brighton at <laughs> Spurs. You lost your United mind. United are a completely different institution. It's so different. Brother, 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 it's brother. So let's not do this. It's the biggest job of Ten Hag's life. Wait, wait, wait. I'm a Madrid fan. Okay, wait. These are the two biggest clubs in the world. Football. Literally, they're acting like they are still amongst the best acts. Oh, they are. They have, in terms bro, of big clubs, they no, are. I'm, I'm not in saying terms of, in terms performance, of TV, the standard, media, big clubs, how big it should be, bro. Commercially, financially, that's yeah, that's something that kills us. That's something that kills us. The fact that that shadow is still there. They're nowhere near the last ten years. They've never been there on the pitch. Correct. Argued that on the pitch. Correct. So now they have everything else. Biggest doesn't mean best. Like Brighton, Villa, Spurs, they can go under the radar. Spurs, Villa, Spurs, they're not under the radar. United is a bit harder. So what are you saying? Uh, I have a question they for They can't face. get rid of Ten Hag now. It makes no sense. Well, right now in November, why should they? It makes no sense. I have a question. Well, suddenly things are going to change. No, for me, I don't feel like there's going to be any change. Regardless. I, bro, with Ten Hag. I think they're in trouble either way. With I, Ten Hag, there's going to be no change. I agree with that. Yeah. So like, Listen, if you, I think, if you, I think it's I all th about, you love, go ahead. 
You the, why is he making them type of songs? Tim kind of blunt. He's murdered. He's murdered. He's here in Man United. Just now, he's a weirdo. That's crazy. You love taking risk in life. Oh, what about do, you, yeah, Sharky? Yeah, I do. This is where you, what United need to do now. Me, I'm, 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 I'm the and biggest you, you know United here. Look, it's true. Do you know why? This is the period of time exactly now where we sacked in Emery. You know when Arteta came in? December, first week of December. Mm. Was it now? First week of December. Mm. This is where we sacked Emery, and we said, Freddie. Youngberg, take a few games. Yeah. And, 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 and he said Arsenal. He asked us oh, wait, but not my Respectfully, they're not the not. same size as us. I've got not. one question for you. Would you allow that Aron Majid? You're having a bad manager. Take him out and let someone else um, bum manage Alonso, your team. Alonso, manage no, your no, club for a bum, a bum, manage no, your team. Alonso, sick, that's about a great yeah, yeah. signing. Would you allow that Aron Majid? It's a direct but, question, yes or no? I saw that. But that's why But that's why you are not the historian of the game. I witnessed the first hand a couple years ago. When we sat our manager, manager. Solali came in as a backup. Then we had. I how saw long? It. How long? Huh? Did he do it in November? Did he do it in December? Yes, he did. He came in December. I and think. how long did he stay? For a couple months. He came. He stayed for a couple months. And then we said, Zidane, brother. You're telling well, me why we need you to the end of the season. I, I looked. To the end I looked. No, no, no. The thing is, no, the thing is, I don't had see Michael Carrick and Giggsy for a bit, bro. That's short term. We don't mind. It happens. Yeah, Carrick was great for you. Yeah, good two years. I don't see a ceiling with Ten Hag without Ten Hag. So no, I disagree. I disagree. Okay, what's the yeah, limit? That's what I'm saying. Like, this is why I say, if you asked me this before the St. James in the Park game, I expected to lose against Newcastle. Yeah, well, I remember Jermaine Genes. Of course, it's the problem, the problem itself. <laughs> Newcastle are better than Manchester United right now. Well, sorry if that's so crazy. To Newcastle are better than Manchester United right now. Look what you're saying. No, but it's crazy. Man, but that's the reality. Man, that's the reality. Man, I, I, but but, but, but like know. I say, let me just finish what I'm saying. United you see, you lost. see. Yeah. No, but wait, the, no, we say we're the biggest. That doesn't mean biggest. We're the biggest. That's the size. That, Old Trafford. And like I say, that's something that actually hurts us because Old Trafford's leaking, isn't it? But it's there's got, coming, there's it's, got it's, no it's, TV screen. <laughs> <laughs> if you miss a goal, you miss a goal, fam. Facts. <laughs> you, Facts. Am I lying? Facts. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Where's the other You miss a goal, you miss a goal. What, you do. No, no, what what you nice. have and what they don't have, yeah. they have Shay Tans and they're exactly, around, exactly, running around, fam. Exactly. Yeah, but to answer your question, <laughs> if, you ask me this, if you asked me this before the, in the game against Newcastle, all I want to see from this season, this is a teething period for me. It's got. I just have to see. I have to see. I've heard teething period last season as well. There's uh, nothing. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I was just cut you off. Well, you know what you're doing? Not, the same, like I said, sorry, the sorry, reason that it's not the same weak. as last season is last you're season. You're weak. weak. You're weak. One second. You're weak. Let me just say this last thing. One last thing. Last thing. The reason why you can't compare that. The reason why you can't compare that to last season is that last season he threw. Yeah, he threw away his principles last season, and 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 went for results based. He hasn't done that. I muted his mic, man. <laughs> Sorry, bro. I'm joking. You know what it is? Yeah, well, you know, this is this is a C, a CM yeah, Punk. This is a CM. This is a CM. They don't want to let me talk. The authorities against us. Hey, pipe bomb, pipe bomb, pipe bomb. And then you leave and then come back. Yeah. Sorry, but like the thing is, yeah, I generally I agree with at least ninety percent of what you're saying. Just it was a lot, but I like you being generous about ninety. No, no, I agree with what we're saying, but it's like I'm. I'm tired of hearing it, bro. It's like, bro yeah. I'm tired I, of I saying it. I'm tired of saying this. That's bro. why it's like, I don't want to even hear about it. Anymore. I want to give Newcastle credit. I want to talk about Newcastle. Yeah, no, absolutely. And I want to talk about AG10, Anthony Gordon, and mm. the form he's in now. And I think a big factor of that is the boy Livermento coming out of left back and their yeah. part of that left side, bro. Yeah, Livermento, Joe Linton, Anthony Gordon. You know, so impressive that side. Anthony Gordon, when he was first came last season, a lot of money. Chelsea won them, 40 million, came into Newcastle. Uh, everyone's like, what are they doing? Why are they spending that much money on Anthony Gordon? They bought in Harvey Barnes as well afterwards. He can't get a sniff. Yeah. You know? Well, and and then, Leas, yeah. I don't know, but I'm saying, yeah. even but even if he comes back from injury, is he getting so. ahead no. of uh, Anthony no, Gordon? No. No. no chance. Right? He might as well reinvent himself as a right winger because Harvey Barnes is sick cutting, you know what I mean? Or whatever, yeah, right wing. Because yeah. that right wing is Almiron and Murphy. You yeah. know? Yeah, that yeah, left he can wing, take over that right wing. Gordon's got that solid lockdown. Team. 100%. What a player he's been, man. What he's a season he's having. I think it helps us. You, you mentioned it perfectly. Yeah. You've got someone that can overlap. That's why having a full back. And a right back as well. It's not a left back. That's what I'm right saying. Back. Having Dan Burn behind you, bro, you, you're not expecting much in terms of the offensive standpoint. But he's been good, man. You you had your stocks early from him. I never felt. So both Livermento and Anthony Gordon, by the way. Yeah, especially. Yeah, yeah for real. Specifically, Gordon. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I didn't think the price tag. He was worth it, and it's still too early to say it. But I can't lie; I think it's incredible, man. He's, like, yeah. he's uh, one of the hardest working players in the Premier League. In terms of so he hard presses. Working. Pressing is unbelievable. And technically, fast, he's good. Very fast. Technically, he's good. Very fast. Technically, he's good. Very well, good technically, and he can pop up with those goals. Arguably, so arguably, so winning against both of us. Winning against both of us. Yeah. Arguably, the best player of the season so Newcastle. far for Newcastle or in the seat in the Premier League so far. Prem. 
arguably. You can, you can, you, go, you uh, could uh, definitely yeah, you put can, him up there. You can definitely put him up there. I, f- I would say you're right. I think it's him between him and Bruno. I think you're, you're uh, that's mm. not a wild statement to say. He's talking about the whole league. He's talking about the whole league. Yeah, Newcastle. He's talking about the whole league. You have to listen when people are talking, bro. Go, go, go. Now, say the list. Say the list. Who is? Who is? I think, what, Salah? Who is? Name me three. Name me three. Madison's been better than him. Madison? Madison's definitely been better than him. How long has Madison gone? Saka. Madison has been better than Rodri. Bernardo Silva. Bernardo yeah. Silva. So then if I say Gordon's no, name, no, are you going to laugh at me? Arguably. So that means Gordon's in the So if I say Gordon's name, you're going to argue with me? I ain't laughing. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, listen, man. Newcastle, unbelievable, unbelievable win for them. Oh, so they're, silly. They're, 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 they're sick right now. They're sick. <laughs> they're sick for the league right now. But obviously that Champions League midweek was, was tough for them. That result in the Champions League was very tough for them. Oh, very tough. Uh, against PSG. They're in third, they one more game. They could still go through, but they need a lot, a lot, they need a lot to go their way. Awesome. But is it better for them to go out at this point? But then again, also, they can make Europa League. Europa League, go enjoy Europa League, man. I think, I can't lie, uh, I think their project needs Europe. Uh, I, th- I think they, they, they exceeded their project already. <laughs> but I think a, a deep run. European run. So maybe Europa League would be nice for them. I think it would. Deep run in Europa League. I can't lie, Champions League, you man, you man, you man. I can't lie, yeah? Hear me out. Yeah, I'm hearing. If they finish second, which I, I, at the moment, I, at the moment, it's, it's very, If they very, finish second, that means PSG's it, out. It's nearly impossible, yeah, yeah. which I won for, for nothing. Of course. But, but if, 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 they go, if they finish third, yeah? yeah? If they finish third, yeah? Or third or second, second, you mean? Uh, sorry, if they finish second, yeah. who do you think is the biggest rivals in the Champions League? It's Real Madrid, Barcelona. And the top teams, oh, yeah, the rivals? Top, yeah, top teams like, to win? Yeah, top teams to win. Yeah, you're asking, yeah. right? Yeah, like Real Madrid, Bayern, Bayern Arsenal, Bayern. Madrid. I think, bro, I... Put Madrid aside, I think us going to St. James Park is calm. But any other team, yeah, St. James Park. You think you're fine at St. James Park? Yeah, I don't think you'll be fine, trust don't me. Don't say it like you that, saw, big man. You saw the PSG, I know you're not PSG. Don't say it. They got pumped. Bro, it's not your problem. They, they got pumped because they paid for attack, you say. Yeah, but I'm saying is. <sighs> no, but I'm just saying. It's not Saint easy James for ain't, anyone. It ain't easy. I know it's not easy. But guess, uh, PSG. And you guys ain't been playing PG, good football, bro. PSG have someone that, uh, PSG Baba, doesn't have something that we, Baba, we I'm have. telling you about PSG, bro. PSG are second right now in the league, yeah? And their group, we're first. If we draw PSG in the first round, we're smoking them. Smoking them. I don't think you are. Bro. Well, Two like, legs. Oh, we're smoking them. Easy, tiger. Easy, you don't easy, think so? Easy tiger. Do you not agree? I think he's easy, fine. Easy, I think right. you're fine against you're PSG. Not, not, I think we'll be completely fine. I, I think Arsenal's fine them against PSG. Their defense is strong. It's new for you, though, isn't it? It's like big clubs. It's, it's, it'll be it's a bit new, tough. It's new for you, man. Oh, PSG. Yeah. Two legs. I got Arsenal. I got Arsenal. When have you? When have you faced a pairing of Mbappe and Dembus, fam? I saw. I saw Newcastle face them. We've beaten four 0 All right. Um. Next game. Oh, before we go to the next game, your, your next game is one of the teams we're talking about now, which is Chelsea. Quickly, does Marcus Rashford start against Chelsea for you? He shouldn't. But he will. <laughs> does Tony Marshall start? Um, probably Hoyland. Hoyland, the only reason he didn't start the last two games is because of uh, coming back from an injury. So we're just going to go past United and Hoyland hasn't scored a goal. We're not going to mention he that. Like he, he didn't start right, the game. He didn't play this game. He didn't start the game. It doesn't matter. They still he got a striker that scored zero goals. And held up the ball well. They, okay. they got a striker that scored zero goals. We're in December. How many goals in the Champions League? When, this is the Premier League. Uh, yeah, but you get knocked out. What's this table? What is this table? Making it sound like this guy can't. What is this table? What's it called? PL Roundup, round yeah, right? Round, not yeah. round when, round when, when, I don't want to hear about Champions League. When, when is he going to score his first goal? From the knockout stages, we need to introduce CL Roundup. CL Roundup, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. When is he going to score his first goal? Against Chelsea, maybe. Long Island, bro. What kind of question is that? I hope soon, bro. If he if he if he goes to Jan, yeah, without no goals. Are we are we raising question marks now? He's the first striker. I, 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 I don't I don't think that He will be the first striker in history in the world of football to do that. No. How many I games did it take Henri to score to Premier League goals? A lot as well. Oh, but that's like 993. <laughs> that's the fakest stats. <laughs> <laughs> that's in the world of football. 993. <laughs> this guy's hilarious. It's world football. This guy just makes stuff up. <laughs> well, uh, a game he could score his first three goal in is the next one against Chelsea. And Chelsea are coming off a very dramatic 3 2 win against Brighton. Um, important win. Yeah, I mean, listen. Enzo finally, finally showed up a yeah. little bit. He finally showed up. He shushed a lot of people. And he, I think shushed he shushed them. SDS as well, specifically. Yeah, man. Certain you members know, and SDS. He shushed yeah, certain people. Certain members, yeah. So people members. weren't liking Enzo. Um, that, was, that, was, was that, his, that was his first and second Premier League goal for Chelsea, wasn't yes, it? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. No. Yeah. Well, he's not scored in the Premier He scored in the, first, in the cup against AFC Wimbledon. Those are his first two Premier League goals for Chelsea. And he's also now the fourth Argentinian player to score a Premier League goal for Chelsea. Can you name the other three? Yes, yes, we can. Go on. Quiz time. I got one. Go on. <coughs> Higuain. Correct. Gonzalo. Two uh, left. You've Two got left. You've got Gonzalo. Who else? Argentinian. Chelsea. Rah, my mind's blank. 
Bro, you don't know Boo, fam. <laughs> this guy is the what? He look. Damn. Said, yes, you can, brother. This guy said yes, you can with your chest. Come on, brother. Where is it? Argentinian for chest. Yeah, he's a fourth player. Higuain's <coughs> one. Higuain. Enzo's one. Hurry up, man. And there's two more. Position? I've got no clue. Though. Yeah, I've got no clue. Either. I've got no clue. So, once again, food. I know, but I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you guys a you chance. You know, it's it. You know the others. You, know, so no, you did the tapping. Well done, man. Go on, Higuain was the tapping. I was going to you. Higuain came to my head, but that's it, bro. After that. Wow, there's the one which is obvious. There's we both, we, you know, both of them, but there's one that's more obvious than the other. Look, this guy in his head, you know, he's in his head. Oh, he, uh, Aguero. <laughs> this guy. Wow, Come the on. views are screaming at their screens right now. They are oh, yeah. screaming. What, 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 what year is fam? What years? <laughs> what, what years? years? What, what years are we talking about? Because I can't lie, yeah. <laughs> Bro, my mind's any Argentinians. My mind's blank, Ack. Yeah, now I'm gonna start giving you clues. Uh, one of them played for AC Milan. Go on, face. Argentinian played for AC Milan and Chelsea. Yeah. Huh? I'm talking about the one of them that played for AC Milan. And the other, okay, the other one played for Inter Milan as well. Oh, it's more Inter Milan, oh, Inter Milan yeah, of course. But I don't want to give it that, that much of a... Well, he played, he said he played more at Inter Milan than AC Milan. Oh, these guys said. are bad. Yeah, of course. But I remember him more for AC Milan because he scored in a Champions League final. In an iconic Champions League final. Which his team lost. Ah, in, in Zaghi. In Zaghi. In Zaghi for Chelsea win. In Zaghi? Oh, he didn't. Oh! And, 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 and is he even Argentine? Is he even Argentine? It's Italian. Like, it's no, Crespo, Crespo. Crespo. That's fine. Wallah, I didn't mean Ali Zaghi. Yeah. I thought about the past and I was thinking Crespo. Wallah, Crespo, that's correct. Wallah, that's Crespo is what yeah, I'm thinking. Yeah, Crespo, correct. <laughs> you saved yourself. No, no, you saved yourself. Nah, Crespo is what I meant. Oh. Yeah, that's what I could tell you, man. Great, one more. We're about to be talking about Chelsea versus Brighton right now. And Faisal is once again embarrassed. I know, I know. I've got one more. I've got one more in me. Go on. I got one more in me. Go on. There's one more left, anyways. Yeah. Is it what? It's bold. Yes. Veron. Yeah. Juan <laughs> Silva. <laughs> Leave me alone, man. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Ay, yes, really Don't up. talk. Boo. Oh, well, lie, this guy's gone. Why are you high five in You got you zero. Say? I'm happy for them. Who did you say? Two and one. You got nothing. I'm, I'm, huh? I'm happy for them, man. Who did you say? You're all talk. Face. I'm happy for them, man. Listen, it's this all about. This ain't the first time we've done this, you know. Yeah, it's just like. Yeah, like, like right. Remember last time it was him that got it. I think it was the same lineup. Yeah, it was us. It was us. City. City and Inter. Yeah, Milan players. I remember this. It was the same lineup. Well, that's him. 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 As long as I reach the final, is it Masterman? What about you? What? Masterman, what was it? season two, I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, you're not. <laughs> sorry, bro, sorry. You're not, you're not. But, um, yeah, so, anyway. so Enzo is now the fourth Argentinian player to score for uh, Premier League goal for Chelsea. Uh, does really well, scored two goals. Um, and sandwich in between was a Levi Colwell goal. You see, he celebrated. Oh, yeah, and he's like, oh, and he's like, he forgot. Oh, oh, yeah, right. I was he realised, he realised, he realised. He, he forgot, he, he realised. Like, I was alone. Oh, yeah, to mm-hmm. remember himself. But then Brighton obviously fought back. Um, what a finish goal. by what a finish oh, by Bonanotte. Another God, God, God. one of the great goals this week. Delicious Gallagher, finish. Gallagher uh, sent off as well. Gallagher uh, gets yeah. sent off. And then of course Joao Pedro lay on. But I feel like, in my opinion, I think this win goes to Putch. I think the way he he tactically changed Chelsea after that man uh, of, of, of the send off, in my opinion, was yep. very smart. It was two no up. The man, uh, your 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 midfielder gets sent off. Your captain. Your captain gets sent yep. off. Usually in a situation like this, where we've seen in the past, where they're like, you know what? It's a bit too risky. Mm-hmm. Let's take out an attacker. Let's p- put a bit more protection in that mm. in that midfield. He mm. didn't do that. Mm-hmm. He's like, you know what? Let's check it as it is. He conceded 2-1. Second half, though, very smart. The moment Matoma came on, because he decides he was playing as a right back. Yeah. Matoma came on. He's like, fam, Matoma decides mm. barbecue chicken. Tough. Yeah. <laughs> barbecue chicken. Yeah, let, me, let me change it up now. Let me change it up. Decides to go to the midfield. Mm-hmm. Let me bring Casado now on the right hand side. Mm. Change restricted Matoma. Restricted Matoma. You saw Raheem Sterling. Never, Raheem doesn't track back as he is, is used to. Yeah. You know what? Let me let me put Cole Palmer. Well, Cole Palmer mm. track back because mm. he, he's more he's more uh, willing to he's more willing to do that. To yes. yeah. Track back. Matteson came on. He said, like, "You know what? I need a bit of more protection." Very smart. And then of course the the counter attack that led to the third goal, the penalty. Very smart tactical in game management. Part of Pochettino. A lot of talks has been made about Pochettino. Is he the right manager with all the injuries? I feel like you know what. Take a little bit of time. And Cuckoo's coming back. Mm-hmm. Cuckoo, uh, that's, that's another play. We're talking about players that like come back man. to playoff season. 
Playoffs, bro. Playoffs. Yeah. Yeah. I can't lie. This is uh, this trying to get into the playoffs. In play tournament. They're too far behind. It's the playing tournament. The playing. I think once they ain't making the playoffs. Once they could come out. Hey, the prem needs playoffs. You know, how fun that be? All star games. Top six make it. Also, feel like top eleven. So top eight. But Poch, very very smart in game management, and 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 I bro, and look at Chelsea, crucial three points by the way. Yes, it went from twelve to ten. Which is the last time. <laughs> one step at a time, though. Yeah. I mean, like they, they mm. in their last four games and they had they're coming for you, boy. Tough games. Spurs, Bro, that's Spurs on the City. same level, brother. That's Spurs City, Newcastle, and Brighton, and they got seven out of twelve points, which isn't bad. And and people were saying, oh, that November, December run is that going to be the end of Chelsea? Yeah, man, we looked at the fixtures and we were worried for them. We're worried. Now look, seven points. Okay. Okay. And the next couple of games are winnable games, but that's the problem with Chelsea this season. Yeah, it's winnable, the winnable games ones they struggle with are, are not the ones that they actually get. Points hey, on. Listen, you're absolutely right, and all of the positives I concur with you. Um, um, but we'd have to see what we see in the future with how they do in these winnable games and how many wins have they had in this whole calendar year as well. Yeah, it's, it is the fixtures that's that, that that it's weird with Chelsea how they are, but I mean, Brighton conceded the same goal twice very early on a in the game. A Brighton fan. So like they're, what's they're, they're conceding a lot of goals this season. Uh, the yeah. Zerbi, the Zerbi needs to fix that. Uh, you know what? The Zerbi, can I say something uh, to the camera? The Zerbi. Yeah, go. That, that's your camera there. Uh, uh, deserve a Talk listen. to your twin. Talk to your twin. Uh, listen. Hey, twin. Hey, twin. Yeah. My twin. Yeah. Yeah. Listen up, yeah? Hey, twin. You, you need to stop being pep. I talk to me. So yeah, hello, that's not Roberto. Yeah. Yeah. You, you need to stop being pep. You're stop trying you're, to be you're, pep. You're overcomplicating over way too much, fam. This rotation thing, it needs to stop. It actually needs to stop because you're rotating every single game, bro. I get you've got Europa. Yeah. I get you've got, but every Tough. team's got, Aston Villa's got Europa and they're literally rotating. They're playing seven, eight key players and see where Aston Villa, they, they're top four. Playing, rotating the whole 11 is mad. And on top of that, how you retain your goalkeeper back? <laughs> well, nah, man, you, you want to hear a crazy thing? Retain goalkeepers calm. You know how you, you've got a cop goalkeeper, a lead yeah. keeper? This brother... He's got two league keepers. <laughs> <laughs> One time, it's uh, that steel brother. Just the other guy's the Dutch. Uh, it's, 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 it's a Dutch guy. Yeah. So when it, 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 the thing is, if you've got a stinker, next week you've got this guy. That's what we thought was gonna happen to Raya Rams, though. Yeah. You, you can't do that, man. I think. Listen, uh, the Zerbi's obviously had a lot of hype, and quite rightly so. He did. He did start his time in the Premier League. So him having to deal with the Europa League, we can't understate enough. He's not used. He wasn't expected to be dealing with this level of not just fixture congestion. Having to deal with injuries, having to deal with people clocking onto his style. Because when you see, we see people. I saw Spurs today playing that box build up. That's from that's the Zerbi, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like people are not just clocking it. People are saying that's good over yeah, there. Let me see what works for my team. They it. Yeah. So it, it happens with, and I don't think he's just flavor of the month. I think he's 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 done better than just be just be labeled as that. But him having to deal with all this stuff is a real test for him. And is not one that I probably think that he would have anticipated at this, how hard it has been for him so far. We've seen how he celebrated some of their goals recently. You can see actual genuine yeah, relief. Much so, in some, I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. It's so much on him, bro. It's too much. Like, I, I, some I, slack. It is a lot on him, though. It's a lot on him, but when you've when, when you seen your competition do it, well, Aston Villa's in the same position, bro. Thursday, Una is Sunday. so much more experienced at the top level and having to deal with like, the level of three games a week, bro. Exactly. But at least, at least take a page from Unai's books, yeah? You're rotating seven, eight, nine players every single week. Unai, he knows cool Watkins you play every like uh, Thursday Saturday Sunday you've got your players that plays twice three, three times undroppable week, players yeah. undroppable players yeah. with Brighton we thought Mitom was undroppable <laughs> Crush out. Ross was undroppable mm -hmm. the goalkeeper <laughs> don't ain't nobody every, safe no ain't He's nobody safe on the toes. Do well, the second no, but you're right though in Europa. ain't nobody right. safe oh, in terms of the XP he ain't got the XP for he ain't got it yeah yeah Emery's got it do you know what I mean Emery's so like that's why it's a bit. It's a bit of a, a hard one for. It's a bit new for him. It's new for him, yeah. Yeah. To do to be, it's it's pretty it's hard. Like you're dealing with obviously you're Brighton, so it's like they're just they're outside that top seven. I mean they're they're doing well. They're eighth, you know. what I mean yeah. they're eighth in the league, so it's like and they're second in their group in Europa. Of course they're not lying like they were last season. And we can't forget they lost Caicedo and McAllister. And, he, the and two he's targeting best two their best yeah, players, and he's targeting the Europa because all the players that he's resting. Mm. Are, are, are for the Prem games. Usually it's the other way around. Yeah. He wants that Europa. Like he's he's going all in because he's like, you know what? Brighton has never ever won mm. anything imagine, in Europe. Imagine, Isn't this their first season even playing in Europe, I think? And and, 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 and in a tough wrong. group as well. Yeah. Like they, were, they were part of yeah. the death, like the Marseilles, the yeah. Ajax, Ajax, though, Ajax yeah. and, and Athens, bro, they're second and they're, they're very, very most likely going to, yeah. going, going, to, yeah. going to go through. But Chelsea, I think uh, they did well. I think now it's time to now push through 
with Nkuku coming back, create that now. The urgency needs to be now. Because mm. the next December run is so, so crucial for how the season is going to play out. Because if they come, how many points are they away from top four? From um, Chelsea? Yeah. Uh, they are, they've got 19 points, Villa, 10 points. If they can get to, by, by New Year's, five, six points, I can't mm. lie, man. And with some Jan signings, Top four signings. Yeah, it's crazy. Signings. Yeah, it's apparently so after spelling a bit, but it's, listen, that's the reality because yeah, they obviously it was mismanagement of funds. And I was many times, like, I, I've been on here and I've said that is we have to look at why that is and why there's been so much mismanagement of funds. Why has a manager got no clue who some of his players are? And that comes from the top. But putting that to the side, I think, yeah, you're right about the positives, but <coughs> we look at the amount of games that they've won in, in this calendar year. Nowhere near enough for a Chelsea side. Nowhere, Nowhere near, near yeah. enough for a Chelsea side. And the, you're right, they do... Football can change things so quickly. A couple of wins can just change the whole landscape of how a season looks. Yep, of course. And you're right in sense in the sense that if by uh, come the new year, by the time of the year, if they're a bit closer to top four, then it won't look as bad as it does. But Enzo's got his first two goals of the Premier League. They would have wanted more from him earlier. That's a takeaway. That's absolutely a takeaway from it because they thought 100, 100, how much million they paid for him is going to be some 105 they paid for him. They want to expect so much more from him. Um, Caicedo looks like he's getting his minutes now. He's being trusted by the manager, at least in different roles. Like you said, the decisive switch. I, I, I want to I mean, echo I'm, what you I'm said. I'm glad I did that because... The pot has to be well, given a lot we of credit We were looking well. at him at Arsenal. We were talking about play, slotting him in at the right back and all that stuff. Yeah, inverting him and all inverting that kind of stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so it's, 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 good that, it's good that Poch has shown that. He's starting to get, get to know this squad. And Cuckoo coming back will be obviously huge for them. Chelsea fans, there's a lot of them who won't be happy to see a positive, the, the glass half full, but there are signs that you can see. I mean, for sure. And, and obviously they won the game, um, but still like, uh, Jackson got an assist, but I don't think he had enough motivation to score maybe, you reckon? <laughs> you know? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm not, I, I see what you mean, man. I see what you mean. I see what you mean, but you know what I mean? Like, sometimes you need motivation different ways. <laughs> They're different ways, man. But hey, listen, fake sources apparently. Fake sources, man. Oh, you know, it's your guy. Actually, you know, yeah. you're very close yeah, with Nico. I, I, bro, like, the, first of all, that wasn't his voice. Yeah. That wasn't his voice. That wasn't oh, his you voice know how he sounds. Oh, yeah, I know how he sounds. That, was, that wasn't his voice. Oh, you yeah. glazing, glazing. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> Proper glazing. <laughs> uh, and secondly, what? secondly, nah, nah, it's not him, man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm just asking yeah. questions. They won the game, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. You know? They won the game, so it doesn't matter. Just, just a, a um, attention seekers. Do you think as well, we talk about, yeah, we talk about with the Zerbi. We talk about with the Do you think he made too many changes too early? Because I'm looking now, they made a Four substitutions in the 57th minute. That's what he does, bro. Like, that's, what I said. that's what I said with, with, with my man, yeah? And, 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 and please read out the four uh, players that came on. Yeah, you're going to like, please read out. Uh, it was Milner, Gross, Pedro and Matoma. But the came on or off? All came on. Why players, are they not playing? The players that that, that's what I mean, <coughs> <Thursday>. <laughs> my man. Did they play on Thursday? Yeah. Yes, they did. They did. Uh, except for Milner, I think. Oh, As you said, Faye. Milner gave the penalty away, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He yeah. did, yeah. That, that's, that's the problem with my man. <laughs> no, no. That's your no, boy. No, he's no, no. no, no. He did, he did, he did. Why is that so hot? Like, no, no, what I'm saying is, it's like, no, no, it's because yeah, yeah, yeah. what you said, you was going so well with saying that they're focused on Europa League, but then you now you're, you're, you're moving away mm. saying that, why are these players coming on now? It's because they're focused on the Europa League. I it's know. tough being in the Europa League. You know what I mean? It, for them as well, yeah. I know, I know, I know, but you can't be resting your players Away to Chelsea, bro. Like this certain, is Chelsea. That, that so certain games. Well, do you reckon he threw it away and said, "This is not one I'm winning." I don't think you would have said that because Chelsea's lack not in great respect. Form. Of course, it's not, lack of yeah. respect. Yeah, it's lack of I respect. I thought he went to that game saying, "I can put anyone in that team." I'm gonna get and three points, and they're winning. Yeah, 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 it's lack Chelsea. of respect. But look what did he know? Little, little did know. Your okay, know. let's move on now. And um, you guys think we're going to talk about top of the league, Arsenal? We're, we're moving further and further down these oh, roundups. How many games have been so far? We've done um, the City uh, City Spurs one. Liverpool. We've done Liverpool. Yeah. We've done United. United. We've done Chelsea. And now what? Not um, Arsenal. And we, yeah. And now we're not even talking about Arsenal yet. We're top of the league. Because we're talking about Vincent Company. Wow. And his 5 0 win. Wow. Bottom Dang, of the table. Clap it up for Vincent. Bottom of the table clash. Yeah. Against Sheffield United. Mm. Burnley have scored five plus goals in a Premier League game for the first time in their history. Mm. Mad. Not even prime Sean Dyche. I can imagine Arsenal fans like, let's just, for fuck's sake, man. I, I was, why are we not talking I, about I was waiting for this Arsenal. Bro, we, yeah. Remember, we used yeah. to, to talk about Arsenal first every game. Yeah. Why are you always talking about Arsenal? Yeah. Yeah. See, come on. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. I, trust me. No one wants to talk about Arsenal more than I do. But we'll get there. Maybe me. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what you're going to say. Uh, but yeah, Burnley, 5 0 win. What time, man? <laughs> 15 <laughs> seconds. Fastest goal in the Premier League this season. Jay Rodriguez. Charlie Taylor in my fantasy team. Thank Are you so you? much for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cheers. Hey. You got him as well? There you go. No, no, no. Because when you're top, 
You look you down. Got time to look, look down. Actually, to you know what? We'll talk about FPL later. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. I've got time to just look at other people that's doing shit. So you yeah. know who's. So I look at. I know who. Everyone. I'm almost in the top four, bro. Yeah, but that's not good enough for me. Sorry, bro. <laughs> but um, um, yeah, Charlie Taylor assist there. But this is this obviously it was there was a championship clash. Yeah, and 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 um, literally in the championship, these are the kind of results they're getting last season. Mm-hmm. So it it shows why company. Destroyed the championship last season. Absolutely. And they were so comfortable, so fluid. Mm. This was literally a game that was last yeah, season, yeah. more or less, just put into the Premier League this season. Yeah. And they were like, oh shit, this how, let's just play like we did last season. Yeah. Mm. It just doesn't work against established Premier League teams. So can Burnley do something like that? Or maybe not 5 0 against established Premier League teams? Listen, I or heard, was it a one off because of the championship team uh, uh, from last season? Potentially. I heard Vincent speaking after the game. And, and he was talking about, obviously, um, I think he was being asked about how life is like having to deal with. Um, at the bottom, you know, do you feel, are you questioning your style of play? Are you, no, he's blocking, like he's blocking out the noise. Somebody was talking about, he wants to keep his squad playing the same way. What well, one thing that he feels like he did lose is an aggression. And, ooh, and because they're ooh. keeping the ball for so much, people are not seeing that off the ball as much. Yeah, yeah. I think that that is something that they definitely need to work on. Sheffield United, I think Burnley, are, they've proven obviously in that game, but they were, they were going to finish above Sheffield United. Uh, yeah. It's now about translating that against other teams. That possession play, he doesn't, he's not going to change the way he plays. If Burnley <coughs> fans are there saying, we want to see more of, but the ball, but they're not, that's gone. Those days are over. No you more. are going to see Vince and company football and that style of football can be frustrating for fans who are not used to it, mm. but it's the way that he is going to continuously play and try to improve the level of players that he has for the future. Like Sharky was saying, cruise through the championship. Yep. Not an issue for them there. A lot of managers will look at it and will say, I've got to go away from my principles and try and be hard to beat. That's not something Vincent Company is willing to do. But I think he should do. I, 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 you, you're right. Yeah. Certain managers can do like Poch, uh, sorry, not Poch, Ange is one, yeah. is one person. I don't care no who I face. I'm playing my right team, yep. Yep. the right system. With company, though, you can't afford to do that because you've done it no. so far. Mm. You haven't grabbed a single win. Your only win was a team that you faced last season. Mm. Against the Prem teams, you have to t- tweak certain... Maybe that's why he's saying bring back more... Aggr- play more, aggression, more like yeah, you did more in the championship with the level of the Premier League teams. And maybe go a bit defensive because certain times where he's just going all in, even... I, I, I concede one no, I concede second, let me just go all in. I don't care, five at the back, no, four at the back, yeah. I'm thinking it. The game against West Ham, like last, uh, before Sheffield, mm-hmm. they played West Ham, they lost yep. 2-1, they were, they, were, they were leading by a goal, and West Ham grabs two goals in the last 10 minutes. They, sh- they should have won that game. But this is where my problem with company this season is that you won no one against West Ham at home, 10 minutes remaining, yeah. why, are you trying to, why are you trying to attack and finish the goal, uh, game up or get a second? In a position like this, by the contain, Get the three points and move on. So do we respect philosophy or do we respect pragmatism? It depends what team you're managing. I respect yes. and I respect a manager with different ideas. I respect them adaptable. Adaptable, exactly. Very important trait. I I I need someone that can that they've got a plan A, plan B, plan C. Mm-hmm. Vincent Comby so far hasn't showcased plan a, plan any of us. You have to be both. To answer the question, I think you have to be both adaptable, yeah. uh, pragmatic, pragmatic, and, pragmatic philosophy. and philosophy. I think yeah, to be a great manager, you have to have both. Absolutely. You need to know when to implement them. Mm-hmm. And that's what's interesting about Ange on the upper side of the table and obviously company down here in the, in the, in the lower side of the table. For me, it's, look, we're saying, of course, very impressive win. We're, we're talking pretty down on Burnley right now, but pretty very impressive win. Their second win in the season, but both their wins were against their championship teams, Luton and Sheffield United, yeah. Yeah. which we're not going to we're it's not, not going to be surprised enough, at man. because they did that. They smoked them all last season. Yeah. But you've seen Luton, they've beaten pa- uh, Palace and Everton, established Premier League teams. Sheffield United's got one win, of course, but they'll be Wolves, mm. you know. We s- we're still yet to see Burnley beat an established Premier League team. Sheffield has been very unfortunate as well. Spurs, they, sh- they, they could have won. Yeah. And they should have beat Spurs as well. Spurs, yeah. City as well. Mm. It was 1-1. One, one, then yeah. I think oh, yeah. someone <laughs> someone scored in the last... I think I forgot who it was. Haaland. Haaland scored in the last five minutes. They've been very unfortunate. But bro, Sheffield, that was incident with, with Oliver McClellan. I don't know Burnley got sent off here. Yeah. The guys are nice. But I mean, Burnley already tuned up. Let's speak of how <laughs> dumb... Let's how, how dumb he is. Yeah. Yeah. You, you did it once and you were very fortunate to get sent off because that first, that elbow should have been sent off. Yep. You got caught alive. Yep. You, you committed murder and, and, and my man said, you know what, that's fine. Your lawyer got you out of it. Yep. Yeah, lie. You had, you, had, you had half respect. Why you commit the same murder again? Mike Cross. So Better call Saul. Well, so good, like. <laughs> you know? Why you commit the exact same murder five same minutes after, ten minutes after? Same place as well. <laughs> same, yeah. same witness as well. <laughs> <laughs> so you're telling you this. Same witness as well. What are you doing, <laughs> He's the same Even brother weapon. Even can't save you now. No saving well, you, bro. Man. But okay, devil's advocate. The second one especially, his eyes are on the ball the whole time. 
That look is, I don't give a. When you hate. Okay, as, 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 as former outfield players that's played this professional game, yeah? No one played professional. Who, 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 I, don't, I, don't, I, never, I never played what, any these guys? professional. <laughs> these guys are doing hard. As no, former, when, you, when, you, when you're trying to challenge for a ball, yeah? I know you're trying to use your, your arms, might be out. That motion is crazy. Well, like, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, like, that's, that's a strike. It's crazy. And, and, and bear in mind, I've done that many times, though. Uh, the flaring arm, that's my thing, man. Yeah. I've done that Quick many one. times, bro. Yeah. Sorry, it was going to head for that. Yeah, I almost was, took his face out. I can't lie. When you're jumping, it is the natural movement, but the f- you jump, like you say, huh? you don't jump. I don't jump. You can't jump. <laughs> <laughs> I can't jump. It's mad, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and in goal, you need to jump. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, listen, five goals. Listen, five goals. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So... <laughs> Yeah, oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna tell you should have jumped yeah. when in the in the year nine cup final. Yeah, I'm not gonna the cup final. I'm, I'm always I'm always gonna hold like hold it against you because yeah. I'm you one, I, I, I'm a medal me. short because of you. Yeah, that year nine cup final, you are a goalkeeper. We lost two one because of you. Bragging so, rights. You know, I needed that that that, that medal, bro. So. <laughs> Sorry, man. I just just stop bringing up like goal, yeah, being stop, a goalkeeper. Stop mentioning you're a keeper, bro. That's right. Because I always remember that year nine cup final, and he was the oldest in the pitch. You let down the little kids, bro. <laughs> Listen, let's respect Burnley and Sheffield United and talk about their game. Um, yeah, I mean, listen, we got. I'm, I'm gonna have to go for a bunch of notes here because I didn't watch the full game. But <coughs> listen, it looked good for them. Dara O'Shea, their centre back, um, won six error draws in the first half by Sheffield United. At least four more than any other player, and he finished half with a hundred percent win rate. Also got an assist in that game. Nice. Uh, Burnley also have scored as many goals in 29 minutes versus Sheffield United. Then in their last four league games at Turf Moor combined, they were that wow. you know they 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 were very wow. very comfortable in that game two 0 in the first half. Then they played comfortable. against ten men in the second half, and then three goals in the second. half. Kolyosha got his goal. I knew it was like Kolyosha. Tell us about Kolyosha. I know everyone Bro, likes him. Everyone likes him. The guy from when I seen the I, I think I said this last time we were talking about him as well. From the opener at City, which you had that game, yeah, against City, you just see the kid is just so talented. Mm. He's been he's been the only person that even through the frustration that the Burnley fans might have with the style of play. Like I said, this, this kid is a gem for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The finish that he had, he had a chance just before it. Bro, when I see him play football, he makes right decisions so often. So hard working, such a threat. Constantly a danger to defences. And when you're playing that front, front foot style of football, even if you might not be getting all the time, once you get the ball, you better be a threat to the opposition. Mm. And almost every time that he gets the ball, he is. Mm. And the pit, listen, they've got so many, so many good goals. J. Rodriguez's goal is really good. That finish by Kodiosh was delicious. Nice. Nice. I love delicious near, yeah. from near post. Will you take I him? Are you one. right? <laughs> I don't, I don't know if he's ready for that step in his career, but I just really like him as a player. You know, you would take anyone at this point. <laughs> <laughs> you would take anyone at this point. <laughs> you should Man, take let's look at every single other segment other than United. I can't tell. Do, we, do, do we think... <laughs> you should take anyone at this point. <laughs> let's, look about, let's look at both oh, the next, next few fixtures. Yeah. Burnley have Wolves away, tough game. Then they have Brighton away, another tough game. Yeah. Then they have Everton. To be fair, every game is a tough game. <laughs> like, you know, they're at the bottom of the table. For them, it's tough. Do that. we think both of them are shooting to go down Regardless yes, of, this, of yes, this result, yes, or do yes, we think now me. company can get a couple <laughs> run of games? Yeah, man, like, listen, <laughs> you, you <laughs> or do we think he com- do we think company is ruining the whole Pep school of management, or do you think it's the wrong club? It could be a lot of different things. Like, have we seen a Pep disciple go from the Championship and go from that and then come to the Premier League? It's that's such a, a big that's gap. That's what I'm saying. Though. He's doing like he's because Pep's disciples. Yeah. Who are they right now? Arteta, yeah. Xabi Alonso. Yeah. They're man in the top teams. Yeah. No. Whoa, 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 whoa! Wait, 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 wait! Are we? Wait, wait, you're, you're, you're <laughs> shameless. <laughs> you're shameless. Don't, don't put Shavi in that bracket, yeah. man. Bayern, bro, played under him, learned a lot of him. Okay, he's Jose's then, <laughs> as well. Hmm? He's Jose's. Actually, he's well then. I'm not putting Rafa there. Steven Gerrard. Let's let's not do that, man. No, but I'm Lost is not. But I'm saying company's taking a different path, and it's got respect there a little bit, you know. Um do we think he's no one's been sacked yet and obviously he's five no wins impressive mm-hmm. someone said recently yeah, way, none of the, someone said recently I don't know if it was on the podcast someone said yeah none of the new promoted managers are going to get they think they're going to get sacked I don't think they will get sacked yet that's it man meaty yeah that's it man I've said that I don't think I don't think any of the new newly promoted if you got money I won't I won't suggest betting but hey Ten Hag he looks like he's going to be unemployed soon but uh, yeah, I Come wouldn't on, put man. it on. Would you? Uh, yeah, you're right, fam. Yeah, it's gonna be ten hard. You switch up on who's around, don't you? Huh? But can I just yeah, say, yeah, though, yeah. you know who I want to give face. credit for, to in Burnley, and like I, w- I want them to continue. Be- <laughs> Jay Rodriguez. Yeah. Before he the leg break, for me, Southampton days. Yeah, he was gonna go. 
right? So that's how I saw it. He was gonna go. For England. He was gonna go. Yeah. yeah, before the well, like, I'm being serious. Yeah, like yeah, him, you're right, you're right. Shane Long, them days. Adam like, Alana, yeah, 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 they were gonna, like, they were gonna go off. Was that was that Ricky Lambert? <laughs> Ricky Lambert, <laughs> you got signed them. Yeah, but you, you was close as well. No, I didn't sign him. You you look, did, they bro. were close to signing. I don't even they know. Were close. True, you guys got gassed inside. I don't know why. Well, like. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea why. I don't <laughs> get it. <laughs> but yeah, but for me, Jerry Rodriguez, like, I'm happy seeing him in the score sheet. I just want him to continue because I genuinely believe. He was gonna be amazing. Mm. I thought he was gonna be world class, bro. Yeah. I mean, he's in, in the score of great goals, great yeah. moments. I thought he I've was. I've seen him score be. crazy bodies. This header was unbelievable. Mm. Top Delicious. player, and, I think, and, and obviously he could create. Yeah, top good player, and, and I think Burnley are, uh, you know, very fortunate to have him because he's an experienced player, an experienced yeah. Burnley player. You know, played for the national team. Just, just to answer your question, I think it's cold. Just, just to answer your question, you were saying. Um, about what do you think Burnley's going to go down? We need to see evidence of this, like you said, against the Premier League. Obviously, one hundred percent. If we can't see against them, one hundred percent. Them two are going. We have a conversation. Though. Them two are going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's be real. At the moment, yeah. it's that way. Everton and Luton are fighting. It looks that way at the moment. And yeah. it, but it's nice to see James Trafford get a clean sheet for once. He's a very good yeah, keeper. I like James Trafford. He's a good keeper, man. He's a good about, keeper. About time, twenty million, fam. Yeah, I mean, about, he's a good keeper. He's a good keeper, but obviously, he's tough at Burnley. But next game, it's time. Top of the league. I can't lie, like, it's six games in there, and now we talk about Arsenal. Like, we did well, man. Top. Yeah, top but, uh, well. yeah but I shall be saying we're like, going we've, we've to be talking about this now. When you get to the sixth game period, it's five minutes each. Yeah, top quickly. Yeah. of the quick, quick. league, Arsenal. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> top of the league. Listen, right. Arsenal played at home against Wolves, and I'll be honest, in the first 15 minutes, yeah, it was beautiful, man. I predicted right. I predicted right. I thought it was going to be 7 0. But we were going crazy. Mm. First, first, obviously, Saka straight away, five, six minutes in. Um, bit messy, you know, bit, bit messy of a goal. Um, a great finish. I mean, when I say that, I mean like messy like, not untidy. I mean like messy like. It was very you nice. need to chill out as well. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Lost bit messy, mind. obviously. Well, uh, <laughs> but it gets to a certain point where that's not, it's not luck because same thing happened midweek for Jesus' goal. It looked messy. But Saka has some, like, Sort of level of control of the ball, you know, like it always like magnet, ends up, man. yeah, it always ends up good in the right position for like us, yeah, yeah. It's so, like and obviously, a good finish on his right foot. A few minutes later, unbelievable goal, by the way. We're talking about great goals this game week, of course, it's not it doesn't compare to the bangers, yeah, yeah. bangers, but as a team goal, that was unbelievable. Mm. Jay's like Zinchenko, Jesus back to Zinchenko the one, across the, the box, one, Odegaard, beautiful. He scores that same goal every time. Every, every time, time, every single time, every time, that same goal ball comes in from left side, most of the time, corner. Maybe it might have a little bounce to it. Far First corner. time in, in the corner. Unbelievable. 2 0 up. Uh, obviously, the game slowed down a little bit after. I think I thought Gary Noel did a very good job. I know you're not a big fan of him, but did a very good job. Um, obviously, got injury suspensions in that team. Missing a lot of key players. And, um, you know, they brought back 2 1 in the end, a respectable scoreline. But mm-hmm. I feel like, especially at the start of the game, we were looking at it, it was like, it felt like we got a glimpse of seeing what, Arsenal starting to kick in second gear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a glimpse. You know, mm. and then obviously slow down a little bit. It's, it reminds me of towards the end of last season where we fumbled the league. You know, mm. we went, I think we got like nine points in like eight games or something. It was very bad. And it was the three draws in a row with Liverpool, West Ham and Southampton. For the Liverpool and Southampton game specifically, not Liverpool, West Ham games, mm. we went 2 no up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even more so the West Ham game. Exactly the same as this. We went 2 no up very early within the first 10 minutes. Unbelievable. Pat as a player, go, yeah. go, go. And then we fumbled it 2-2. Two, two. This one, it's like now we're so defensively strong that if we get those couple of goals, I'm not worried as much now. Mm. You know, I'm not worried as much. But so why do you think But why do you think specifically this game, yeah, 2-0 you know, up, first 15 minutes, yeah. like, you, you, even you tweeted, uh, guys, like, it's happening. It's happening. I can't yeah. lie, man. I, w- I was watching the first few 15 minutes. It was mad. <laughs> uh, um, Abs, Abs was, was checking, texting the group chat. Like, who are we playing? Yeah, he didn't uh, even know if uh, Arsenal uh, playing, well, who uh, they were yeah. playing, if they were so, home so or so away. Just, just Google it. Well, yeah, he had internet to check, message the chat, but doesn't have internet to check the. Just, just, just Google yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, and ready for answering. <laughs> <laughs> just Google it. But why do you think yeah, after the first 15 minutes, 2 0 up? Why are you not able to maintain that? Is it the Champions League? I mean, you played three days before. Is it, I say, you know what, complacency? What is it, in your opinion? I don't know, because in the Champions League, you saw. Continued. We scored two. We scored. Then we scored three. Then we scored four. Then we scored, by half time was like what, five, four nil or something. Uh, I think it is. It's it's not. It's not any of them. 
I think we go two 0 up very early on in the game. Mm-hmm. A team as good as Wolves, a Premier League outfit. It's not. Mm-hmm. It's not flipping Lance who will still let us score a third and a fourth. And if the game is so open, right, mm-hmm. they're going to become a lot more pragmatic. You know, we can't concede more. We can't embarrass ourselves. Mm-hmm. So Wolves became a lot stronger defensively, a lot harder to break down. It's a pre- this is the Premier League. Mm-hmm. It's not a Champions League group stage where the game is open for ninety minutes. Mm-hmm. The game isn't open for ninety minutes. So those two early goals shocked them because I before the game started, I was kind of worried. Because Wolves have been so good this season. Away from home. And well. they've been robbed a lot. But they've been very good this season, right? Of course, uh, at home they've been incredible. Away they haven't been as good. But regardless, Wolves are a top outfit. I rate Gary O'Neill. But I think because we scored two very early goals, they became a lot more pragmatic. They became harder to break down. Mm. And I feel like we there was never a p- point where I thought we're not going to get the three points this game. Towards the end, maybe when Cunha scored, it was a bit of like a, you know, it's a bit nervy at the end. If yeah, they, yeah, they might sneak a second. Minutes, they yeah, might sneak yeah, a second, yeah. but... It, it, for me, even though it was a two-one win, it looks close. I think it was a pretty comfortable win. I think it was and, uh, set to, game. you know, what I mean, stay top of the league, and um, we keep yeah, moving. Of course, there was well, uh, a mistake at the end uh, by Zinchenko right at the end of the game. Yeah, for the but unbelievable finish as well. But yeah. yeah, so another great yeah. goal. Yeah. Um, uh, but he, but obviously, give credit for Zinchenko. He completed ninety-five percent of his passes and provided an assist. Um, he did his best. Well, he did like, his best to try and let goal. Wolves into the game, though. That wasn't the only time. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. So, so he, he had like a. Half and half game. Yeah. I, I think when Tim becomes back, I think it's long. Yeah, it's something I want to talk about. Do you guys well. have a, a fixture where, where it looks mad? Like a run of four or five games? You know what it is? When we're looking at Burnley's fixtures, um, every game looks hard because they're Burnley. So every team is better than them. Yeah. yeah. When we look at Arsenal's fixtures, and I'm not saying to be arrogant, I don't look I don't at any. City, I, I, like I don't say, oh, we have a hard. I don't think we ever have a hard run of fixtures because I think we're, we're so good. But for me, it's the away games. So now, our next two games are Luton or midweek away. And Villa on Saturday, which is also a tough, very tough game away. Mm. If we come out of those two games unscathed, because mm. Luton's not easy away. Liverpool, you need a last minute goal. Um, and Villa, of course, they're fucking resolute away. Mm. If we come out of those two games of six points, mm. that, for me, I look at mini runs. So yeah. two games, our next two games. Mm. I don't, I don't look yeah, at past patterns, that. Patterns. So our next two games, I think that's tough run of games. Yeah, Luton yeah, and Villa yeah. both away. You know, Then obviously, after that, Brighton, Liverpool, West Ham, obviously we'll have Anfield. You know, I'm pretty comfortable with the other two. But yeah, those next two games for me are tough because it's, it's the same week. Luton away and Liverpool, West Ham, and who's after that? Uh, Fulham away. That that finish line, yeah. There's, there's Fulham one, there's away one, is my birthday as well. I might go. There's one Arsenal player. But yeah, go. You, so one you say what you got to say. Of course, there's one Arsenal player. I want to be the one talking. Before um, I look at the, the maybe the weaknesses or the criticisms that I have. 100%. There's one player I want to talk about first. Who? who? I, I I've been on the record speaking about what a modern day number nine is. And I've mocked him recently for his quotes talking about scoring is not his strength. Oh, Isa. But Gabriel Jesus, Jibril Isa. <laughs> Unbelievable player. Is honestly one of my favourite players to watch in world football. Unbelievable player. Like, and when I say that, so there was the first goal there. This is a link up that we've seen between Saka and Odegaard often. And he usually had it with Martinelli on the left-hand side. This time he, he was here with Saka. Everything we talk about with Monday number, uh, number nine is you have to have the strength to be able to hold up players that are bigger than you and stronger than you. Yes. Yes, you have to be able to link up with players around you. Yes, Do you improve the players around you by their general 100%. performances? Mm-hmm. Are you someone who, if you're caught in a tight space and you're facing up a defender, can you get out of that? Yep. Not just one <laughs> defender, two, three, you can send them to me. I'm going to skip through them. Gabriel Jesus... And, and and to be fair, the, in the in the, in the Champions missed, League, there was a finish. Yeah. There was a finish that he had. This the last he box as well. Go on. You know, you mentioned four boxes out of five. No, what's, what's, the, what's the last box? This one? The goals. Yeah. Yeah, of course. But I'm, I'm, I was going to get yeah. to that. There was a finish that he had. When he does, like when he does actually score goals, the finishes are thought out. There's they're, they're not. He's not. He's not a bagsman. They don't. They don't expect something. The leopard won't change their spots. He's not going to give you something that he's mm, not right. Mm. He's not going to give you thirty goals a season. But when I talk about a modern day number nine, they obviously. A requirement of that, as you say, is the actual goals. You need to be getting 20, 20 goals in the Premier League, of course. Mm-hmm. But all of those other things, when I talk about just one of the, my favourite players to watch play football, he's genuinely, a, that, that second goal, the weight of pass. Perfect. Is a joke. It's a joke of weight of pass. He's just, he's beautiful to watch. And technically, he's just unreal. When it comes to Arsenal now, I think, I think it's not, it's not too much uh, downstated to say that there's worries towards the end of that game. Yes. The finishes, obviously, um, uh, Eddie could have scored a goal. I Correct. think Saka could have squared it to Eddie. Nice. There were chances. Trossard, There's never going to be an Trossard issue. Trossard yeah. had, the, had the chance where Odegaard did the lovely pass to him. That's not going to be an issue. You know? It's not like you guys are not going to create. You guys are so defensively strong this season, yes. right? That when it comes to these con- concessions of goals, it's all going to be from individual mistakes. Yep. They're only ever going to come from individual mistakes. How does a manager like Arteta deal with that? 
I think the main thing that you mentioned earlier is the changing of Zinchenko to Timba. Yep. Timba is such a huge player, right? That's so much. He's, he's, he's crazy. Yeah, crazy. In terms of the defensively so strong. I look at it and I still think that the football that you guys played, the brilliant football that you played, hasn't come for as long a period of time as we did see over last season. And of course, you're different. <coughs> and we've had, we've had this conversation many times of how different you are to last it, it season. It might be mad to say it. I'm obviously knowing how last season went, maybe that affects it. I'm a bigger fan of how we play like this Arsenal now than last season. Performance or results? Last season. No, I'm, just, I'm performance team, over results. I know that. Team, but... That's what the I'm saying. That's your principle. Well, last season, results. even though, and I think it was October, we had like nine games or something, or seven, eight games. Nine, I think we won eight games and drew. We won eight and drew one. Something mad, right? Mm. Performance is insane. But I was always that little bit worried. If one defender goes down, mm. we're in trouble. Mm. Now, I'm not. We have Ben White coming off the bench. Mm. We have Timber waiting for him to come back from injury. Mm. Like yeah. So because of knowing that, I'm... If Gabriel goes down? Jakub Kiwio. And Wallahi, mm. I'm so very happy with Jakob Kiwi to, to start in the Premier League. Well, okay. So it's like, for me, it's like, where we've got a starting back four right mm. now, Tommy Yasu, Saliba, Gabriel Zinchenko. Mm -hmm. We have Ben White as cover mm -hmm. for either Tommy Yasu or Saliba. Mm -hmm. We have Timber, obviously he's injured, so, but, so something good to look forward to. And we have Kiwi as backup for Gabriel. Mm. Such a great unit it's defensively, depth, right? Depth, and then we have Declan Rice sitting in front of it, mm. who obviously... God forbid it ever gets hurt. But no. he's so durable. It's mad. He plays he every game yeah. and he's, he's, a, he's a pure athlete. Yeah. Pure athlete. Yeah. You no, know, you know, that three man. And he sits right in front. That, 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 that for me. That diamond. Unbelievable. That diamond, diamond between, between three people. Between That's like, what diamond's that? Mm -hmm. Triangle? That's a triangle. Triangle, brother. maybe? Three is a triangle. One, two, three. Wait, wait, wait. He's going to draw it. Go and draw it. Go and draw it. Draw it. Show us what you're going to do. I was about to do it. I was about to do it. I was about to do it. Yeah, 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 that, tri yeah. that triangle between Declan, Saliba and Gabriel. Yes. You know how when we go back to the Champions League side? Yes. City had it. Yep. Stones, Diaz, Rodri. Yep. Liverpool had it. Fabinho, Falafel. Uh, sorry, Fabinho. Uh, Matt, Matip and, and Van Dijk, Dijk. Yeah, yeah. all the greatest team in the history has had it fam you man are now I think you guys are now have you know that what was the great United one Ferdinand Vidic and Van der Sar oh. Ferdinand Vidic and Van der Sar yeah, no, he's talking about like yeah, two centre backs back two centre backs at the end oh my bad two centre backs <laughs> and Carrick yeah. and Carrick yeah. every team has had it <laughs> like, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, like yeah, backwards upside <laughs> down we've had it we've, <laughs> <laughs> we've had it Casemiro Ramos and Varane and, Ram and Pepe as well but you man now have that Absolutely. but the only problem Go on, man. Yeah. I ain't saying no. Do feel yeah. other Euro talks in that, bro. This is <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bro. It's PR my, right now, bro. My only problem is it's not Dekis, it's not Saliba, it's not. My only problem is number nine. You mentioned Gabriel Issa, yeah. Amazing player. Do you believe right? Good player. Beautiful player. I, I, I love him. I want to Madrid. Yeah. Right wing, he can play anywhere. My problem is, yeah, two chances in the first half. As a nine, you should finish that. You had two chances. Mm. Your backup that came on also missed mm. chances that yep. you should be finishing. Yep, yep. I don't think, as your team, uh, let's, uh, uh, and this is a question for you. Yes. Yeah? Do you think that's going to be a problem for you, man, come uh, Feb time, come yeah. March time, when playoffs, mm -hmm. when you, man, are in clutch positions, mm -hmm. is your scorer going to hit a free late on? Because so, I don't think he will. So I have PTSD. Okay. You know? And it's all right to admit, it's 2023, we can admit things. <laughs> Thanks. I have Same PTSD. Uh, I can't remember what season it was, 15, 16, something like that. After January, Olivier Giroud. Oh my! Couldn't hit a barn door with a shovel. <laughs> you know what? 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 Is, what, what I'm saying, fam? That derailed us. You know, Mesut Ozil by December had about twenty assists, eighteen to well, nineteen, twenty. Well, I could have broken Titi's record, man. Yes, yeah, fifteen, sixteen. Yeah, fifteen, sixteen. Yeah. And Giroud, yeah. and I, it's Max. I love Giroud. Mm. He for me is one of the greatest streets one forget player when he retires. You know, but I have PTSD, and I fear that could be a thing that could happen. So I I would love to sign a striker in January. I don't know who that is, but I would love to. Just to have that little striker's you union. Have a choice? Because if... Victor. I don't have a choice. Because... <laughs> Thanks. Because uh, there's not... I th and I also think, just like we're talking about managers, I yeah. think there is a lack of elite strikers in world football. Absolutely. If I had a choice, I'd say Harry Kane. No, you know, course, but that's course, not possible. Course, course. But whoever it is, just someone I think that could just add, could just add that depth into the striker's union. Because we have... Because once we have, right now, just having Jesus and Ikea, it's still a bit nervy. But it can get us through for now. Yeah. But if you had one more top striker, now Jesus and Ikea looks like a great 
great unit of strikers with that other striker. So I would love to have another striker and I hope we do, but we don't know what's going to happen. But yeah, like you said, it could get to a point where it becomes tough because we're going to have to start relying on other players. And last season, Zach Saka, Odegaard and Martinelli all had 15 plus goals each. And towards the end. This season, we've got Trossard who keeps providing big moments, big goals. Yeah, it's mad. I don't want to rely on the big moments, but I want to have that, just one that consistent goal scorer. Absolutely. You know, I get that one and two. Give me that one and two. Shout out to Bukayo though. I think... uh, Um, By the way... I don't want to hype him too much, but I think he's having an unbelievable season. Absolutely. I think he's having an unbelievable season. He started season. off where it was maybe GA's clowning performance. Yeah. He, performance. He's yes, having an unbelievable yes, season. Yes, Reece, the last three, four weeks, I said it as well, the last three, four weeks, he everything now. This is the Saka that we know. Mm. I think beginning of the season, as you mentioned perfectly, the GA's was clouding the performances. Because yes, he was giving you that, that first game of the season. He was giving you that, but I never felt it was Saka from last season. I never felt like it was the Saka that I know. The last three weeks, ever since he came out from that injury, I think he, he had that little spell yeah, yeah. out. He missed, the man, he missed the Man City game. Yeah, man. Yeah. That that Saka, it is a dangerous Saka because that first goal for him, he created out of nothing. Yeah, and that and that that right foot finish, it's not easy to do, man. Like uh, that volley. Reminds me a bit of a goal he scored against Spurs. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Very. The one where Smith Rose has got yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Very, very, bit that very similar. Yeah. Very similar. But he's having Martinelli though. On the other hand, I don't know, man. You're I'll, not feeling him. <laughs> I don't know about Martinelli, man. There's something about him, man. That time, you're right. Let's have a conversation about it, please. Let's have a conversation. Right. Let's, have Let's have a conversation, have a conversation about fair. it, please. I can't lie, yeah. I feel I think like he's been pretty good. I uh, pretty fine. good is a well, it's an overstatement. No, for sure, uh, it's a proper overstatement because I think if I think the goal, he's very fortunate to score against City. Yeah, his numbers haven't been good this season. Numbers wise, he's not there. One P- goal, I think, mm-hmm. league goal Perfor- this season. Performances mm, wise, that's, City, that's the most oh. biggest one of the season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're gonna pick one, you pick that. But performances wise, also no, not, also horrible. not great. Also not great. He no, is horrible too far. Bro. Let me tell you why. Horrible Anytime I see yeah, him go uh, against a fullback. Horrible too far. Let me tell you why. Anytime I see him go up, go, up, go up against a fullback, I could close my eyes and say, this brother's not taking him on. He's going to pass backwards. And I could look back at the TV and that's exactly what happened. Yeah. I think that's an issue with him because obviously he's been two, two, two players are, are coming up to against now. That's what I'm saying. It's 2v1. Both exactly. Sides every time. When it is the same for Saka, brother, we don't see a problem with that. Taka had to deal with when it was one on one. Destroy yeah, the life out of someone. Saka but, had but, but, but was, th- it was three, three on one. But there's sometime, a level brother. difference between the two of them. Come on, man. This is Saka. I'm about. saying Martinelli isn't like when we say Saka, we hear Martinelli, bro. And I think it should be Saka. And, and you guys Martinelli. are the same people trying to tell me Saka, Saka and Martinelli are the same wavelength as said. Rodrigo and Vinicius. When did I say that? Wow. Why are you bringing Rodrigo? So slander. Yeah. Slander. He did it to me earlier. Slander. He just put words in his mouth. Slander. Yeah. How are you? Bro, it's PR Ronda. Why are you talking about No, no, no. He's smart. You see what he just did? What he's very, he's very cheeky. Go on, go on, go on. You Grab said Saka, huh. and then he said, "Well, he's not this. Well, well, don't compare the two. You man are trying to compare the two. You man are trying to put that Batman and Robin. Well, exactly, I'm, Batman is yeah, different Robin. to Robin. Yes, yes, yes. Robin can't do what I Batman know, does. I know. So that is a good I, accurate representation. Know, Saka's Batman. But I'm trying to That's say. I'm, drowning, I'm trying to say. No, I'm not drowning. I'm still alive. I'm still trying to say. Oh, we man, know what Martin happened last time you went in the water. <laughs> <laughs> play the clip now, play the clip now. He's not fella. Hey, Faisal, you left your upper water. Wallah, 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 help me, help me. Help me, help me. I can't, wallah, wallah, wallah. You guys good, yeah? Hey, what happened? Oh, Haseeb. Yeah, put that in there. Wallah, you've been like that. You've got the footage. <laughs> 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 Haseeb's got the English footage. Channel. Huh? English channel. English <laughs> 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 When he first came over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You have got a footage, yeah? <laughs> hey, that's crazy. Hey, 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 so many hey, hey, that is crazy. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I never came on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But no, I'm trying to okay, say, yeah. I'm trying to say he's not Robin as well, man. He's not Robin as well. <laughs> what is he just? He's Alfred. He's Alfred, the butler. <laughs> hey, well, hey, nah, Alfred. you're taking the piss, man. Martin is, Martin well, Martin Martin has been poor this year. And the thing is, when he, when he do well in the Champions League, Shock horror! He's only playing a fullback again. He's doing one on one again, no, no, and he no, got the Champions goal. League Whoa, against wow. Lons. God, oh, that's the you know what That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about Champions League. Unbelievable! He's been in the Champions League this season. Why? Be, what do we always say? What do you say about different. the Champions League? Open for ninety open minutes. Football, yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's what I always so say. It looks Champions good then. Easy. It looks Champions good for him easy. then. Champions no, but I'm saying it looked good for him then. In the Premier League, the boy's been found out. Yeah, but he plays left wing for the team that's top of the league, so he's not doing that. No problem. All well and good. I think well one player come next year or two years from now and Ateta, if you guys don't win a trophy and if, if Ateta's looking at 11 and that says, you know what? Who I, he wanted Modric. Who, who he wanted I, Modric. Who, who can I fix? Who can I take out? And uh, then put LCM, ST and LW maybe. But there's there's multiple positions. Oh, manager. 
There's more positions. You're getting their right winger. Perfect. Huh? We're not perfect. You're gonna steal their right winger soon. No though. chance. No uh, chance. Bukayo. Yep. 2026. Uh, <laughs> Let's talk. Let's Saliba. Saliba. Him and two, Jude. No, Saliba's 2026. Saka's 2026. Speaking of Saliba, unbelievable. Another unbelievable player. Um, his home record when he starts for Arsenal. It's scary still. 21 games he's played. Mm. 16 wins, four draws, one defeat. One defeat against. In, uh, at home, uh, it would have been Man City, no? Oh, did he start against Man City? Uh, yes, he did. It was he Man did, City did, last season. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Uh, in general, in the Premier League. 40 games he's played. Four losses, I think. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's a great, big, like, a unbelievable great player. Was that before this game? Mm. I mean, before this game. Yeah, yeah but just before yeah, this game, yeah. yeah. So, you know, very, very, very important for us. Um, And yeah, Saka, I mean, Saka got another goal. Just nice little fun fact. Saka's now scored more Premier League goals for Arsenal, which is 36. Then says Fabregas at 35. Ooh. Wow. Is it, yeah? He just, he just outscored Fabregas in the Premier League. He's been doing it for a while, to be fair. So what? He's come on three, four years Saka, though. Saka's been doing it, I mean... Seth's been yeah. doing it from young. Yeah, but Seth was, well, so was Ivory. He's controlling Saka's the games, uh, isn't it? He's controlling the games. Yeah. Yeah. That's well, a good stat still. It's a good stat yeah, to take from that. That's a legend. That's a legend. And how many goals against Saka? Saka's got 36 Premier League goals for Arsenal. And now. he's 21. 20, no, 22 maybe now. 22. Yeah. Oi, he can... Young that's goal. lit. I can't lie. 100, uh, like 100 is, is on the horizon, you know? Like, I know it's... Well, he's third of the before way. Before he goes from Madrid? Huh? You think he'll get 100 before Madrid? No, Saka will be in 100 club in the Premier League for sure. I think he will. Are oh, you thinking we'll yeah. get him when he's like hitting seventies? Yeah, uh, nah, no chance. <laughs> uh, another fun fact: Wolves have never ever kept a clean sheet against Arsenal in the Premier League. Wow. Uh, okay. And, and <laughs> Cheers for that. No, no, well, I'm deep wow. in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Off the back of that, let's hear from a Wolves fan. Probably not Sen. He says, "From this game, it is clear how important, and this is true. They were, um, they were missing players. It is clear how important Lamina and Jal Gomez were in the midfield. Yes, yes. Absolutely. As there was Both no cr- yellows from the Fulham game. As yeah. there were no creation, there was no creation in the midfield until Sarabia came on later in the game." Overall, there was a lot of positive takeaways from the game. Uh, Bentley had a great performance and did well not to not let any other goals in. Oh yeah, and Joseph Sarr did come off. He had a yeah, that was, yeah, that was yeah. a big that was a big point for them as well. Yeah, um, came on. Yeah, Joseph Sarr came off for injury and had a much better performance since the last game at the end. Toyota came on as well. Uh, <laughs> late season. What's uh, that? What the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he said Bentley came on. I said Toyota came on as well. <laughs> Toyota. First of all, an awful joke. Second of all, why did you find it so funny? <laughs> uh, 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 it's funny to me. This guy is such an honest guy. And Toyota came on. What's wrong with him? What's wrong with this guy? See, I want to say one word. Don't say. Do not say. Well, he said. Um, yeah, he said. Um, la, 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 la. Hopefully, we get a three points because Burnley on Tuesday. And in brackets, Faisal stop hating on O'Neill. He's clear of Iraola. Stop overrating La Liga. Ooh. What's his name? Probably not SN. This is at. Even if you say his name, what are you going to do? Yeah, what's Madison. Not? Great. Well, I, great notes. Great points that you've made. <laughs> the last point, though, uh, that Anthony's not better than uh, than Fink. And then, um, what's his name? Uh, Gary Nell. Yeah. Let's talk about Anthony now. Yeah, perfect transition. Oh, now. yeah. Vice captain. Perfect transition. Because we're talking about Bournemouth hey, hey, Aston Villa now. Bournemouth Brilliant. Come on, that's what I mean, man. Brilliant. Deflected the whole thing. Yeah, they yeah, said yeah, about him yeah, just Bournemouth versus Villa. So I'll, I'll let you host this, this game. You're oh, the host now. So here's the notes if you want, but you can talk yes. about it. Read. Read. <laughs> read. No, read. Well, I read. I can host it. No, no, no. Let him read. No, no, let him read. We have to read. We need him to read. We need him. We need him to read. Read. Well, I read. <laughs> nah, nah. Read. The first, the first four letters at least. No, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, host this game. Faisal's host for this game. Bournemouth versus Villa. Go. Bournemouth, Aston Villa, two, two. What, what, what a performance <laughs> by two great managers that we have seen this season in Unai Emery and Anthony Irola. Two Spanish managers, two upcoming uh, upcoming managers, Anthony and a well experienced vet in Unai Emery. Both teams came into this game, great form. Mm-hmm. Bournemouth, three out of four. Aston Villa, away to Spurs, 2-1 win. Comeback win against Spurs and Ange. Mm-hmm. The thing is about this game that we also witnessed, mm-hmm. four goals, two of them was beautiful. Mm-hmm. Semenyo in the first half. What what a player. What a Kansa player. with an awful mistake. Yeah. Semenyo this season, come on, let's just talk about him for a second. What a player though. For Very me, important. he feels like the heartbeat of Bournemouth, bro. <laughs> Absolutely. Genuinely, I feel like he brings the energy that Iriola speaks about in his uh, interviews and he speaks about how much it's important to him, the energy off the ball and, and, and application. Semenyo brings you that and also brings you a bag of quality as well. Mm, absolutely. And what he's done this season, he's done it on both, both sides, bro. On yes, the left-hand on the right side and the, right. the right-hand <coughs> yeah. side. 
And as you guys know, of course, they finished 2-2. Uh, Aston Villa is very quickly. Bournemouth had an XG of 2.02. Aston Villa, on the other hand, had an XG of 0.92. Wow. So you got the say. draw. Yeah. And Villa pulled off the draw. They, they, they should have lost, though. They should have lost. Bournemouth should have won then, yeah. judging by that XG. Yeah. yeah. They were, they were, they were yeah, popping absolutely. them. Let's talk about as well. Bailly's goal. What a goal. Like, yeah, we're, we're, we're talking about this fix. Bailey or Bailly? Bailey, Bailey, Bailey. Bailey, 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 Bailey. <laughs> Eric Bailly. Bailey. What did you say? Bailly. Bailey. Bailey. Manchester United defenders. We're, we're, Bailey. Talking, we're, talking, about, Eric we're Bailey. talking about wonderful goals that's happened <laughs> this weekend. Uh, Bailey's Bailey. Bailey. one of them. Yep. I mean, this is, this, is, this is your type of goal, man. Beautiful goal. Yeah. On the, on uh, cutting, cutting from the cutting from the right hand side. Good finish. Cut on the left. Beautiful goal. Yeah. Second. I, th- I think I think due to Diaby, people might forget that Leon Bailey's a player in himself as well, bro. Oh, yeah, He's yeah. terrorized Premier League teams in the past, and he did to Bournemouth for that Absolutely. goal. And two lad from Jamaica. From J- Good lad from Jamaica. Is it? Is it an Australian accent? Jamaica. <laughs> what language? What, what's <laughs> going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, mate. Yeah, don't, don't do that again, man. <laughs> what? Yeah, 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 mate. Yeah, yeah, mate. Don't do that again, man. Don't do that. Yeah, again. let's not do that again. Let's, let's get get ahead, face. Second <laughs> half, though. Second half. He played One. midfield, though, didn't he? Huh? Uh, Bailey. He was. He was playing on the right hand side. Yeah, yeah. midfield. Was like a mid. It was like a four four two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. On the second half, though, imagine this: Dominic Solanke, former Liverpool man. Former Liverpool man. I think that's. I think that's seven goals. For Bournemouth Seven this season. He's not really a Liverpool guy. He's a Chelsea player. Not still, really Liverpool. still played for us. Number 29. Still yeah, I know. But it's more Chelsea. Nah. It came through Chelsea. Oh. Still played for us. Yeah, go on. Seven million. goals. Seven goals in 14 matches. And let's seven seven goals. Just talk yeah. about yeah. I believe it's seven. Seven or nine. But I'm, yeah, I'm, seven, I'm, seven. I think it's seven still. Yeah, seven. Speak about Solanke's performance. Good, man. Like I'm very happy again for him being a former Liverpool player. Like When you leave at such a young age, I want you to succeed. And oh, I want you to do well yeah. in the Premier League, etc. And now I feel like he's getting his flowers. Absolutely. Delicious I goal. feel like he's getting his flowers. Oh, I feel like he's playing amazing. He's playing a well. When you get, that's what it is. When you get your confidence, mm-hmm. it just keeps you on need that. Keeps on going. You, you know what I mean? That. So you need that. You need that. <laughs> Multiplies. Because for Liverpool, Dom's never had that confidence. Now at Bournemouth, we're seeing it, bro. As this is, his, by the way, his all, all-time record now in the in the Premier League. Yeah, seven goals. Seven goals. Wow, seven he's goals. matches to highest already. He can hit double digits, man. He's can, he yeah, can hit double digits. And, like, and I can see, you know, especially with this system that is, he's thriving now on. And what I like about him as well is that that goal, as you mentioned, that's a proper number nine goal. Delicious goal. The build up, Pau Torres sus- sus defending. I can't lie. Thank you for like, speaking I, about yeah, it because yeah, I was yeah. going to. Sus defending. I praise, yeah. I praise his ball that's playing. Ball, I, praise, yeah. I praise what he can do mm-hmm. on, on the ball. Yeah. But that defending is very weak. Fair. That's not what Fuad likes to say. Real men. That's not a real men defending. Yeah. Fan. He, he's, he never pressured yeah. and just let, just let his body and, and try to block it. That's <laughs> yes. not what you should do. But of course, Awful. lay on Ollie Watkins. What a striker. Bro, that, that head is a joke. That's a nice, joke, bro. Nice, the clutch nice. moment there and the finish there is just cr- is a joke. You, you He's sp- coming into his own. Him. Yeah, you, spoke about, yeah. you spoke about strikers earlier. Would you take Odie Watkins if he, if he was available? Would you start for Arsenal? Arsenal well, he's, actually, well, he's, Arsenal he's a gooner. Yeah, I was going to say he's a gooner. So I'm sure he'd love to come um, come over. But you know what? Him or Tony? Mm. Wow. Well, one player has been flying this season. One hasn't even been playing. So it's yeah. tough. Mm. It's tough, you know? Because mm. like... But with Tony, you know what you're going to He doesn't hit 20 to. goals. Huh? One's hit twenty goals. Last season was third top goal scorer last season. I mean it's tough. I've yes, always been I've options. always been a bigger fan when they were both playing, a bigger fan of Ivan Tony than okay. I was of Ollie Watkins. Okay. But they both bring different things, man. Ollie Watkins is a very good player, obviously pressing, runs you know, the well. runs the channels really well, you know, back to goal is really good. Mm-hmm. But Ivan Tony, same kind of thing. Like he's a more of a Ooh. traditional striker. Yeah. You know, you're seeing the emergence of Evan Ferguson. Mm-hmm. It's, it's similar to like an Ivan yeah, Tony yeah, kind yeah. of player. Those kind of I don't know. He's a proper striker. I mean, I'll I'll be happy with both, but we're trying to win a Champions League. Mm. But there's not like there's not a level of yeah. Yeah. Harry Kane, Haaland. Yeah, it stops, no, no, no. It stops there. You Harry Kane, Haaland, Nunes. Yeah, you stop. It stops there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, we have yeah, to build a player that becomes a Harry Kane. Pull a bit still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ballon d'Or nominee, fam. He's in the top yeah, yeah, thirty yeah, Ballon right. d'Or. Uh, but but he, but, but, yeah, but, he but he got that. Benfica as well. Doesn't matter. <laughs> good so try, though. Good his try. His name's still there. You mentioned Oli Watkins, and of course, he's trying to get the the, the, the Champions League. Do you think Watkins and um, and, and Tony is B strikers, not A strikers? Like they Do you think they? I think they James have got is more likely to win as a win as a Champions League than them. Ooh, wow, he's more of a Champions League striker. Champions League Tony is he's a more of a Champions League striker. footballer. He's already got four goals in four games for the Champions League this season. Mm-hmm. Obviously, you guys, you guys, are terrified of him. The yeah. Champions League was at Man City. He's a Champions League striker. So, yeah. but then again, outside the Tony and the Watkins to fill up what he does. Premier League, and also yeah. they play the Premier League games. Jesus in the Champions mm. League. You have to have that. 
One, the two. strikers union, like I said. Exactly. Oh, yeah. No, Jesus plays the Champions League European games more. He starts those games. Mm. You know, allows the fluidity in the team. And then the Prem games. You need that. Watkins, the Tony, whoever we sign. Yeah. And do that. Or we could just wait till the, the summer and go for a big one. Of course, last last point before we go to the correspondence. And Dini Arona. What a manager, man. Uh, what, I, you boy. know what I'm happy? You know what I'm happy about Bournemouth is that they But did it, didn't close the game. They had better XG. They should have won the game. Should have. So is he what The chances. He should have won the game, but... Every game, you don't win. This is two. Oh, bro, <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, yeah. Wow. I never knew that. <laughs> and every oh, game. Oh, wow. What an insight there. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Thank what you. brilliant Thank insight. And Faisal. every game, every game <laughs> is a building process to what you can do. Uh, At the moment, you've done what you've done. And you take lessons from this game. Yeah. You take lessons from this, this draw. In my yeah. opinion, yes. You know what? You know, you know what's good about Bournemouth? That the mindset is now. They see in this draw as a defeat. Last season, two seasons ago with Gary Neal, they, they were saying, oh, this, uh, this is an achievement. We got a point. But now of they course, see they're it. amazed with Gary Neal. They were rock bottom of the but league. Now, they were rock bottom of the league. They were, they were spiked by Liverpool. Gary Neal came in and not only just just kept them up, he did really well. Yeah, yeah. So I don't, I don't get... What is that? But now, but now, with, Bournemouth, Gary, no. but now with Bournemouth, we're seeing that Arola. By the way, a lot of you guys don't know this. And let me, let me tell you this. When he came to Bournemouth, you do know, yeah, most of his coaching staff wasn't even his. He had, he had to adapt and take the coach that already at Bournemouth. And this is what he's doing, bro. He's doing it with a new coaching staff. He's doing it with a new team, with a new language, new country. And he's doing it. And now he's implementing a system of his own and creating an identity, a culture within this Bournemouth. I am happy to go to Bournemouth and watch a game now. Why? Because I'm... Cause I want to watch this I Gary go and Dini Arola. And I know, and I, I, and I know every, every single person, every single person that's living in Bournemouth, well, is it what is, it, is, it, is, it, is, it, is that a city? Right? Of course it is. Yeah, it's Bournemouth. Every single person that lives in Bournemouth, yeah, <laughs> is happy. They are proud. They wear top now. Well, that's flowers. They, they can hear birds singing, bro. And that's, so, that's what this should so do. So Arola's obviously done very well and I like that and I like your passion. So you really like him. And he did say as well that he came in, not his coaching staff. So technically, is he doing of Gary and Neil's coaching staff? From last mm. no, Uncomfortable I'm conversations. Okay, great. Thank you for reminding me. The early part of the first season, first six points, he used Gary and Neil's coaching staff. And what happened? What? That was rock bottom, fam. Relegation. And people and were telling me, and specific, what, American, Canadian, Algerian, French, German, Chinese? Well, they're called Leas, fam, something like that. He was, he was telling me, he was telling me, he has to go. And guess what he did? Great managers do that. They say, you know what? This is what I've got on my plate. You know what? Let me, let, let me change them around. What you know happened? what? Let me improve you. Okay, so you know what? Happened? Listen to me. Coach your stuff. Got scouting. Do this, do that. And this is what he's done. Now, so where is just he? Just to be clear, you didn't, you didn't disagree with Sharky's point at he's all, 16. by the way. He's he didn't disagree with anything you said. No, no, no. Is it still Gary Neal's He's proved them. No, but is it still his style? He's improved him. But anyway, he's improved him. <laughs> listen, <laughs> but I'm very happy listen, they kept on. You're not a Bournemouth fan. We ha- you're not a Bournemouth fan. We have a Bournemouth fan, Dan. And let's hear what he's got to say. Okay, okay, I want to hear from you. Absolutely. Dan says, I say it every week, but what a player Ryan Christie is. Yes. You agree with that? Yes. Ryan yes. Christie, the right back. Great, great. Goal. Unbelievable. Great pass to Semenya mm. in, in, uh, in that build up to the first goal. How good is he though this season at uh, fullback? <laughs> I think. <laughs> when we <we're> speak <laughs> These guys are so stupid. When we speak, no, no, when we speak of Ryan Christie, yeah, I can think of so many things to describe. Him. Nuts. One he's of the DMs, you nuts. Right you nuts. <laughs> no, I said that. I said the whole no, time he's not alright. Oh, yeah! How can he say he's a fullback? You were Ryan Christie. Look at us, look at us. Who the fool? Not me! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you got me, you got me. I say it every week. I say it every week. I say it every week, but what a player Ryan <laughs> name is Ryan. <laughs> but what a player Ryan Christie is. Well, he sent me still. <laughs> he excels playing in a double pivot with Cook so well. Yeah, nah, I should never said that to me as well. Before. You just said Ryan Christie, that's it. You stopped it. Yeah, because you like, yeah, you this. Yeah, I agree, I agree. <laughs> cool. Um uh, and if he could, and if he could shoot, he'd be playing for a top six side easily. So obviously Dan's saying he's got Chris. everything, but he can't shoot. Iriola's high-intensity football against Emery's top-class Villa side proved to make an entertaining end-to-end game, which we ultimately got unlucky to concede in the last few minutes. Uh, Milos Kerkez had a tough game against a brilliant Leon Bailey performance. And then in brackets, can't wait for the SDS roundup, the highlight of my week whilst I'm working, typing, typing all this in the pub straight after a game. So I hope it all makes sense. And that's why we appreciate you guys. This guy was at the game. Yeah. 
He's in the pub Amazing. straight after the game wow. and he's writing his correspondence. What a legend. That's right. Thank board. you to all the correspondents. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. They don't need to do that. They don't need to no, do it. No, they're the you know, they don't need to do it. That's really so dedication, it. fam. I respect the dedication. It. I love it. And I hope you enjoyed the segment, fam. Yep, and we got here from a Villa fan the other end. We've got Osman96 uh, says, this point performance from Villa away from home. Emery made some changes in the start 11 and it was clear to see that Diego Carlos is not at Villa's level. I Another La Liga player. No, 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 no. I, I said when, when the sign of a forty million, fam. Yeah, even, I, I, even I didn't like him. Game. When it was him and Kunde, I was like, Kunde's the better. Way. I, I, I oh, didn't it like a, it. It was a bum. Um, and and with Tillemans instead of Kamara, Villa had no number six who can control the ball, yep. the play between the defense and the midfield. Zaniolo, in my opinion, isn't made for Premier League football. He's a technical player, but he lacks pace and strength. PMP. Which, 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 which member on SDS said that I love Zaniolo and I feel like he can do a great job? Who is use it? Liban. It was Liban. Liban. Yeah, Liban. Uh, very lucky that Villa got away with a point in the Vitality Stadium. Respect to Bournemouth, who were constantly dangerous on the counter attack. Uh, that's what um, Both Villa fans got to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, listen, they said Villa got lucky in that game, but you got respect. Uh, just, Bournemouth. Just trust the process, man. Moving on to the next game. We are at Brentford now, where they hosted Luton. Um, they won the game 3 1. They're, they're the bees, right? They are the bees. Yeah, yeah, Watford's Brentford. the wasps, isn't it? Watford's yeah. wasps. Hornets. 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 Is that not called the Wasps? No. It's a rugby team or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who's Wasps? Oh, he said, yeah. What's Barnet? It's a place in... No, no, what, what's Barnet? Oh, you're right. But I don't think it was... Because their stadium's called the Hive. Yeah. The Beehive. Yeah. So they're in that Bee system. Bee, Hornet, that okay. kind of... I don't know what their nickname is. The honeycomb somewhere. Yeah, I don't know. But the stadium's the Hive, which is a, like a Beehive. Someone's called the Wasp. That's what You're I said right. it's in my head, bro. But we'll get, I don't know, you guys let us know in the comments. But Brentford beat Luton 3-1 in a, I was going to say London clash. Luton aren't London, but close enough. And uh, this game's going to be hosted by Fawizi. So here's my notes. Ooh. Tell us about this game, 3-1 to Brentford. All I, well, I know in Wembley got me points, where Yeah, you got me points too. <laughs> Go on, Fawizi. Okay, good notes here. Okay, a very ill Fawizi, I can tell by the voice. Um, only three players have scored 10 plus goals and provided 10 plus assists in the Premier League. In 2023, Salah, Saka, and then Buemo, and Ilias. And Ilias, and Ilias. <laughs> wow, that's impressive. That's, that's very good. Very if good, you, very good if you look at the Calabar players, mm. uh, Salah, yep. and then you got Saka, and then you got, you get. Yeah. So, like, well, how did he go for that far down between <laughs> Salah and Saka? Because <laughs> Salah said, like, Come on, let's be real. With Salah, there's no <laughs> like, He's at the top, but I don't know. You went too, you went too far ladder. down. It's a big ladder. After Salah, it's long. Yep. But that's good on Buemo, man. Despite coming on in the 78th minute, Kane Lewis Porter h- had more touches in the opponent box. Do you know how much that was? How much? Do you want to know? Tell us. David Beckham's old number. Seven. Ooh. Ooh. What? what, what, what <laughs> seven. And he came on when? 78 mm. minutes? Yeah. That's mad. Mad. <laughs> that is mad. And more he's shots. He's reading every single note. And I don't four. read the notes. Yeah, I just use them as like a, if it's I need reference something. If it's a bit of empty he's reading space. it word yeah, for word. Well, I man. First, well, first and last time, man. <laughs> Well, that's the last time, man. Okay, okay, okay. He sounds also, like a robot as well. Ross Barkley <laughs> played well. Uh, this is how Sharky does it. Yeah. Ross Barkley played well, despite the injuries yeah. of the centre backs. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, I, don't, I don't know why. This is just the note. This is how Sharky would do it. <laughs> get me. <laughs> Ross Sorry. Barkley played well. What's the um, cross- did he? What's the correspondent saying? I don't know. If, I don't know if Ross Barkley played well, by the way. Uh, I don't get the correspondence yet. What are here? Mm-hmm. What, ask the weeds to talk about this game. Mm. Yeah, I mean, listen, we all watched it. So uh, it's a worrying, <laughs> it's a worrying, <laughs> it's a worrying week for Luton, though. Why? Why do you? They lost three one. They got Arsenal coming up. Yeah, After that, they got City. Good. Ooh. So yeah, it's a very. They got they got tough someone fixtures. Save, someone save Luton. They got tough know. fixtures coming up. Mm, so. What did you? Th- what do we think about that win? But obviously for Brentford, was it a routine win? Of course, expected to win. Yeah, first um, half. Expected routine win for me. Um, Bre- Luton at home, you should win. But right let's now. give credit to Luton this season. Yeah, Brentford, Brentford at we, home. We bro. would expect, huh? Brentford at home, not Luton. Yeah, no, Brentford at home. He's That's what I, said. He's I said, let's give credit to Luton okay. this season. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. they've got a few like, good results. We, we thought they'll be 20th or 19th. Of course. We were like, trying to predict when they're going to get their first win. Yeah. They already have two. Yeah. Facts. So I feel like we've got to give credit to them. Yeah. And they won. They won they're not in the relegation zone. Obviously, yeah. luckily. That's, That's what I'm trying to say, because they have earned stuff. But still. Worked in their favour. No, but for me, that so game was like just, it was just a, you could see the level difference between the team. Yeah, Brentford are, are, are a steady Premier yeah. League outfit. They might not be at the same level as when they had Ivan Tony, but they're always going to be levels above a Luton town. Brian was there amongst the GA again. 
Uh, there was some nice goal um, scored by uh, Sha- uh, Shaden Baptiste. Shade, Shade, Baptiste. 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 That was a lovely goal because his feet was lovely, and then the shot came on and he scored the rebound. Hey, Brentford, Brentford, they are known for when they came against the big teams, really tough, really pragmatic. Yeah. A lot of plays into the box. Right. When they come against these teams, that they obviously no no disrespect to the Luton fans. When they obviously they're, 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 they're absolutely and 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 sometimes it doesn't show in this game. It quite clearly shows. Absolutely. I, I mean, first half they were they were, they were, they were, they were very. I mean, very happy to, of course, survive that with no goals. I mean, born ben, ben, Brentford, they kept mm. going and going. Mm-hmm. Second half, three goals. Yeah. Come on. But I can't lie. For Luton, it's love anyway. Like, you man, they won against the Crystal Palace last week. Yeah. It was great. Butterflies, singing, this and that. Now with Arsenal. Butterflies. Arsenal City. Uh, well, lie, man. It, 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 time to pray, fam. Sticky. Sticky. You never know. You saw they did well against Liverpool. Yeah, but they got two big back to back. That's. Come on, man. What do you think the Luton guys say? For the Kevin Spinnings. Um, <laughs> but they're both at home. Both um, these, these are the home games that they, the yeah. fans wanted. Yeah. 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 And um, I just want to shout out Tere Mengi and Taif Chong. Uh, Chong did score an offside goal. He was, he was, he was, uh, hey, he was your liable. Your boys, yeah. man. Yeah, listen, man, he, he, was, he was liable for the first goal, I think, because he went down as if he got fouled. He dived. Mm-hmm. He wasn't given VAR to look at it, not enough in it. And that led to Brentford's, um, Brentford's open, Neil Mope, Brentford's opener. And Ted and Mengi, listen, we obviously saw what he did against Liverpool. Brilliant performance there. Same mm. kind of level of performance. You didn't see it in the house. You're locked in the house. Uh, yeah, You're but I went in, back and went on YouTube, bro. Yeah. You watched the highlights or the full game? No, no, I watched the highlights. Watched I saw that. it like... Ted uh, and Mengi did play well against Yeah, just take off his top and that. Didn't oh. really understand what was going on. It was a bit, but you know, I heard. Of course. But yeah, Ted and Mengi did do very well. Very well for me in that game as well. But yeah. Well, the visual correspondence? We got a little one, and then I'll read the Brentford one. <laughs> I ain't got the Brentford one though. You do have, but the Brentford's on the bottom. But read you read the little one. I read the Brentford one because we got lost. Go on. We have a little fan. So why am I doing the loser? <laughs> don't do the Brentford one. No, but it's the way you said it because they lost. You do it. Don't do the mind. Brentford one. No, no, it's fine. Analyst by Quinn. Quinn. An- analysis. <laughs> and then analysis as well. Analysis, analysis. <laughs> don't <laughs> cough now, to make I'm, I'm going through Quinn. it, bro. By Quinn, yes. not Quinn, fam. Quinn, go on. Quinn, you're right. You're okay. Yeah. What did Quinn say? Not the best of performances by the lads today. How do you know that's what Quinn sounds like? <laughs> that's how it sounds. How I can tell, I can tell. Okay. They're gone. Not the best performances by the lads today, but in this league, you got to ride the highs and the lows. And staying confident in your team is key. Brentford showed how they can deal with the problems of the league without Tony, even though we are... <laughs> Like even free change of <laughs> my throat. I'm just doing it for my throat. I'm not doing it because of him. Even though we are all, we all know he's a big miss. Brentford capitalized from the three scrappy goals to get them the win, but that's what you have to do. Some weeks when our captain came off injured. Yep. When our captain came off injured, any, any control, control yeah. we had on the game was gone, and it shows <laughs> our lack of depth. With Burnley smashing Sheffield United. We need to keep the ca- the careful look behind us. And with Arsenal and Manchester City coming up next, all we can do is cross our fingers. Yes. Hey, hey thank you, Fu. That was really good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and Quinn, I only did that because like, I had to change my voice of tone sometimes. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. Interesting, sure interesting to hear from the Luton fan. Uh, Brentford fan, regular one, is Keenan Lowe. Keenan says, uh, pretty straightforward win for the Bees this week. Luton are far from pushovers, but the difference in quality showed this week as Brentford were able to sustain pressure and create several big chances that made the difference. Um, at this point, the Bees mm. aren't really in danger of relegation, but a few mm. teams at the bottom of the table did win this week, so it was an important three points, but three points that we are starting to expect from Brentford. Uh, overall, not too much to complain about this week, but as the fixtures start to pick up, it'll be interesting to see how an already depleted Brentford side are able to navigate the congested schedule. So, absolutely, it's true. It's going to be interesting to see how Brentford do. They're in like a mid-ish table kind yeah. of, not even, yeah, they're 11th. So, they're literally right there, the mid-table joint mm. points with Chelsea. Uh, literally, identical record with them. Five wins, four draws and five losses. Sa- pretty same as Chelsea, same goal difference as Chelsea as well. Exact same the only f- huh? Yeah, the only thing that's the difference is Chelsea have scored more goals. Okay. Good Brentford, question, guys. Yeah. The less. Before we move on to the next team, do you think Brentford dropped off a bit? Of course. They were scary. They were scary before. Yeah. 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 I remember times you know when wouldn't like going over there. Yeah, but if you miss your your your, your best player, yeah, yeah, striker, of course, of course. Score, so the person, huge for them. It's, it's, it's huge, man. Of course. It's but like I'm just deep in it now. It's like, rah, this team here. 
But they're still. To, they used to go to big, big stadiums and win. They were Brighton. You know what? How Brighton are now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. a good comparison. Yeah, but they've done well since they've come to the Premier League. They've established themselves as a Premier League team since they've been back. There's no the back. It's their first run in the Premier League, I think, mm. ever. And they've but for them, though, they've stayed ne- next month with no Wizard and no Mwemba. It's going to be interesting. I would have been like, that's going to be interesting. It's going to be long for them, man. It's going to be very interesting. Moving on, though, to the next game we have Nottingham Forest versus. Everton. Mm. That right, game, we're that going game. over to the City ground. Yeah. That was a good game, man. 5 30. Game. Everton. Everyone predicted them to go down, or most people, not everyone, most yeah. people predicted them to go down. Yeah. On top of that, they've had 10 points taken off them. Yeah. So even, more reason to, even more reasons to predict them to go down. But yeah. I think even with a 10 point deduction, I think they'll survive. I think they will. They will. They'll survive. I, they I, had, I had Everton. A clean sheet away from home. I had Everton surprisingly com- not um, compared to a lot of people. I had them like finishing between um, 11 and 12. Fair, did yeah, you? Yeah, mid table, yeah, yeah mid table. Because yeah, right. I thought so before you the season started, hi- you reckon that's a bit high now. Um, that's still high now though, because yeah, the ten points are taken off them. That's why. Like if you like, like it, brother, <laughs> without <laughs> without the ten points, no, 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 brother, English? without the ten points, yeah, they would be around ten. I'm saying right now. now that the context. Now, is yeah, there, I mean now context, high. of course, is 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 out of their control. But I mean, mm. I think what they've done this season is exceptional. Deitch deserves a lot of credit where he's done. Mm-hmm. Formation change, playing the four one one now. Gone on that midfield, but I think one player that I think a couple of players that I think, in my opinion, should deserve a bit of credit. One of them being uh, Dwight McNeil. What, what a goal. Missed a chance early, or the chance was blocked on the line early on, but still didn't stop him from that but second that finish. finish. Oh my Mama god, Mia. Mama Mia, Mama Mia. Mama another Mia. one of the great goals this week, bro. A lot what of good a goal. goals this game. What a finish! That's what you can do, man. <laughs> Delicious technique. Delicious. Second player is a, a centre back. Um, uh, Branthwaite. Oh my god, Jared, yeah, yeah. Well, like, solid, composed on the ball. That's what they needed. Because I feel like they've had a lot of centre backs over the last few years. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, Connor Cody came on loan. Mm. Uh, Tarkovsky now, but now they've found that Tarkovsky and Branthwaite partnership. Mikalenko is a very competent very fullback yep. as very well, good. going two very ways. Good. And Ashley yep. Lung with the experience and it still has has it in him. Yeah, yeah. That back four they built is solid. And like very I said. Solid. Ghana in the midfield has now finally getting games and Jimmy, finally playing. My boy Jimmy. Obviously, my United boy didn't get the chance there. Yeah. And it's it's mad that he played really well against Nottingham Forest because he was he was in the Nottingham Forest team that got them promoted. Ah, yes, yeah, he yeah, was he was actually. There. Yeah. And um yeah, yeah. Jack Harrison and, and McNeil either side have been very, very good. It just gone a gay, solid midfielder. Mm-hmm. They got Takure in behind their striker. Beto. So yeah. it's like Beto they've built Kalo a Lula. good they have yeah. a they have a solid they have. team. The foundation is there and what they've done, like I said, the formation last season before before he came, they kept playing four three three, yep. five at the back, but now he's found the formula. Four typical uh, Daich. Yeah. Four, four, one, one. But yep. now rather than Old school Deitch is now shaping it up with a bit more at the moment, quick touches. Mm. But what one thing I like about him is that every player is pressing mm-hmm. into the final third. That's no let me let, let's just build that and let's contain every player's pressing. And like I said, having Beto and Cat with Lewis just to rotate, I think gives me quite a, a good flexibility. I think it's a couple of away wins in a row now for, for they would have been like twelve for eleventh now, isn't it? West Ham, they won away from home. Mm-hmm. Uh they beat uh, one more team, I think three one. I forgot who it was away from home as well, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Uh, they'll be they'll be literally twelve right now. They'll be twelve. They'll they didn't get ten points. See, that's, do you know how mad is? They'll be twelve. Where are they not? Eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah. Eighteen. But they're not there. That's crazy. It's gonna happen to see. I can't wait. But but they're not uh, but they're not going down. I don't see them going down. I think uh, I, I think they're too good of a team and they've got too wait. good of a manager. No, to they survive. this they just won their third consecutive Premier League away game. That is not easy. Even if you're Arsenal, Man City, or Liverpool to win <laughs> three away games in a row, you might have a draw. They've just won their third consecutive Premier League away game. And did it in tough awesome. grounds as well. West, uh-huh. West Ham away from home. Yep. Uh, and now Forest. And I forgot the last one who it was. And the other one's Palace away. Palace away from home. Like tough grounds and games that, in my opinion, is, is six points games. Because Forest is, is around them. For sure. Six for, for sure. Uh, Palace is around them. So sure. big, big win. I think uh, J- Jared Brantford is that he's, we've seen a, we've seen a couple of Jared Brantford's in the past in the sense that there's a couple of these kind of uh, English centre backs that we'll see. Not all of them will be English. That the example I give, but <coughs> the likes of the Max Kilmans and Nathan, everyone thinks these guys maybe they will go up to a top six team. Yeah. I like them where they are. Yes. that's what I like centre. But I think they're really good and really solid for their team. They do a very very good job. They did, I think uh, Anano would have still been out if he was he didn't play against us. So he would have still been yeah. out in that game there. For them to be doing it without arguably their most important player. Consistently there, getting the results in. I think Dash will be fine, like you guys say. Yeah. He's someone who's got so How much. How so much He came in to try and save a basically relegate Everton side. Frank Frank he Lampard. did that, yeah. saved them. Yeah. Second season, didn't to make them establish. Did, didn't, didn't really get 
to spend any money, no. nothing, because no. they messed up messed that up already. We like over the last few years. Yeah, his players. On won. top of that, he's done really, really well, and not his fault. Clubs been punished. Ten points is a lot. Yeah. Ten points is different between eight positions in the Premier League. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's really? ten points. Mm-hmm. And we're still saying he's going to keep them up. And his player as well, his best player, I think, in my opinion, best player <coughs> last season, it will be. Uh, and he's gone to Fulham, yeah. Uh, 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 it will be left. left. And now he managed to now compromise that and now promoting Ghana, not promoting Ghana, but now using Ghana more often. Mm. Well, Dyche has done an amazing, amazing job and credit needs to be given to him. Shout that out, role, that, come on, man. That role that he's done so far, as you mentioned, mm-hmm. last season, this season, well, it's tough, bro, for any, any manager. Facts. But now moving on to the other team, well, uh, Forrest at home. Um, not a great, not a great result at home. Well, they they, they need to be careful because they're now they're now hindering next to the like, 16, 17, yeah. 18 plays, and and Cooper man, and I was never a fan of him it's last three season. Three losses on a row for them. Now. I was never a fan of him last season, and this season is making it even worse, <coughs> man. Like yo, this is one I don't understand. Forest fam, yeah, Ilanga, yes, Sangare, mm-hmm. amazing player from PSV. You bought him. You're trying to make him a different. Dominguez from Serie A. You you're buying all of these. Useful players, but you know, but 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 they're not they're not they're not working for your team. And I think it's just down to the system. I think come down to the manager. That manager, Stephen Cooper, Mas Salama fam. Wow. And if I was Forrest, so if, if well, I'm not harsh. If um, I, uh, if I was if I was Forrest, and if I want to take this team to another level with all the pieces I've got, with the Sangaris, with the with the, with the Elangus, with Morillo, yeah. amazing centre back. Great, great centre back. Nas now using well, his first, his first professional year, man, if, if I'm not mistaken. You've got all the right pieces. Yep. And you've got Stephen Cooper if I'm t- telling you what to do. Wallahi, if I'm a player and I look at my, I look behind. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This. Alhamdulillah. I do Alhamdulillah. this and I'm like, you know what? Get, get out, man. Well, like, you know what they need? <coughs> they need a Iraila S manager. Oh my, <laughs> oh my God. God. Well, like, they need to go no, to the Portuguese before. league. They need to go to the Portuguese league. There's a top manager there. Top coaches there. Oh, Michelle, Girona. Yeah, but he's not going to leave of Girona course. to go to no, Flippin no, 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 Forest. No, 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 Nottingham no, no, Forest. Second of the league. No, no, but they need, I know I mean, you mean. That, that type of man cool. no, need to take him from. I think it's not fair on Steve Keeper about the, the, that assessment there. The reason I say that is no, last course, year, talking. last year, we're talking about um, a manager who had to deal with, I think, <coughs> 21 signings coming into his team. When you're dealing with 21 new faces in and around the place, Jesse Lingard was there last year. Jesse Lingard's there and now they got Alanga this year. Bro, it's just, they're dealing with so much stuff. Sangha, bro, not just last year, this year as well, so many different faces and names that he has to deal with. And last year, he did a very good job of not just, he, everyone thought they'd be relegated last year. He didn't allow that to happen. He made them, I, think, I, thought, I can't remember where they finished, but he would have, I think, yeah, mid, like around 16, mid-table. 16. It, it, just above relegation, right? So if he, fin- if he did that last year and if he does that again this year, how can you be really getting on to someone who's had over the last two seasons about thirty new players okay, in the squad? Above, like, That's so unfair for him to deal with. But surely this season they must have approached my man and said, "Yo, listen, we're about to make this signing. This signing. What do you guys think?" He, of course, he ab- got twenty players last year. Do you think he had a say? Season. That's insane. last season. Do you think he had a say? No, I'm just saying. I'm do you think he had a say last season? But now this season, you've got that that twelve months now. You've had a preseason last season. You never had a preseason. Now like, you've got a preason Better do something with it. Yeah, but, but, Put your own stance. And he still got new players. So one win in ten is not good. The last win was at the bridge on September 2nd. I don't yeah. like Morgan Gibbs-White on the right-hand side it's, it's, as well. It's not yeah, not horror, 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 horror. Um, unfortunately, we don't have any Everton correspondents. I would have loved to, loved to hear from them because they obviously won the game away from home. So if you are an Everton fan, you would love to get involved. Uh, get involved. Um, contact Hasib on his Twitter and he okay. will get you in the rotation. But we do have a couple of Forest fans. Uh, Abs, if you would like to read them, that'd be great. Forest fans. Couple of regular Forest fans. Oh, well, hello. By uh, first, we'll go Paris Sky. Nothing from me on F- Forest performance yesterday. Should have done better. We've claimed little to no points in the last five games. Uh, I think full, fully, st- thankfully, mm. still six points be- between relegation. But thankfully, okay, they did that separately. Thankfully, still six points between relegation. But Forest need to fix up and fast. And then we've got analysis by Forest Gump, yep. who is a regular. I've heard of Forest Gump's name before. A game which really just came down to Everton, Everton's pure grit. But we definitely deserve something from the game. We came close with Alanga's shot. They just missed the goal and Chris would hit in the post. With the way VAR is being run, we definitely should have got a penalty from Decore pulling down Ryan Yates. I've seen that one in the corner when he pulled down Ryan Yates in the box. All I ask for is consistency. I'm very sure we won't get relegated because there are at least three teams worse than us. But I'm not seeing much progress in terms of results this season. Murillo looks injured, which isn't great because he's our best player at the moment. 
And is, and add to that, Taiwo is looking. When you add that to Taiwo, it's looking long. Mm-hmm. Our knee. However, Fulham moves on Tottenham, and I think we can get at least four the next the next three fixtures. And I think we get four out of those three. I reckon we win against Tottenham at home. Watch this space. Very optimistic that is. Very optimistic. Very optimistic. Shout out Forrest Gump. Shout out Forrest and Paris Scott. Thank and you so much for uh, getting Forrest Gump, one of you two, do you mind like for, for next week's um, Prem Rano, do you mind just uh, if asking the question? Yeah, you can, can answer it. Yeah, for sure. Do you mind just letting us know whether what you think of Steve Cooper and what if you think he should go or not? So I'm very curious to hear your opinion. That would be good to hear as well. And finally, the last game of the game week, West Ham versus Crystal Palace in a London clash. Um, the game ended a 1-1. Um, Kudus. Yep. Mohamed Kudus now seems to be scoring regularly, which is pretty good for him and um, obviously Palace went and equalised this game was today um, four players have now scored five plus goals for West Ham across all competitions this mm-hmm. season uh, Bowen, Suchek Paqueta and Kudus and Austin Edward has now equaled his all time best goal scoring record in the Premier League what is it one? huh? six bro pretty well December he's as media as it comes from so yeah Abs the media knows this game because I read the two notes that we had but that's for the correspondence after. But yeah. let's talk about the game for a bit. Yeah, let's. One, what do you guys think of Kudus' time. start to the Premier League? Finally. Yeah. Mm. About time. Yeah. That Moyes is finally implementing him in that system. Because mm. earlier this season, we saw him on the left. Mohamed is not on the left. No. We saw him playing as a 10, but Paqueta is a 10. And the only reason why he's now playing as a right is because Antonio got injured. And now Bowen is, now, is forced to play up front. I think Mohamed on the right, he has to play on the, on the right. But I feel like moving forward for West Ham, if they want to, uh, of course, they're part of the Europa League. And, uh, and, and if they want to go farther, try to get that top seven, top eight, top nine, they need to get another striker. Because Kamaka left. They've got Antonio. He's not an actual striker. But Bowen's, yeah, Bowen's like the son now. He's like, he's the yeah. son. But I feel like maybe the best way of moving forward, this is just my opinion. West yeah. Ham fans can agree, disagree with me. Yeah. I feel like play Bowen on the right, play Mohamed as a 10. Do. And get the left. Play Plaquetta left and then have an actual number nine because Antonio is not it. Skamaka, I was hoping for him to be it. And to be fair, he was never. But then what happens to the chances. captain, Suchek? Who's currently playing in the 10? Suchek, brother, uh, play, um, play deep playing in Wallah. Do you what think it's Alvarez? It's an Alvarez. It will yeah. pass. That's, good. That, that's a good problem to have. Do you think it will limit um, um, uh, Paqueta in playing out wide rather than he's when he's given the reins to be doing anything he, in the midfield? He kind of plays on the left anyway. Yeah. Kind of place on the left uh, with Brazil, of course. He's got all of those. They always rotate. Mm. Vinny drops him in the middle. Neymar will drop him in the middle. I think I, I think he'll be calm. I think he's a good, too good of a player not to be um, adept on the left hand side. Jared Bowen now also showing that adaptability to play all across the front line. He's mm. back now, isn't it? So that's a it's huge point for West Ham. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, with this game, obviously them um, uh, um, with the with them. Sorry, play against um, was it Crystal Palace today? Yeah, Palace. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm saying hosting's not easy. <laughs> but, um, uh, we had there was a uh, Joaquim well, Anderson. Well, like, we've had yes. this in the Qua- conversation. Joaquim Anderson. Well, pass yeah. the ball is, to is, you high, is it? Wow, <laughs> that's crazy. That wasn't needed. Someone's yeah, that, that, was, that was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> but um, Joaquim Anderson yes. is not just a centre half, he's also on set pieces and almost scored a deflected yeah, free yeah, kick. Yeah, I don't know yeah, if you guys yeah, seen yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, took yeah. a free kick uh, just outside the box. You know, if it was on the other side, at least he would have probably taken it. Yeah. But it's on the left side, better for a right footer. And Rocky Madison seems to be <laughs> the first choice right he's footer. A, taker. He's all over it. Yeah. He's all yeah. over it. Yeah. But yeah, where do we think? What's the West Ham's outlook for the rest of the season? What do you think, boys? Ah, it's an interesting one, man. Mm. Uh, I mean, they're ninth right now, kind of mid-table. <laughs> still, like, hovering there. Six wins, five losses, three draws in the middle. 24 goals scored, 24 goals conceded. It's just an average season. I mean, like, it's weird, you know. Obviously, the triumphant European season last season. How are they doing this season in Europe? Uh, they are through. They are through. Yeah. Uh, they, they have Freiburg um, coming up, but I think it's already uh, through. They're, they're already qualified. Through. Um, yeah. So it's good for them, of course. They want that Europa League. I think last season they got the Conference League. Of course. Which is great. They want that Europa League now. Maybe progress now. There's a lot of English clubs in Europe this season, man. Yeah, man. Bra- of clubs in Europe. Brighton, United. Um, they were finishing yeah. Arsenal. Uh, By December, some people League. will be gone, though, innit? Yes, yeah, yeah, for real. Yeah, yeah, for real. <laughs> some people will be gone from Europe. No, but West Ham well, might go to Europa League. Go yeah, doubt it though. Well, West Ham's West Ham next couple of fixtures they've got um, uh, Tottenham away, Fulham away. Tough, tough. But the two away fixtures, two, London, two more London games, two more yeah, London. They're not leaving London this month. <laughs> <laughs> stay, they're they're not, they're yeah, they don't yeah, have to yeah, travel yeah, far. Yeah. But yeah, what do you think they're going to get out of that? I, Tottenham I, I away, especially. Like, I, I think they're, they're playing Spurs at perfect time. Yeah, in terms of their injuries, for sure. Perfect time. Yeah. Um, couldn't 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 ask for a better timing uh, with all the injuries that Spurs has got. And I feel like you know what. 
I, I we said our prediction earlier. I actually think uh, West Ham will win that game. So I'm giving. Uh, wow. How about this? How about we put another prediction in? Because the game is literally just. Ne- I mean, in the next couple of days on yep. Thursday, I'm putting my first prediction. I think West Ham is going to be. Uh, it's going to beat. West Ham going to beat Tottenham Hotspur. What do about you, you guys? Do you concur? I do. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, so it's <laughs> definitely beatable. Yeah. Uh, obviously, City game was a big game for them. They're going to rise to the occasion, but yeah, I can see that happening. Yeah, absolutely. For sure. And the, the the on the reverse side, Crystal Palace's next three fixtures they've got is uh, Bournemouth at home and Liverpool at home. Fam, send Roy Hodgson to the retirement home, fam. I'm not, I'm not, I'm yeah. not crazy about that. Yeah. Uh, send him, bro, it's just, just enough, man. Do you reckon get an Iriola type manager from Portugal? <sighs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I can't lie, you know what they should do? They should go to try and get managers in, in, in Qatar and Saudi Arabia because there's some good managers there. Maybe, maybe bring them back, innit? As in the ones that have gone over. <laughs> That's already there and, and, and I'm bringing them back. Yeah, but they won't offer the same money out here. Yeah, no way near. Yeah, yeah, so no. it's like they're taking yeah, the pay cut. But, but they can use the prem tax as an excuse. Can't play for the biggest league in the world. No. And, and listen, the reason, they've, got, yeah, yeah, yeah. They've, got, they've got Bournemouth next to home. That happening. They've got Bournemouth yeah, okay. next to home at Sellers Park, then followed by Liverpool. I've looked again and then they go into the Etihad straight after that. Tough. Oh yeah, my Long. So many it's the Premier League now, man. Every, yeah. It's always tough. You you're always, the you're you're, I think you're always two games away from ah. a tough game. Yeah. Might be a Matt Salama thing for Roy, fam. Matt Salama thing for Roy, it? Yeah, you have to cut always, in. Especially with those tiny teams down the bottom. You're not, you're yeah. not far, bro. You're either, playing, you're either playing a top team or a team that's in your region and those are just as hard it's as It's going to be tough. Teams. Just yeah. as yeah. tough. Yeah. They're six pointers. Yeah, so every game is tough. You I'm know, um, you read a correspondence from a Palace fan. Yeah. I read one from a West Ham fan. All right, cool. Um, see what they both thought about the draw, if one felt hard done by or not. This is analysis by Austin CPFC. Uh, thought the likes of Richards and Anderson were brilliant today. Our two best players, in his opinion. Thought the subs weren't great at all, to be honest. Riedewald is fair enough, but when you've got the likes of... They Frank, still have Riedewald. Yeah, Jarrod, already fast still there. When you've got the likes of France on the bench, when we need three points, it just makes it so much more frustrating that, that we didn't get to the three points. As I said, not a bad point. We have to beat Bournemouth on Wednesday, as he knows. It's a big game. We'll but guess what? What's the playing City and Liverpool? What's the name? Right, Austin, Austin CPFC. Austin, you're not beating Bournemouth, brother. Oh wow! Well, I'm, I'm, well, I'm, 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 fan. I'm crashing your dreams from now on, man. That's crazy. Damn, man, that's sad. Man. Hey, listen, listen. You said earlier you wanted to hear from uh, uh, if the West Ham fans agree or disagree with you. I think Sharky's got a correspondence right there. Let's hear. Fifty-five Hems. Fifty-five Hems. Who gets? Okay, yeah. Fifty-five Hems who gets involved Go a on, lot geez. said. Once again, Kudus has scored. He was my man in the match. The way he dribbles and carries the ball forwards is just amazing. And he's so hard to stop when he gets going. His work rate is amazing too. Mm-mm-mm. This game should have been a must win for us, especially being at home. But if you can't win, then don't lose. Mm-hmm. Now, because of this result on Thursday, I expect to get a result against Tottenham. And I believe we can. I believe. It's not the best start to a season. But then again, after the first, fif- first 13 games in the season, we finished sixth. We had... 21 points and after 13 games this season we're on 20 points so it's not mm. as bad as we think Trust so yeah me. they finished 6th and they're only 1 point away from that well, season they were last time you know at this point at least getting around so it, some sort it. of positivity there from West Ham fan I don't mm-hmm. think is is you're going to finish anywhere near 6th this year no but listen it's a big game against Spurs big London clash and um, yeah we all believe they can do it and so does 55 Hems himself or herself I don't shout know. man shout, shout, shout all the correspondents man no for real like, 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 like you guys, you guys actually take part of it. You guys are actually committed to it. And, you, and, and, and the thing is, we don't, we don't, we don't force you man to do it. It's, yeah. it's they want to do it for sure. But shout out everyone, but big part man. of the show definitely Huge helps us because well, we can't That's watch every single game. Special. Definitely helps because we can't watch every single game. Um, it's nice to hear from you guys and obviously good points that we might miss out. Uh, but that was the last game. Mm-hmm. So before we end it, let me go to the FPL section of the Premier League roundup because it's something fun we like to do. Fu is rubbing his hands and excited to hear about this. Okay? As he should be. So FPL time, as you guys can see on the screen, we have our own SDS league with all the cast members and crew. Um, the way it's currently looking, I usually announce who's first and obviously the table. Wizzy is comfortably in first right now with 915 points. Um, are, are the guys on this table? I am the second highest. I'm in fourth. Um, Abs, you're in sixth, and Faze, you're in eleventh. Oh, joint, fi- joint fifth. I'd like to say actually, joint fifth. Uh, man, joint, uh, fifth. joint fifth. Yeah. Do you know why though? Do you know why? Uh, I I don't know the password, uh, uh, and I lost my password. Like, you lost six. your password, Abby. Yeah, so lost your I- password. But how did you make? Uh, Harlem triple, triple captain. Because you would have to press it. <laughs> you the liar. Points, the points you're on now. I was on them points like, when I was in locked in. <laughs> That's actually true as well. <laughs> what you gain now? I was in the yard. That's mad. Yeah, okay. Tough, how man. many? Okay. That means you're three weeks behind. Me. How many points am I? Am I behind uh, you two? Uh, few, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a lot of maths, man. Come on, man. 
You do the maths. Uh, you're like, okay, 90 points away from me. Oh, you're 60 points away from me? Uh, okay, you're, you're calm. You're, you, you're a fish above you. Yeah. You, I actually think you're a fish above you. Yeah, we'll see. We've got, we've got to see. Well, well done, man. Oh, thank you, man. Well, I, I don't know if it's you, though. Uh, if someone else playing on your behalf. Yeah, I, I'm <laughs> still questioning <laughs> that as well, man. <laughs> I'm questioning I, I that actually as well. Think this is way see how they're trying to get down Pep and trying to make Man City go to League oh, One. you're not first anymore. How dare you? Oh, no, there you are. I had to scroll up. I was he is first, but what is interesting? I was so far down. I was he a face. First, what is interesting? We also have an SDS league where you guys can all get involved. If you guys yeah. still want to join, the link, the code is in the description. And there's about, I think there's about 15,000 people in there, right? I'm can currently in like 1,547th place, right? Can I read top 10? Through Izzy, through Izzy, he's in the top 50. Huh? Mm, wow. Top 50? Yeah, he's in top 50. That, that, you see, that's good for well, you. Well, I fair play. No, no, I'm not happy. Nah, genuinely. I'll be 1, I, was a, I was in the top 16. <laughs> Last week, Chris, well, fair play. top fifty is insane though. I was, I'm a, one, I'm, I was in the I'm top sixteen hundred. So if if he wins that league, that means the award doesn't go to them because the award was that you won the cash. Yeah, prize. Yeah. Come and I would give yeah. him second place. Come on. Oh yeah, and if you guys don't know, if you guys win the SDS league, you have to choose a cash prize of I think it was five hundred pound or an appearance in SDS. You guys wow. pick. Yeah, 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 it's mad. That's crazy. Uh, but what we do is we what announce. Uh, yeah, what we do is we announce the top ten. <laughs> what we do is yeah. what we do is we uh, announce top ten currently on um, that SDS league because you guys are smashing it. There's you can see it on the screen right now. But Faisal is gonna read out the top ten. Uh, first place goes to shout out to Mr. D- uh, Mr. Donnell Mac Ada Boy with yeah. nine hundred and eighty points, and his team name is Free Palestine. Oh, amazing. Good message. Great. That's message. why you're on first. <laughs> uh, for real. Message. Second place, George Price, Shiver Timbers with snatty uh, 948 points. Third place is Faizan Ali um, um, with 945 points. Fourth place, Joy Long with 944. Kanya Kauta. Good name. Good name. Fifth Rice place Ali. with 941 points. Number six, Jordan Sherman, 941. Tied with also Alistair Chang with 941 points. Oh, apologies. Uh, you had That's tre- the fun part. Read the team names. Uh, well, <laughs> I have my bad, my bad. So yeah, names, so bro. should I just uh, no no names? So should we read the team names? Yeah, yeah. You can say both. You can say both. Ah, uh, cool. Uh, should number, I should go back to the first place again? No, let me do it, man. Right, man. Jesus. Get out of here. <laughs> All right. From fourth place, we have uh, White Rice only. Joe Long's team. Fifth is obviously Kanye Okuta of Iron Tank FC. Joint mm. place with Jordan Sherman. He called his name Sherm Squad. Not very creative, my friend. Um, <laughs> Alistair Chong has been here for a while. <laughs> Big fan of his team name, Mac Alistair and Cheese. Uh, in eighth place, we have Bloom <laughs> by Do Lime. That's a good one. Uh, in ninth, <laughs> DZ Awadinho. And in tenth, Alison like Wonderland. I like that, Alison Wonderland. That's good. Hey, I can't lie, yo. It's fashion it. Alistair Ching, Mac Alistair. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna, I don't know why I find that funny. Okay, guys, uh, we'll see you guys <laughs> next time. Bye.